What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, people. We made it back, you guys. Thank you for sticking up with us for the first day. Oh yeah. And here we go. The second day is gonna get rolling in a couple minutes. Just wanted to upgrade some things. Yeah, just had to fix some stuff up, make it look nice for you guys, and we're ready to rock and roll. How are you yeah, guys welcome. doing today? Yeah, how welcome. is everybody? Welcome, CJ, Derek, London's Q, Perfect Swing, YJ. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Yeah. Yeah, good to have you guys back. All good things. All good things. I know USA is putting a, putting a hurting out right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now. Yeah, what are they at? They're seven two now. I think I saw. Seven points. Yeah, it's getting, getting out of hand. Ugh. They're really showing them. But we'll see. This afternoon session is going to be a lot of fun. You know, we're we're. Uh, I think it'd be cool to see Europe come in and uh, mm -hmm. obviously put some. You know, give it all they got. Kind of take over the the afternoon session, make it a match for tomorrow. I love mm -hmm. the singles matches personally. Yeah, that's singles exciting. matches are are where it's at. Yeah, JT yesterday again super hyped about everything. I love the energy he's yeah. bringing out. Um, yeah, all good stuff. How could you not? DJ and Mari Carroll won their match. Nice. What a day. Look at this weekend. Beautiful sun. I know. I mean, not not much rain or anything, like no clouds in the sky. Just some wind. Let's go. Just some wind. Got Team a little USA. bit of USA gear? Yeah, we do. USA. More USA. Proud sponsor. Right. I'm wearing my winged foot apparel. In cred, Derek. <laughs> I like how you put that. In cred. Yeah. Yeah. In and down. Ah, right, just start engraving the names in the cup. No, just kidding. Can't get ahead of ourselves there. Yeah, we'll get there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But we're here for another fun stream on day two of the Ryder Cup. Mm -hmm. Strap your strap yourselves in. Seatbelts in. We're gonna have a good ride. And this scoreboard that's over here should be a little more updated. The one we had yesterday was. Like a hole and a half behind. Yeah. And we're, you know, we had people coming in. It's like, I think this person's, uh, you know, um, you know, their match is here or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I think so too. I think they're a little further along. Nice. Yeah. Grass, yeah. Benada. Yeah, the afternoon session should be should be rolling in, in a couple minutes. Mm-hmm. What do you guys got going on today? How's yeah. your lovely Saturday? You know, 1.15 p.m. here over in New York. What are you guys mm -hmm. doing? What's your time zone? Yeah, where are you guys coming from? Yeah, they're about to get um, rolling in, the, in their matches in, in just a little bit. Got one, two, yeah. There'll be some good matches here this, uh, this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Some quality matches. College Brooksy football. and Jordan. So you just Tony got... and Harris. You got to keep Tony and Harris together. They played oh. too well together yesterday. Mm -hmm. Way too well together. So you just said he's got um, college football and golf going on. Nice. Which uh, which mm -hmm. football game we going? We got going on. Who who are the colleges? Oh, we got I know, tis the season. Tis the season. Friend visiting tonight, nice. There you go. Always nice, having friends over. We're going to have a friend over tomorrow in the stream. Yeah, for sure. That'll be good, good times. Lots going on. I know. I'm very excited about that. We'll try and keep the bots out of the chat. <laughs> I know, we got to combat the bots today. That was, that was We're funny. getting attacked. Yeah, we were. Yeah, Towards we the it. end, you know. Yeah, it was like five, at least five times people came in and just spammed. UGA right now. Nice. Oh, nice. 
I before the end of the quarter? Are you kidding me? 35, geez. Oh my goodness. Getting murdered out there. Scoring 35 before the end of the quarter, my goodness. I haven't watched football in a while. Actually, since like the Super Bowl, to be honest. That was the last time we watched it. Well, I watched it. I mean, we are that golf couple. It's kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, you right. know, I mean, we, we, can we, can we, we be really that football couple? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, guys, check out our other channel, that football couple, <laughs> where we totally change <laughs> everything that we do around football. Mm. Oh, gosh. Yeah, our passions are transferable. I like that. It's a good one. Yeah, so the first match will be going out. It's 1226 local time, so that'll be in uh, you know, another, another 10 minutes or so. Uh, Tony Finau and Harris English. It's weird. They have the times mixed up, I think, on the website. I'm not going to lie. I think it's uh, probably Brooks and Jordan that are going to go first. They just have the times switched there. John Rahm and Sergio Garcia, they're playing again today. Shane Lowry's playing with Tyrrell Hatton. You got Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland. They played very well together. And then you've got Ian Poulter with Rory. I like that. I like that group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have a, a, a solid afternoon here. That sports couple. There you go, CJ. Nice. It will be that sports couple. It's so funny. It's like as soon as I read that, I'm like, oh, gosh, that's so much work. Like we put so much into what we do. I'm like, could you imagine if we did like, you know, the French Open or we did like the Super Bowl and, and, and all that? Just any major event, which would be constant. You'd have to like prioritize which one you'd yep. want to broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, we'll deliver the, the golf news. Be more than happy to do that. Got an interview on Michael Jordan out here at Whistling Straits, here for a second straight day. He's loving it. Loves the competition. Six time NBA champion with the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> what do we think? Uh, should we stir up the pot a little bit? We have LeBron or MJ in the chat. Oh gosh. We're already getting there? All you right, know, let's do right? it. <laughs> That sports couple. We'll do a little trial for two minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just a, a tiger. I'm just a fan. You know, I'm more of a fan of everybody. I don't like the this versus that. I don't know if that's a golf thing, but mm. there's not many people I throw too much shade at for golf. You know, I know a lot of people a while ago where I just, I don't know where this came from, but they would always have this thing about how, uh, you know, Bubba Watson isn't a nice guy off the course. And it's like, you know, we were getting that from an opinion of an opinion mm -hmm. of someone who passed him, you know, saw him in passing. You know, it's like, I don't know. I don't feel like any of these guys are that bad out there. Oh, we'll get this thing going <laughs> to the top there, CJ. Yeah, it's, it's inc I mean, this is how many months in? We're almost to a year. Yeah, we, like I said last stream, we started in October. Mm -hmm. um, we recorded our first video in November of last year, and now we're creeping on almost a year. And it's been a lot of fun being able to do what we already like to do just on camera for you guys. So really happy, really excited that it resonates with you guys. And we're still learning, doing the stream stuff, making sure that it gets better and better each time, mm -hmm. and just trying to one-up everything and make sure that we're giving back as much as you guys are giving to us because that means a lot to us. We wouldn't be here without you guys and we wouldn't be doing what we're doing without you guys either. That I know Matt and I really love the chat. That's something that we yeah, really gosh. looking forward to. It's the best part. You guys are the best part. Every, every time we're like, ooh, who's going to throw in some funny comments? Or, you know, it was really cool how um, BW remembered something from the last stream we did at the Olympics and... There's like those little nuggets of things that I'm like, oh my gosh, someone actually remembered that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really cool. And now being able to share a little bit of us with you guys is fun. You know, now you know my uh, my real name is Catherine. So I like to open up and Matt, like he told you guys, he'll tell you anything that you want to know about him. And we'd love for you guys to get to know us. And it's really cool. Love to get to know you guys too through your golf stories. Everybody's got a story. 
You know, I love finding out what that is. Good morning, YJ. Hello, How are you this YJ. fine morning? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream here. Mm -hmm. Got another fun-filled day. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a journey this last uh, this last uh, year. Mm -hmm. It has. Oh, CJ, I'm telling you, we fixed the hook. We got videos coming out. We went to the range the other day. You have to see the look on his face when he, he had a complete and utter breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Joe is a is a great project. He's absolutely loving working together. You know, all of our focus has been into this stream, but we have a lot of videos lined up mm -hmm. coming. So, yeah, we fixed Joe's, Joe's hook, and he is on a... Um, you know, he's on a trajectory here. Let me see if this gets us over. Make sure I'm on the right one. There you go. Cool. Nice. Yeah, we'll swap it out. I like it. But yeah, Joe is doing really well. His his short game is really good for where his game is at. And, um, you know, he hit a couple drivers the other day at the range. And it's funny how we work through, and we actually did a video on how we work through his driver. Because it was a mechanical setup thing going on and i just wanted to teach him something because uh, joe's more of a field player and i was like okay we can work with that you know we can uh i can show you what that feels like and he hit a couple of drives that he's never hit before so um by him going through his journey i hope that you know everybody can learn a little bit of something there but yeah it's been a it's been a project for sure i know um yeah, hook a punch. It's so funny. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a setup thing for Joe, but I've been explaining to him the laws of um, the ball flight and really how that stuff works. So, yeah, he's, um, you know, he's, he's well on his way. Joey, we'll have Joey in the stream at some point. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll be out here. We, so his Instagram is uh, Joey Bag of Donuts. I love that name. Matt's got a friend. He's got back nine miles as a golf name. We love it. He's got a bunch of golf friends. It's, it's very fun. lucky. Yeah. And we've got all of you as our golf friends. I consider you my friends. We get to hang out, watch the Ryder Cup together. You know. We hung out for seven and a half hours yesterday. I consider yeah. us friends too. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> That's a good investment. Yeah, we're all fueled up today, so we got food in our bellies, ready to rock. Got a few drinks for the stream as well. I know, yeah. I'm excited for that. Yeah, very excited. The drink of the stream. Can you hear the birds in the background? Can you guys in the chat hear the birds? I can turn the birds up. I thought it would be some like nice ambient noise going on. Yes, but I can turn those up a little bit if that brings it. You know, there's up birds or down, and there's more birds. Like. <laughs> right. Full blast. I know. Let's just get a whole flock of birds flying through. <laughs> We're in the Amazon now. Yeah. But, yeah. Day two of the Ryder Cup. Let's see what the boys pull out today. Team Europe or Team USA. Looking forward to seeing some really good golf. Some really good shots. Maybe some hole outs. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Looking for some magic out there. That's a cool trophy, by the way. It too. is. Like, yeah. Something about that trophy that just makes it so different from all the others. It's not just like a, a cup, not just a chalice. It's like there's a player on top of it. Yeah, I'm curious if you can take off the top part and turn it into a, that it is a cup. I don't oh, know. That would be interesting. Right? I don't know. I don't see anybody taking it off yet. So, RBM, let's go. You're in the right place. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? USA. The... Right here. Right here. Yeah. Betty, Betty, excited. You know, I thought it would be interesting if they made a custom hat for Bryson, like uh, Ben Hogan, like one of those old-fashioned hats for the Ryder Cup, because that's like his style. I think that would have been pretty cool, but he's rocking the regular baseball cap. I know. I feel what you're saying. You know, customized to the players. Yeah, it's not like they don't have the resources to, uh, you yeah. know, come up with a custom hat for Bryson. Do you remember that for the Olympics? We heard about um, there, there was a whole thing why Rory McIlroy wasn't wearing a hat during the Olympics. And people were saying because his head was too small. Like, oh, sure. Like he made a comment about his own head saying he has custom hats because his head is too small. That's funny. 
A flat cap. Thank you, CJ. That is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's classy. It's definitely yeah. classy. Man, should golf in like some really old golf outfits, you know, like the big, yeah, the like, big you know. pants. So I have a story. I used <laughs> to work in uh, Myrtle Beach and these guys came down for a golf trip and everybody, they, you had like one team wearing the, like the checkered, whatever you want to call them. If anyone in the chat knows the name of, uh, they're like. Those pants. Like, I don't are. know, like Scottish pants. You know, they're checkered, they're plaid, but they had that and they had vests and they had one texture and one color for one team and one texture. And it was like, mm -hmm. like a 12. Thank you, Derek. A bunnet? Am I pronouncing that right? A bunnet? Bunnet in Scotland. And it was just, I was like, you guys went all out. And I so and they had like their, uh, the name of the trip that they were doing on their, their mm -hmm. thing. I was like, that is incredible. Fun fact, my mom is half Scottish. I know. So that means I'm half Scottish. <laughs> yeah, right? Could you guys guess that she's, just kidding, she's just kidding. half Scottish? It's That's actually, funny. it would actually be a third. Yeah? No, actually. Because then my mom's also Italian as well. Yeah, I think it would go, I mean, you would probably just take your mom <laughs> and see who her parents are and go 50, and then you could kind of like section it out that way. Yeah. Yeah. Percentages don't really work when you're adopted, but at least, you know, in your heart, it, yeah. it counts. In this room, we can make our own rules. You know? I, I like being... I'm uh, okay with it. I like being a third Scottish, a third Italian, a third Chinese. That's what I am. I like that Scottish, you know. My mom dressed me up in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, my Scottish outfit when I was meeting my Scottish side of the family. I was oh a God. Scots baby. I had, like, the plaid pants, checkered. I looked so cute. Gotta find a picture one day and I'll show you guys. Yeah, we'll share it with the stream. <laughs> you know, that's 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 data we need on the internet. I'll put that on our Instagram one day. Oh my gosh. All right, they're getting up to the first tee. It looks like we're uh, starting to rev it up. Everybody's on their feet. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know. I am pretty white though. That's funny. One third crazy. I know, third crazy. So true. Yeah. Yeah, I was raised by a so we've got, Italian mom. Yeah, Shane Lowry and Tyrrell Hatton are going out in the first match. Look at these dudes being dudes. And then they're going against uh, Tony Finau and Harris English. Nice. You know. Harris Tony with Finau the gum. is 6'4", and Harris English is taller than he is. Jeez. That's a Those tall Those are some team. big boys. Yeah. That is it. That is. Woo! <laughs> I was, like, hearing this, uh, the bird noises, and then, like, a fly came through, and I was like, I thought there was a fly over here, <laughs> but it was the computer uh, getting lost in the matrix over here. Right. Artificial noises. Until you go to set up a stream, it's like all these little things that are <laughs> oh my gosh. holding it up. One time we did a stream, we had to reset the entire stream, or reset the entire computer. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. All right, here's Tyrrell Hatton off the tee for the first big drive of the day. Oh, got to hold that one. Looks like it's going right. Uh-oh. Ah, he got away with it. Oh, nice little mm. kick, right side of the fairway. Right. It's a short little par for us. A nice, uh, it's a nice golf hole. You take that all day. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll be. Uh... They're rocking a little bit of like this gray vibes with a little bit. What is that? I like that? the like orange. A burnt orange. It's like red? a yeah. It's like a burnt <laughs> orange for sure. Yeah, it's almost like what Auburn. Yeah. Auburn orange. Yeah. Interesting, you know how Europe always wears like different colors. Like, I'm used to, like, the blue and the gold for the women for the Solheim Cup. Oh, my. Oh, and he's putting it. Oh, come on, get up Front there. edge of the green. Yes. Front Fall edge on. of the green for Shane Lowry. Just on the fringe. Wow. Beautiful. Downwind today. Bryson's probably going to get a six iron on the green. Dang. Tony Finau and Harris English. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tony Finau, the ball dropped off <laughs> the tee. There's so much noise going on. It probably knocked his ball off the tee. That's what I'm going with. Derek, I think I think USA is seven and two right now. I thought I saw recently, Matt. For what? 
for the points. score? Yeah, let me double Yeah, I think I saw seven and two. Just clarify. Actually, if you want to check on there. Let me see. I got you. I'll be like the research researcher behind the scenes. And here's Tony off the tee. In perfect position. Yeah, he left it about 40 yards shy in a perfect spot. I'm hearing these like little flies over here. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, I just heard that too. Yeah, no, that's the <laughs> that's the ambient noise I have going on. I'm like, hello. Then we got Harris English about to tee it up. See if he can't get one on the ground. I'm excited to see this. Uh, this looks drivable today. You know, second drive of the day puts it out there. Here we go with Harris. Smacks it. It is high. It is far. It is. Driving. In the fairway. Out driving. Not bad. Everyone's putting it in play on this hole. Very nice. Very nice. United States leads 9-3 day one scores afternoon four ball. I'm trying to understand, like, the scoring. That's where I don't want to get confused with. Each match is worth one point. Mm -hmm. You can split it as well if you have it. So that's three for U.S., one for Europe on that one. It's The score is 9-3. to 9-3 three. to three right now. Gotcha. Each session is worth four points. Until you get to the uh, singles, and the whole singles is worth 12 because everybody plays. I see, I see. Okay, that's cool. Just throwing some old highlights back in the old Ryder Cup days. Yeah, Justin Leonard wearing what? his shirt. That's what they, that was one of their um, shirts. Oh my gosh. It was just pictures of who knows what. what? I don't even want to go to describe that. Did I win the ping pong game last night? Chip for chat? Oh. Hmm. Derek. Yeah. How much did I win by? He won. It was he good. Won. It was good. We, we so had Matt's, a good match. Matt's one up on day two. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. We'll be getting it out later today. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a couple goes of it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, they're really rocking it. Yeah, nine to three. So I mean, they could get to. 9-7, you know, that would be a huge session. U.S. is playing so well right now. They got to, Europe's got to come up with something. Definitely got to come up with something. Yeah, it's going to be a, a backyard brawl. So, like, what are what are our predictions, Matt? Do we have any predictions for the day? I think they're going to split this session. Okay. I think Rory and Ian are going to win their match. I think um, Scotty Scheffler and Bryson are going to win their match. Actually, let me think about this. I, th I think Ian Poulter and Rory are going to win the final match. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I honestly think Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland are going to win their match as well. So I think the, the U.S. will win two and uh, Europe will win two. I think they'll split it. So I'm going with 11 to 5 at the end of this session. That's my bet. Nice. Yeah. You heard it here first. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't really have any predictions. I just want to see some good golf. Mm -hmm. But I was curious from a perspective from you what, what your thoughts were. I think Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland really played well yesterday. Um, you know, I'm interested to see. I think Tony Finau and Harris English just have this, um, you know, they're they're not getting too overhyped about Ryder Cup um, energy. Mm -hmm. So I think they're going to be all right when it comes to that. Daryl Hatton on the first hole. Beautiful shot. It is, it is hard downwind right now. So he had to skip his wedge in there um, quite a bit. So a little challenging approach shot here. Yeah, Derek Bryson's drive. You know, they'll show it again. 
imp uh, impressive, to mm -hmm. say the least. Yeah, I think um, I think Tony Finau and Harris English just are, are very calm right now, and they're they're really doing some. Uh, they're just playing their game, and I think that'll be hard to beat. Um, you know, I think Ian Poulter and Rory are just going to get it done. I feel like they're a team that's just going to get it done. They know they're in a position that they have to. Um, and I, I like what Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland are doing. They almost won their, their match yesterday, um, and they're just gelling so well together. Tommy Fleetwood's not going to miss those putts that he missed yesterday. He's yep. going to be all right when it comes to that. Um, you know, I think John Rahm and Sergio Garcia is uh, going to be a tough win, but Brooks and Jordan, I think, will we'll get it done in, in that match as well. Uh, Not bad. See how they're, like, trickling it up? So he's had about, uh, that was Harris English. He had about uh, 60, 70 yards or so, and he just kind of kept it under the wind. Mm -hmm. I like that because it's going to roll out, and you can control that. Yep. If you get it up in the wind, it's going to bounce and skip and jump. And There's too many variables. I don't know that you can, probably where Tony is, he can land it on the green and get it to stop from 50 yards. Uh, but where Harris was, you know, he had to land it short and get it up there. Are they too, too, uh... so Derek, when they do come up, because nothing has come up, it'll say, you'll see it uh, directly. These are just the... Um, like the holes on each one. But keep me posted because we're trying something new. The only reason I switched it was because the PGA Tour website was like a hole and a half behind. So I want to make sure you guys have updated information, but I do, you know, it is obviously important to see it as well. <laughs> Here's Tony, beautiful golf shot, just inside of Harris's. Yep. Ooh, so he is right in front of Harris. They're going to get a good read off each other, and I, I think they'll be able to make one of those putts. Gotcha. Okay, Derek, I got gotcha. you. I will certainly keep the commentary coming. Yes, we will. Interesting. So, Matt, if they're on the green and are they allowed to mark their ball before everybody else plays through? Or does it, yeah. do they have to wait? Um, you don't have – it's just an etiquette thing. Yep. Um, if your ball was uh, in the way, if I believed it was in the way, I could request for you to mark your ball. Got it. Um, you know, you can also tend the flag from, Phil did this with Bones, his caddy, years ago at Torrey Pines on 18th hole, which was really impressive because he almost hold it. He had Bones from about 90 yards go and tend the flag stick. Uh, and he said when he hits his wedge shot, just pull it and just get out of there. Ah. Um, so yeah, it's an, a more of an etiquette thing. Uh, if you think your ball is going to be in the way, you can absolutely mark it. I don't think you can refuse to mark. I don't think anyone would refuse to mark it, but um, yeah. Yeah, good question. Very good question. Got Shane here on the fringe. Well, and now beautiful drive. He's got an eagle. I'm going to call it a putt. He's got the putter in hand. Yeah, let's see how close he gets this. Tony, yeah, get out of the way. Putt. Wow. He should be able to make that birdie three yeah. feet or so. Pick a little up left. a putt. That was beautiful. Beautiful. You think these guys get, like, really tired after playing so much golf, or they're just so used to it at this point that it doesn't really phase them as much? It's like I an think, amateur. I think in the Ryder Cup, uh, adrenaline is going to carry you. Mm -hmm. I would be willing to bet that they're exhausted after Sunday. You know, I'd be willing to bet they take a week off after this and, you know, just uh, kind of decompress a little bit. The season's over. You know, this is the last big event for these these players. Um, yeah. I'd imagine they take a little time for themselves, hopefully. That's why the season, you won't see Harris English playing in every event for the next three months. You know, there's a, a little bit of balance of it. I'm sure they have a little bit of what they would consider an off-season. There's not much off-season in golf because it's funny. If you look at the PGA Tour schedule, the season started right after the, the week after the it Tour ended. Championship ended. Mm -hmm. That was week one. But now they have, like, they play a few tournaments. Harris English drops nice. his putt. Nice birdie. All righty, bud. Let's go. Harris makes the putt. Tony doesn't have to putt. Beautiful. So that's birdie on the first for U.S. Mm -hmm. And we've got Shane Lowry. 
go for his uh, his birdie. Yeah, Harris likes it. I just think these guys are playing too well. They're they're at a pace right now where Shane Lowry and Tyrrell Hatton have to do something um, extraordinary to beat them. And when you get in a position where you where you feel like you have to do something extra, it makes you play outside yourself and not play your game. I just feel like Tony and Harris are gelling so well together that they're going to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that's why they call them professionals too, though, you know? Like, when you're a professional at your sport, you train specifically for that, unlike just your amateur golfer or somebody just who's an enthusiastic person at golf. Like, obviously, your body's going to be ready for, for those yeah. tournaments. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely the Ryder Cup atmosphere. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever, it's like going to the Super Bowl and saying that you're, you're tired. Right. You know, you it's can, like there's an energy about it with the crowd. You feed off of that. Yeah. Even you can attest to that a little bit, Matt, because you've trained to do that professionally as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, um, I mean, I will say this. You go through, and I'll just, you know, personally, when I used to play, when I first started, you kind of get, and CJ, you could probably, in the chat, you could probably attest to this as well, playing some tournaments, um, but let me know. You go, and the first few tournaments I was playing, I was exhausted afterwards. You put so much into it. And what I learned to do, which is what my coach re-brought up for me, was, you know, you put everything you have into the shot, which lasts about 60 seconds, you know, from taking in your information to going in, hitting the shot. Then you turn it off. And I use a cue for that. I start looking at all the trees around me. I start, like, you have to get your mind out of it. Yep. And because if I'm focused on, if I hit a bad shot and then I'm focused on where did it go, how am I going to make par? Um, you're, you're psyching you're yourself out. There's a mental uh, exhaustion that comes into play and you have to play 15, 16, 17 and 18 like you did one, two, three and four. Right. And it just takes a patience. Uh, it's more of like a marathon um, approach to it than than anything. Mm -hmm. But it's just a, you know, a controlled focus. You know, you know when to turn it on and you know when to turn it off. Right. That's why I like conversing and chatting. You know, I just kind of get lost in the the nature of things. I've, I grew up uh, just being outside and on a farm, and that's very calming for me. Mm -hmm. It's something I can just let my mind wander. So like, yeah. it helps. It helps, but it's definitely something. I mean, how many people do you see, um, you know, amateurs that we play with? I know Miles, Joe, any uh, amateur that I play with. You know, I don't see them doing well on the last six holes or, like, better on the last six holes. Um, like, when we played Wingfoot mm -hmm. the other day, we get to the turn and people have food and they're out. You oh, know? yeah. Um, yeah Tom, so we, the two Toms, you know. The two Toms. We played with two guys named Tom and Tom. And uh, one guy was out on hole 16. He just stopped on the last two holes. Yeah, it's true. It's true, CJ. That's perfect tempo for hours. So you're just you're always in your tempo. That's that's perfect. And you sound jealous yeah. as I am. <laughs> I know. If I could play on tour professionally, that would be so cool. Being on like the LPGA. Oh my gosh! Like just the consistency of the ladies' swing is just so mesmerizing. I'm like, yeah, because they don't get themselves into too much trouble. What they're doing is they're just being consistent with their swing and they're staying yeah. in the fairway. And they're making putts. They're they're not trying to drive it, 350 whatever. I don't even know what like the the longest drive is for an LPGA Tour player. Yeah, they're probably the longer hitter, like Michelle Wee, Danielle um, Kang. Like I don't know how far they're driving. I don't those. know if Danielle Kang's hitting it. You know, I mean, it's like 280 is pretty far for them. Yeah. You know? Alexi Thompson's hitting it close to three. You oh. know, she's she's up, like head and shoulders above she is most amazing. players. I wonder what Brooke Henderson's doing as well. Yeah, I, really I mean, like she's her. like 260, 270. Yeah. You know? yeah it's nothing, I would take uh, that all day. And all that's day. the thing, too. Then you made a good point about that. And I've learned this over the last um, few years that it's like it makes for a much nicer walk to just 
hit fairways, hit greens, you know, not have to get an extra six, eight yards. You don't put 100% into every swing. You know, you finish balance. You're nice, calm, cool, and controlled. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just nice to, you know, take a seven iron at the fat part of the green and hit it at it. Just yeah. hit, the, hit that. And, you know, that's my game. I more hit the fat part of the green and, you know, I'll make more of those putts from distance rather mm -hmm. than... Uh, hitting it super close, you know, anything with a, a nine iron and in, I'm, I'm getting it to, you know, I'll have inside of 20 feet. Yeah. Every single time, pretty much. Um, so it's a, you just, I don't know. This is 16, 17 years of trial and error. You know, it's like you start swinging so hard, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't pour into your cup after a while. Yeah, J. Rom here. Taking a big swing at it. Nice yeah, drive. Yeah, got it up there. Geez, Shane Lowry must have. I don't know Shane, what he did. I don't know. He, he just absolutely there. demolished that drive, though, to get it right on the fringe there. Uh, who's yeah, it's true. Yeah, 280 to 300. Matt, we put these, like, players on a pedestal hitting at 330. It's like, hmm. it's not It's just that not many. normal. You look at the tour averages. I mean, CJ, you're right. It's like 290-something. Got Brooksy. You know, they were touting Victor Hovland on how far he hits the ball, and he averages 306, you know? It's like, and he swings so hard at it, you know? Here's Brooksy going for the green. Right. Just put it a little bit right. Ooh, he's in the uh, thick stuff over there. Oh, he's in the thick of it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Into the thick of it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh. Brooks. All right, Jordy, let's see what you got here today, bud. Interesting how we were talking about the hoodies that they're yeah. wearing. They actually do have the little tassels. They do. But Jordan's got his tucked in. And yeah, brooksy has got them out. Yeah. Let's see if you got any cool uh, shots today, Jordan. Eh. I know. Anything, uh, any miracles you're going to work? That dude is just so athletic. How mm -hmm. he like got up and down, but like was able to stay on his feet. Mm -hmm. I don't think people are going to appreciate that as much as they yeah, it may see it on TV. They're like, oh, that was nice. He stayed up. Well, like, yeah, try and then you had to that. run it out. Yeah, because <laughs> usually you're on some flat ground yeah. and you just imagine him like falling into the ocean. Oh god, like running and being like, uh, uh, you reach a point where you're at going so fast that He's you like, can't stop. You have to like he like you dives know. for it. I always think it's funny when the caddies and the players when they're going down a really steep hill after the tee shot, they have to run down the hill because if you're walking, you may slip. So they they just kind of run at yeah, it. Yeah, for That's sure. It. They just go for it. I've done that for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to have a good shoe at that point. Yeah. Get a little bit of a grip. That's why I really liked playing winged foot because it was the flattest course we've ever played. Isn't it though? It's an easy walk. But really like easy one walk. of the hardest just based on rough. Yeah, rough, deep bunkers. Your mm -hmm. bunker game was really good. I meant to bring that up. CJ has a really good bunker game. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, there was some, and there's some deep bunkers where you have to go like up. 10 mm -hmm. feet to the green right and there was at least two or three shots that you hit really well that are you know for whatever reason on that particular day i was just hitting bunkers but i was able to get myself out just not so much on the rough that was where i got myself into trouble a lot i mean there's a lot you look at how many bunkers like when we play um a local course by us mccann how many bunkers are on the first hole and then you look at the first hole at Wingfoot, and it's surrounded by, maybe not that one, but the the second and the third hole mm -hmm. are surrounded by bunkers. Yeah. So, just to kind of be like alert of where they are, and also, okay, if I do hit it in this bunker, what's my, you know, do I have to go downhill? Because sometimes going over those greens, you're just, you're dead. Um, it's tough. It's a, it's a, you know, it's there's so many more factors that come into to play with it. Yeah, that's true. What a game golf is. They banned hoodies here indoors? Derek, what do you mean? No hoodies? How could you do such a thing? Yeah. Right? A the hoodie police. Sure, a travesty has never occurred. Yeah, yeah, from uh We're watching um 
um, Da, the Vinci, da Vinci Code. code. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Never has an Oxford man something about. Yeah, beaten someone from Yale at uh, rowing or something. Stood in a bunker at St. Andrews, raised my hands. Yeah. No hoodies, really. I gotta say, hoodies on the golf course. I'm uh, becoming a, you know, I'm becoming a believer. I gotta find a, um, gotta find one that I like. I think. Derek, um, so you've been to St. Andrews. What's uh, what? Outside of like the, um, you know, I look at it and it looks fairly simple. Um, obviously, there's the wind and the, the undulation. What did you notice from a first-hand experience that made the golf course challenging? You know, I understand the history of it. Um, I'm just curious. I, I'd love to know. I haven't heard of too many people that have played that course. Mm. St. Andrews, that's so cool. To be able to play. Birthplace of golf. Is that that's uh, public or private? That is public. Wow. Yeah. How much do you think it would be to play around there? I don't know. I mean, Derek would know probably a little better. Yeah. What's like what the um, the details are. Went to the course to see it. That's so cool. Yeah. Because it looks so. It's its own. Just getting a picture on that like it. iconic little bridge right yeah. there would be really neat. On 18 there, for sure. That would be our new, uh, you know. Our new banner. <laughs> our new banner, for sure. It would be, would be a good banner. There will be a day. There will be a day. Matt and I, golf is not going anywhere for Matt and I. That's so cool, Derek. Huge fairways, but you can't see the bunkers. Wow. And then you get a bounce here or there that just make it go. That's the thing. That's it's like, crazy. wow, I hit it right down the middle. Nope, you're in the bunker. That's crazy. So it just goes straight down. It's just you can't see it off the tee. So there's like a perception thing. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that um, uh, I think. So the course that we played, Wingfoot, was originally designed by A.W. Tillinghast, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, certain designers have a um like a style you know and for some of these style golf courses they wanted to like from the clubhouse you couldn't see a single bunker so it's all like hidden um yeah. you know it's just like a, a royalty thing oh, i forget what course i was i was reading about recently that if you were standing over here which is where like the clubhouse was you couldn't see a single bunker but there were bunkers everywhere on wow. the golf course and it's just a perception thing. When you're, so Pete Dye does this a lot too. He'll point tee boxes like this and the fairways go in there and then everyone misses left because subconsciously you're pointed left. I actually did this in my lesson the other day with Rob and um, I'm stepped over the ball and I felt it. I was like, I'm not comfortable for whatever reason. Hmm. And uh, I was like, I just feel like the tee box is tilted a little bit. He's like, that's because it is. He's like, not all tee boxes are created perfectly level. Nice. You know, there's no perfect um, that is interesting. setup like that. So you just need to be aware when those little things are, like if the T's are pointed mm -hmm. in a, um, you know, in a different direction, it'll, you'll have a tendency to line up that way mm -hmm. versus just being in a, a place and space and, and kind of taking responsibility yourself to, to aim. Yeah. Well, you remember when, I mean, we played so many golf courses together, but there, there's a time when I'm on a tee box and I, and I feel the, the grass and it's nice and like fluffy and squishy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, this is a nice tee box. Mm -hmm. And you're always laughing at me because I was like, this is going to be a good shot because I felt it in my feet. I felt like, okay, I'm going to be able to tee up my golf ball really nicely here. Mm -hmm. It's funny how it's that just a stuff feeling. is really an influence. Yeah. It's an illusion though. Like London's said. hello hello yeah so the afternoon session we are tied in one match uh, they just started so one match is on two and the other match is um, on the on the first hole so yeah just just getting uh, but the earlier matches um, what was it USA won three and uh, Europe won one. 
So in each session, it's been 3-1. USA has nine, and Europe has three. See now here, we got him at 93 yards to the hole. Second hole. Ooh, spin low back, pass, baby, low spin pass. back. That was a big divot. I'm so impressed with like, how they. I always thought it was cool how tour pros and even you, you know, you hit like a nice divot where it's like in this nice patch. Oh, sure. I just think it's cool. Yeah. The things you look at, like, I remember playing and I was like just envious of people that would make ball marks on the green. I'm like, that's so cool that you get to fix. I would just bounce it up and roll it up. I never mm -hmm. hit it high enough to. For it to make an in indent, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 what is Shane doing? What happened? He's talking about how he wasn't given the putt. Oh, I thought he was going to throw his putt into the green. I was like, what's happening? And then here goes. Uh... Oh, yeah, Justin Thomas did it right back. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. So that was the match yesterday. A little I flex guess. there. Yeah, Dang. Shane Lowry was, he put his putter up, and he's like, it's within the putter. The you, you know, just a... A general rule you kind of give putts within the putter mm. and uh, Justin Thomas this was like a putter and then some and he did the same thing you know Justin Thomas isn't backing down from any stuff like that oh so. no definitely not oh. oh Brooksy just misses his putt there on the first actually it was Jordan compliments to Jordan <laughs> <laughs> so they go one down in that match John Rahm and Sergio are up in that match, they ended up birdieing. John Rahm made birdie. Wow. Beautiful golf shot by Shane Lowry here on the second. That's his third shot. He'll have that for birdie. This guy's playing some golf today. Oh, yeah. Wow, you can get to any golf course in Scotland for one euro. It's pretty impressive. I want that bus pass. <laughs> I know. Derek, we got to come see you. I know. Let's go play we'll some play golf. Some. We'll play some. Play some golf together. It'll be fun. What's our What's our next golf trip? We're going to Vegas in May. In May. That'll be fun. Play yeah. some golf in Reinvesting Vegas. in the channel, guys. It's not what you think. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's literally like it's not a typical Vegas trip. We're 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 not going to the casinos, yeah. but who's to say we might not pop yeah, in? Yeah, we'll once. we'll pop in for but you know. We're actually going for a, a convention. Uh, Basically, um, what's helped us get all this going? Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, welcome, welcome, our friend. Yeah, we're going to um, just learn a little bit about more uh, more about what we're doing on YouTube and you know how to. How to get to the next level? Keep keep growing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about that uh, Justin Thomas and um, Shane Lowry thing. What's the Ryder Cup without a little bit of jousting? Yeah, I feel like he's he's uh, Justin. I feel like he he gets in the jousting a lot, but he loves it. It's good. It's his nature. I'm. I'm. Uh, he's a young dude. He. He's I'd gonna be upset if he didn't. Do he's it. gonna put some jabs in here and there. Yeah, I don't notice anyone who's played all matches. Yeah, I think everybody's had a break. Yeah, everybody here has had a break. Actually, did Dustin play? Dustin played in both matches yesterday. I'm curious if he played this morning. I'm going to look that up. Oh, a, friend's come, a friend comes free, or it's 50 cents each. It's a pound, not a euro, just to say. Oh, right, duh, pound. Yep, gotcha. Pounds, euros, rupees, <laughs> rupees. yuan. <laughs> rupees, I love that. <laughs> I need to be more cultured. We need to travel more places. What do you mean, we? I. I. <laughs> Take responsibility for your, 
for your peasanthood. Hey, I would like to know what, what people in Dubai use as currency. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I think coming to appreciate other other styles of life. Right. Hey, Mike, stop moving. Thanks. Oh, he just wants to, like, stay there. If you turn it around, uh, it'll, um, you know, because that's the ends up being the microphone, the fuzzy thing. And it keeps wanting to cha-cha jive on me. Victor Hovland on the tee now, getting their match going. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it looks like Ooh. Dustin Johnson has played in every single... Uh, what up, Nick? Dubai uses the Durham. The Durham. Hey, what up, Nick? My guy, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the presence of royalty here. Yes, sir. Nick coming into the chat. Got Matt's friend here. Yeah, long time hometown friend. buddy. He Nick plays will be golf on the channel. Us. Nick will be on the channel. We got some stuff coming up. Yep. We got Nick, Joe, Miles, the boys. Mm -hmm. The boys. And CJ's like an honorary boys member. Yeah, absolutely. Always been. Yeah, we all play golf together, you know. Yeah, we do. It's it's nice to go out and play together. I think that's a, a true joy. Mm-hmm. England doesn't allow Scotland money. Your money is no good here, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to your country. <laughs> yeah, but being able to go spend some time in, in other places. I mean, my excuse is golf. Uh-oh, we had um, that's a on the wicket. first... Hole. Who is that? Oh man, is that Scotty Bryson? Scheffler? I think that was Scotty Scheffler. He got oh Scotty semi plugged into a bunker. Dang. Oh, Bryson's gonna drive the first that's, hole. That's Look what at I'm him. saying. I was like, this is Bryson, Big Daddy B, coming on the tee here. Let's go. Nick says you're more than an honorary member. Oh, oh thanks, dude. I'm not crying. You're crying. I oh, know. Seriously, just hit me <laughs> in the heartstrings, my <laughs> <laughs> Say hey, say hey to hope for us. We're just chilling over here doing our thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, glad to stop by. Happy Saturday. I was like, what day is it? I took off Friday from work, yeah. and I'm like, I feel like it's Sunday. All right, here comes Bryson on the tee. Oh, he smoked it. That one's up. It is high. It is far. It's so much higher than anybody. Jeez. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, he got a lucky kick back. It kicked, like, backwards. It hit, and then it came back. That's a good lie, though. He'll be right next to the green. Yep. Talk about nice the dedication, chip. though. I took off work months and months ago just so I could do something yeah, golf related. True. But it turns out originally it was for the tournament. Was it was it? for the tournament, yeah. yeah. The one we were supposed to play in. At McCann, yeah. And uh, then we decided to do the stream, which worked out. Back to trading Pokemon cards then for golfing equipment. <laughs> Derek, you got any? Uh, you got any Pokemon cards? Oh, Derek, you want to see something funny, dude? You'll appreciate this. You saw these last night, right, Derek? In the chat? Oh, for sure, Nick. I got you covered. Hey, have a good day at work, my man. Pokemon Oreos. I'll check in with you soon, brother. Later, Nick. Be Thanks good. for stopping by. Cook some good food today, man. People are, People need the love. Oh, third hole to par three. Ball is... Trickling down to the water. Hopefully it got stuck in the grass there. That was Tyrrell Hatton from Europe mm. in a little bit of trouble on the third. Hopefully he can get bailed out by Shane Lowry. They are not a prop. They're sealed. And I, I know. You're talking to a collector, CJ. Okay, I bought like a lot more packs than I would like to admit. <laughs> but... I gotta catch all 16 of them. Should I open them now? Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait till a few more people come in the chat and see if we can get all 16 Pokemon Oreos in one Yeah, pack. there you go. Turn it into a Pokemon stream. I didn't see them last night, but wow, Pokey Treats. 
<laughs> Derek, oh God, you might have just made my day. Pokey treats. Right. I'm gonna use that one. You made CJ. CJ and her thing. pokey treats. Her, her pocket monsters. <laughs> oh gosh, that is great. Gotta love a good Pokemon, okay? Yeah. We've been popping off the last couple of years here. They have been. Yeah, and CJ, I can assure you they are not a prop. Paul Casey in the crowd with everybody. I love it. Right. You know, just getting everybody involved. That's great. Now. So, yeah, Tony on the third tee. This See how much the wind is taking it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Just yeah, a little shy. A little shy. Barely there, though. Yeah, that's just judging the wind, misjudging the wind. It's more right to left than I think. They think they feel downwind, and it's just mm. crushing it right to left out there. Pokey treats. Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> Now we got Harris English. And it's probably a big advantage for someone to go last on a hole like this. You've watched three golf shots and what they've done. You've got your partner that's in your ear helping you out. Harris pulled it. That's going in the water. Dang, dude. Yeah, I just got away from him. Uh, it was right on line, though. Yeah, that one went in the water. So it's up to Tony. Tony's on the green. Terrell Hatton's in trouble. Harris English is in trouble. Now, what happens in that case? So, since they would, um, they just automatically take Tony's ball. Like, Harris isn't going to take a drop. I mean, so they're all playing their own ball. So, Harris is going to try and establish a score. And okay. also, Tony is as well. So, But whoever has the better of the two scores, they'll take that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, Harris could make a 12, and uh, Tony, could make Tony like makes a three. a three, and They'll the score the for the team is three. It's one score for the team. Got it. When do they do singles matches, you said? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. So there's 12 points, or 14 points, because there's... 12. Yeah, there's 12 points 12 total. 12 players? Yeah. Yep, 12 players. Cool, cool. That'll be exciting. This is exciting, too. Oh, look at him. Yeah, that's Paul Casey. Paul he's loving Casey's it. literally going like this in the crowd with all the guys. I know. Because <laughs> he's not playing in, the, in this afternoon session. He's out there <laughs> being, uh, you know, good for him. Doing him, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. I think golf courses with a volcano. Not that I know. You know. Um, Hawaii? I'm sure that there's plenty within view of a volcano. There's also one. Um, Mount Fuji? That we were looking at does Mount Fuji in Japan. Mm. You know, with just a beautiful, beautiful view of it. Gosh, we're going to go to Japan and play golf. Oh, my gosh. So many places. We got to get the uh, get the subs up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> get the, we're on our journey. Build you know? the channel. Make, it, make us go global, you know. We'll do it for us. Do it for fans. This is a great shot. Scotty Scheffler. Yeah, just, just to get that on the green, that was, um, you know, if you can two putt from there, that's uh, that'd be great. But yeah, Derek, definitely some courses like Hawaii for sure is going to be in view. Um, there are plenty of courses within view of a uh, of a volcano, and also Mount Fuji in Japan is definitely a great example. A beautiful, beautiful volcano, massive. And we got Bryson here on the first hole hitting his approach shot. A little tough shot, but he's got the upslope to work with. So. Oh, bad kick. He just hit yeah. something and it rocketed. Dang. All right, they're in trouble here. They got to be getting down in two from both of those. Yeah, he just hit something up here. I don't know if it was like a sprinkler head or... Let's see what that replay, if they're going to give us a replay on that. 
Yeah, it hit something and just ran. That was unfortunate. I'm going to pass it over to you for a second. Mm-hmm. Pass the buck on me there. Taking over the stream. United States, nine and three here. See if Team Europe can make something out of day two. Get some points back. We got a shuffler here for Birdie. And that's just not going to get him there. I left that short for about a six footer. Not a bad attempt, but it's just not going to not going to be it. But he'll be good to tap that in for par. Hopefully Bryson can get can make something out of his next shot here. We got Fleetwood here for birdie on the first hole. Oh, just left that short, few inches short there. Dang. Told me Fleetwood, he's, he's rocking the beanie though. Gotta maintain the flow. We got Spieth here, 250 yards out on the second hole here, or on the second shot, excuse me. Should be the second hole, though. But yeah, is that the second hole? Yeah, the I think second it is. shot. Yeah, second hole. Yep. I was right. Never doubt Stick yourself. Stick to your guns. Never doubt yourself. Stick to your guns there. Not bad. That was nice. Woo! Nice and on the green there. Now Bryson's got to get, uh, he's got his birdie putt way up the hill. Yeah, Scheffler, he, he got pretty close, but he left his. Short for about six foot. Okay. Um, see what Bryson can do. No. No. Should have went a little bit more left, I guess. I'm not sure if that's any of the wind blowing it. Right. Who knows? How much of that on greens that are this fast? Mm -hmm. That's tough, man, because that's kind of a guessing game. Yeah. And Tony Finau here for birdie. Tony Finau from... From across the pond, having to hit this putt. Look at this. What a oh. putt. A little extra speed. No problem there. Six feet from where he was. I'll take that. What you got, Derek? What golf channel? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course you can recommend one. Let us know. Always looking to check out. We've seen quite a few, too, that have given us ideas on... Um, you know, what content to put out, what would suit our style. But, yeah, always mm -hmm. always learning from other channels. Yeah, always trying to get better. I don't really have much broadcast experience, but I, I like golf. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting better at being able to announce it, I guess. It's called Golf Mates. Mm. Golf Mates. Yeah, we'll definitely check it out. Oh, beautiful. They got a nice YouTube channel there. Yeah. Golf mates. This is, there we go. <laughs> I love it. Everybody's doing their own thing, golf related. It's really cool. Just goes to show there's so much out there for everybody. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's definitely. Definitely options. A little bit of peace for everybody. 
Shane Lauer is getting into it. He's a fiery character. Yeah. Different courses all over for sure. Shane a looks four hole like, shell. Damn. Shane looks like a like a soft teddy bear type that you yeah. wouldn't want to provoke and get angry though. Yeah. <laughs> He was like born a teddy bear and he turned into like a, a like he's a like grizzly. a grizzly teddy bear. A grizzly, yeah. <laughs> he was like Winnie the Pooh, but if you provoke him, he'll turn into like the grizzly bear. Yeah. And yeah, four hole show. Derek, I'm telling you, you know what we learned too is I went and filmed Joe, uh, who we did a video on for 18 holes. It is a ton, the amount of material that we had to cut, mm. you know, there's like, I'm thinking of taking, I went and played nine holes the other day and just breaking it into even threes because I understand when I go and play, there's certain things I want to talk through to get the essence of what I'm doing across. And it's like, oh, it's a lot to, you know, three holes is plenty. Three holes is going to take, you know, 15 minutes at least. Mm -hmm. So just to get the, get the value across, I think it's a big, um, you know, going to play 18 holes and doing this is, it's tough. It's yeah, uh, filming it, totally sure, different. Making sure you have the right uh, angle for the trajectory for the for the post edit. For the shot tracer and all that stuff, yeah. We got Ian Poulter coming Ian. on up. Ian. The yeah, visor Ian man. and Rory. And we got Deej and Morikawa. I love that. Yeah. I love that pairing. That'll be really interesting to see how they do. I agree. Together, because I don't know. Deej is such a quiet man. And I mean, I guess Colin is too. Yeah. But I they just seem think it's different funny. personalities. He's a young gun versus like a veteran. I feel like. Is this Colin's first Ryder Cup? This is for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. He's had quite a year, Colin. Yeah, sure has. Sure has. He looks like a stand-up guy, you know. When he won the British Open, he congratulated the. Uh, the amateur who played in that as well, I believe. Yep. And that was just like a class act, you know, acknowledging that and. Oh gosh, they got these cameras right on the green, and Ian Poulter's hitting up. Yeah. Right, cameramans, watch out. We got Rory's whoop bracelet on for his heart All rate. Right, just hit a hundred, hundred on the heartbeat. It's going up. You not one hundred two. Not as much as Ian, and not as much as Tyrrell Hatton <laughs> yesterday. Ian's is what one thirty three. He hit, He's like, his is getting up there now. Yeah. One ten. Ah, ten He's, beats a minute slower. Yeah, Rory's staying controlled. That's not not terrible. Oh oh. oh. Okay, good kick for him. Low right of the green, but in between two bunkers on some grass. Plenty of green to work with. Yeah, full time volunteer camera person. And yeah, it's one day. um one day. Yeah, we're so right now, picture this. I've got this um this thing on. I'm doing the camera behind it. I'm annotating every shot. I'm getting the yardage. I'm looking at the golf shot app to see what the yardage is. I'm recording that on the screen on so I could do it afterwards. You guys will see it's um it's, it's a production. labor of love. You know, there's really a process that goes into playing your best golf and I want to make sure that that comes across. You know, I don't want to deprive anybody of skimping through on, you know, it'll take a time, some time to get a little momentum, but by next season, you guys will be able to see kind of what I put into my round, and, you know, hopefully there's something that, that you guys will, uh, you know, get out of that. I'm telling you, Derek, it is, playing nine holes, it was, um, it was a lot. Yeah. You know, I usually play pretty quick, but to set everything up and make sure it's all good for every shot and then you do it around the greens too and I have a brand new process around the greens where I walk out each putt see how long each putt is and I'm documenting all that and so I'm trying to get better as a player and also run a YouTube channel as I'm out there playing nine holes so to think I can go and play 18 is uh, I don't know but we'll get a lot more golf as the you know as the season's wrapping up for sure and, uh, you know, I think we'll take that into the winter time here and be able to uh, just, just you know, give a lot of it back. Yeah. And we'll also be playing a lot of uh, golf on Perfect Swing, which I mm -hmm. think is a perfect time to Ooh. throw a little commercial out there. I can so. dig it. 
Yeah, if you guys didn't see the stream yesterday, it's, uh, you know, this is what we've been, been up against here. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. All right, enjoy. Love it. Yeah. yeah. It's a great game. So, perfect game. We're definitely going to be playing that in the winter for sure. If you haven't downloaded it and want to check it out, Perfect Swing down in the description below. Add the game. It's free for Apple and iOS Android users. Uh, uh, what's it called? Our gamer tags are in the description below. If you mm -hmm. want to add us in the game, throw your gamer tags down there. And you can get some free in-game uh, credit points and all that fun jazz. So definitely play us. We're having a fun time. We can have a little clan league. We can play match play together. Man and I really love playing it. So shout out to Perfect Swing. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video. And also, CJ's almost at level 20. When she gets to level 20, we can create a, t uh, a clan together. And we can all be a part of that golf couple clan. You know, we can come up with our, uh, our little squad of people yeah you know exactly so speaking of which i'm gonna i'm gonna grind it out and play this game for a little bit but this is kind of what it looks like right here perfect swing mm -hmm. and while matt you do your thing uh i'm gonna try and grind it out here and yeah and if anyone wants to challenge cj let us know we're uh yeah. you know we're in it for sure yeah so and cj too i am so with you on um you know, posting six holes at a time. You know, I was almost thinking of putting it into three hole stretches or or we could do the par fours, the par threes and the par fives, maybe break it down like that. Um, but yeah, we absolutely, you know, want to get the most out of uh, each round of golf that we play, you know. And so there's stuff that I can do on the golf course and there's also stuff that I can do, like I can annotate like this afterwards because it also helps me as a student too because I can kind of coach myself and it's not like I'm coaching myself on the course because I'm able to look at it from a third person perspective afterwards. So yeah, we plan on getting the most out of that. We have quite a few rounds of golf filmed already with friends um, and you know, obviously going through their journey but also uh, being able to film ourselves and, and get the most out of it. I'm with you. It's uh, and we're getting better at it too. That's what we're doing in yeah. in uh, May is going to Las Vegas to that convention really to to get better at what we're producing out there. Exactly, exactly. And and your guys' feedback really helps too. So the I, um, the more that we post those, uh, you know, it will it will definitely come across. Yeah, Alessandro. So if you go to we're watching it via Fubo. Um, Ultimately, the golf channel is the one that is producing uh, the production, that, that has the production here. So you can go there and you can also go to RyderCup.com. I believe that they have a, um, a couple cameras out there as well. You can check those out. So that's uh, definitely an option for you. Yeah. And Derek, yes, I am playing on an iPhone. So this is an iPhone, but it also works for Android users as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure is. I'd open the window, but there's uh, everyone in the neighborhood seems to be mowing constantly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, always, it's like a, always mowing. Everybody's always mowing. The grass is lush out here. It is super lush. 
And if you want a drink or anything, too. Oh, for sure. You know? I'm going to go grab one, actually. That's a good idea. I like it. Would you like a beverage, good, um, my good sir? Hmm. I will, I will pass for the time being. I think I'll grab one on the second go around. All I right. think that'll be the the way to go. And um, CJ, if you check out someone who inspired me for content has been uh, uh, Golf Sidekick. He does a really cool, he showed, basically showed me that it's possible to film yourself and play golf and he showed me the style. So we're going to have that sort of style. I followed Joe around for that first, you know, his 18 and I gave some insight as to what he was doing. Um, you know, I'd love to give, I've, I've put my heart and my soul into this game. And just, if I can give you guys like a little bit of insight on how I see it, maybe give you some tips on how to approach your, maybe your bunker shots, uh, how to hit a draw, a fade, shape the ball, hit it high, low, any of that stuff. And even if you're starting out, I promise you the principles are not just for advanced players. I put it in, in terms that a six-year-old could understand it as well. Um, I certainly am... Uh, have, have put a lot into it and I enjoy the, the mental side of it. I think that's what's allowed me to play really the scratch golf that I've been playing recently and um, just want to share it, you know? It's fun and I get a lot out of it. I, I love it and, uh, you know, we just want to give it back. Yeah, it's interesting. That's interesting, Derek. I'm curious why it's not... Uh, Going through for the Nokia. Is there like an? I am not familiar so much with Android. I have a, an iPhone myself. If there's like an app store or anything, I know you've probably given it a good look though. Yeah, it's a it's a fun game, man. It's uh, one of those like late at night I'll catch myself drifting to it, and uh, I'm a competitive type, so I'll usually go and play CJ in uh, in a match or two. She knows I'm competitive enough, though. I probably don't need to get be competitive with everything I do. But maybe I do. Maybe we can keep the um, the door open. There's a good good breeze coming in, right? Just right now. Okay. It's definitely uh, it helps. I mean, you can feel it outside. It's nice. It's hot in the stream room. Not compatible. I'm back. She's back. Oh. So what happened with Derek's uh, phone? Yeah, yeah, he's got a Nokia, and it's saying it's not compatible for the mm. for the app. Dang. I'll have oh, to. It does, does it have a touch screen, Derek? That's probably why. I think it does require a, I don't know, a pro, I don't know. I'm just talking out of thin air right now. I just play golf, I, you know. That is interesting. Um, oh, Ian Poulter pouring in a birdie putt, getting the juices flowing early here on the first hole. Rory picks up his coin, no problems there. Dang. Gotcha. We'd love for you to be able to play one day, so if you ever do get a device. Maybe, do they still come out with eye touches? Remember an eye touch? Mm -mm. It was like an iPhone, but it was just an iPod back in the day. Okay. It was literally called an eye touch. An iPod so, touch, was it? Yeah, no. it was an iPod touch. Huh. Yeah, I remember Did that. Did it have like the app store on it? Yeah, it had everything. The only thing it wasn't was it wasn't a phone. So, like, right. for people who just wanted to listen to music or download gotcha. things, they could just download. Uh-huh. But. So now we've got Dustin Johnson on the first hole. And he's got a birdie putt. This is to have the hole. I like that he's got his brother. As a caddy. As a caddy. Yeah, that is neat. It's a family affair. Yeah, I like it. Here's Dustin with his putt. Ooh, creeps it in there. Beautiful putt. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful putt. There's Birdie on the first, having it with birdies. I love it. Oh, man, someone already wants to play me. Do they? Yeah, you got, yeah. You got challengers? Yeah, I gotta nice. stop my game. I'll yeah. play. Let's go, you guys. Yeah, if anybody wants to play in the in the chat here, CJ's I'm welcoming the game. all challengers. 
I I'm am. putting you I'm putting you out there. Oh, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Coding recognition not available on your phone. Hmm. Mm. Got it, got it, got it. So here's Tyrrell Hatton on what must be. Oh, Tyrrell Hatton. Looks like he slipped. Oh, he slipped, all right. And then he just slid down the, the hill. <laughs> That's so funny. He's having a good time out there. I'm glad to see him smiling. Yeah, it's Hero Hatton here. They are on uh, the fourth hole. He's hitting his third shot out of it. Hey, going to be hard. Oh, he just hit it right into the bank and into the bunker. Dang. I'm telling you, when you get stuck in that stuff, it's just a, a get-out sort of strategy. I'm playing against, like, a level 50 character, and I'm almost level 20. I know. When you get playing some of those those top players, it's... Uh, it's no no joke. It's no joke. Yeah, you got to come with your A game. Yeah, it's your old hat, and he's doing all he can just to get up. Incredible. Yeah, I'd love to go see what we can do at this course. I'm curious how, uh, let's see the Ryder Cup. Um, the scorecard there. Oh, oh. I hit my approach shot pretty close. There you go. 2.3 yards away from the hole. I'm curious if there's a scorecard. I'd love to see how far they're playing the uh let's see course tour let's see par 71 they got 7390 yards but i think it tips out at like if i go to because we talked about this yesterday this thing straight scorecard it oh we made the birdie though made the birdie yeah i guess it is tipped out there 7,360 yards. That's doable. It's the wind, though. It's the wind, for sure. You know, you got par. But that's the thing. If you've got a... The second hole is 593 yards. Like, listen, man. I ain't getting home in two. You know, it becomes a shorter par four when you can just get it in play, get it in play again and then go for the, the green. So that, that just isn't unmanageable. It's the 500 yard par fours and the 200 plus yard par threes that just require a little bit of patience to go through. Just a wee bit of patience. Wow, Tyrrell Hatton just hit an incredible shot. He had a downhill lie out of the bunker it flew. You could see the wind grab it. Watch this. Oh. Well, not even that part. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then he spun, spun it, back, it back like six feet, went around the cup, and just missed it. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, oh, my. That was a fun golf shot. That was awesome. Because you could see the wind grab it when he hit his bunker shot. That was incredible. Dang, I won my match. There you go. Nice. There you go. Against the level 50? Against the level 50, yeah. Who's the next victim? You don't want oh, none it. of this smoke. You don't want none of this. Oh, I pulled that a little bit, but it's still a good shot. Look, guys, I got a drink of the stream. I know. Do you remember any of that from our previous ones? Arnold, Arnold Palmer, Palmer spikes. spikes. Ready? Listen to this. Ooh, crispy. That echoes through the house. That's nice. Against the level fifty. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. Yeah, every night before bed we get a we honestly get a couple games in. So you just kick my butt. I think I'm level 16 or something like that. Something, I don't know. Better catch 16. up there, bub. 
I'll take you on any day. Right. You let the, me know the day in ASMR, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be better at golf in real life than fictional golf, so Matt's got me on that. You're well on your way, though. I mean, you're, it's, uh, because you've been playing for five years or so? Since 2016. Yeah. Like, actual consistent. And that's the part where it's like, I mean, it's, I, I think it's easy to say for me looking back, um, you know, where I was five years in is like, well, I was in, I mean, I was avid about it. I was playing four times a week or so at least. And um, it's just repetitions, you know, but you're, the way you hit your driver, the way you hit your bunker shots. For my three wood? I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, uh, thank you. You know, it's better than you think. Get it! He's got a long putt. Uh, oh, just braid. Just brushes it by. Nah, I hit that way too hard. Yeah, you leave a, you miss 100% of the ones, you leave short. Am I right, chat? You gotta get it there. You gotta get it to the hole. Who, who Two rules this? of putting never leave it short and never miss the one coming back. It's Harris English. Look at those shoes, though. Pretty nice foot joys. Gosh. So he's waiting there. His ball, he's just making sure that his ball doesn't. Uh, doesn't move. There's so much wind. Oh, you see the red bars? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, I oh, just I could probably it. move it over, though. Thank you, Derek. Let me, like, readjust that just a little bit for you guys. Sorry about that. Here I am talking all the smack, and then I just lost. That's okay. Uh, let me do this. Maybe I can go. Like that, I'll move that over a little bit. How about that? Catch me outside. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that lady. Yeah, now you can see the bars a little bit better. Um, how's moving that down a little bit? Yeah, I'm like halfway yeah, at level 19. Level 19 right now on the game. I'm trying to get to level 20 so we could do like a match play. Or I mean a clan league. Clan I'm league. gonna create a that golf couple clan, so that way people yeah, can play go, with Derek. us. Yeah, Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you for that. Little details, you know, little details. Playing golf while watching golf. I know life is good while chatting with golfers. You guys like my other T-shirt here? We got USA Pride. Yep. Nice. Switching I it up. I like it. For par to win the hole, Harris English. Nice, come on, dude. Oh my goodness, par to win the hole. Right. I what? mean, when you're playing 215 yard par threes, I guess so. Yeah. That's not a, is that a par three there? No, Harris English is on. You get this straight. Yeah, they're on the fourth hole, so this is a par four. Oh, just man. misses it. Oh, and that skirts by about four or five feet or so. So, Tyrrell Hatton and Shane Lowry are one up through four on that match. I think you can still hear me with this on my hat. Yeah, maybe if you point the other... Uh... <laughs> I know, look at CJ. <laughs> See, this is, uh, oh my gosh. Actually, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, that's too funny. You know, you try and get like the, the most <laughs> this discreet, is easy microphone. <laughs> oh my god. That's too much. Uh, You're is, too much. This is how I'm going to play golf. Oh, oh my behind gosh. you. Wait, our 18 is backwards? Your eight and the number eighteen is. That's, is it upside down? <laughs> Am I? Are you? I thought we fixed it. Yeah, you funny, Derek. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing with us. Yeah, he's, yeah. Because yesterday. He, you know, Derek knows I'll tweak anything. <laughs> you know, it's all about the, the viewer experience. You are my family. I would do anything for you guys. Oh, hey Matt, I just can't read this. Oh, okay, no problem. Let me get that. Right. 
Can you guys hear me with it clipped on my hat? You are too much right now. You're like that four <laughs> foot wind sock that we were complaining about yesterday. The dude had it coming out of his stomach like like an exercise. We'll see it again today. I mean, how do you get all your quality in 25 mile an hour winds? You just have a 40 foot dead cat. Yeah, the longer the dead cat, the <laughs> the more wind that it blocks somehow. I don't know how <gasps> oh that Oh my works. gosh, look at this. Watch this, guys. Oh, is it going to show it? Oh, I just had a chip in par. You should be able to um, go I'm gonna and, show the replay. and show the replay afterwards. I've done that a couple times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can hear myself. This mic is amazing. It's a good one. Oh, my gosh, I look like a Dalek. Google it. I don't know what that is. I'm afraid. Dalek. Doctor Who. Oh, my God. That's too funny. Oh, my God. You are too funny, Derek. Literally. That's what I look like. What is that? It's like R2-D2 in a kitchen appliance. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, is that you? No. Jeez, that is funny. It's like a Doctor Who thing. Oh, the PGA show is... Oh, no, this is this looks like the PGA show. This is the Ryder Cup merchandise store. Oh, wow, yeah. It's a despotic army of large electric kettles. You want to explain that one more time? Nope, but that's what it is. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's too funny. Oh, I one. mean... It feels a lot better than having it clipped to my throat. Does it? Yeah. I feel like I have like a little fuzzy, you know, throat. Yeah. To each his own. You could maybe put it on your shoulder or something. I don't know. You'll figure it out. I believe in you. I think it's kind of comical. It is. It's uh, coming off the brim of my hat. It is funny. We were scared of Daleks as a kid. What do you mean as a kid? I'm scared of it now. You see that? Right. Thing? I've never seen that before. And here we are on the third hole. Scotty Scheffler hitting his approach shot. Man, the wind is grabbing this golf ball. And I'm telling you, everybody's struggling on this third hole. Trying to figure out how to... Everyone's playing a massive draw. You almost got to work it against the wind a little bit and still have it draw. Dustin Johnson on the second hole, 273 with the three wood. Apex, 44 feet. That should run. Mm-hmm. Here we go, DJ. Wow, what a green. golf shot. Yes, what sir. What a golf shot. Yes, sir. 20-some feet up the hill for his eagle. No smile. We don't need the smile. <laughs> We're true pros. So Bryson's going to hit a little a little fade against the wind here. So he just kind of just worked it against the wind a little bit. And he's at his, oh, my goodness. He's got a 100-foot putt coming up. A hundred, it's over 100 feet that he's got to putt that ball. Jeez. Yeah, gosh, this, this hole, the third hole. Because Harris English just had a putt for par to win. They have the hole with a bogey, just to put it in perspective. going to be a got to love to play those golf shots cuz there's so much workability that comes when the wind is howling like that. Mhm. Mm I know. Need Lee Trevino and uh Jack Nicklaus. There's a a clip on um Oh, is that really the... <laughs> I think that's literally... Hang on. <laughs> that's literally this. We'll bring this. Bring it back to the... Bottom. I was like, where's this wind coming from? It's from the ambient noise. My gosh, chill out, you birds. 
I'm gonna give a little background noise. I don't need wind. Actually, that's probably pretty fitting, you know, being that we're at. It's just who wants wind in their ear for the whole thing. This is the I content so. we came for. I know. Can I get a little <laughs> wind in my ear? <laughs> If that doesn't gain us subs, I don't know what will. Right? I don't know what the people want if they don't want an authentic whistling straights experience. Oh, gosh. Gotta love it. That is too funny. Epka. I know. Let's yeah. make something, dude. Let's make it happen. All right. Sticks it on the green. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it is hard oh to my. get the ball to stop right now. It's just going to keep rolling for days. Oh, here we go. Hold on. I want to show them this. For sure. Here's my... Uh, Chip in. Nice. And in the cup. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's hard to see it in the YouTube video. I got you. Yeah, you're in. You're done. Oh yeah. Nice. That's so cool. That's what I'm playing right now. I know. Nice chip in. Thanks. It's hard to hold it out, you know? It's definitely hard to get it in the, the cup with the... Some of, I see you chip in way more than I do, though. And here's Jordan on the fourth hole, hitting his approach shot. Not bad. Everyone's just getting eaten up by this wind. Oh, look at this plane. Oh, wow. They got a little seaplane here. That's neat. Looking to take off. <laughs> Hopefully the wind allows it to. Yeah, for sure. Big fan of um, Sebi short game. Um, I mean, so many great players. I just the way that the, that golf was played during that era. It's um, I understand it's different than today, but we're only um, how does the saying go? It's just on the shoulders of people that have built the game uh, from there. And to watch how they played, it was brilliant. Lee Trevino is great. What a personality, too. Uh, he, you know, he's one of a kind. Yeah. John Rahm on the green on the fourth here. And then Sergio hit a heck of a drive. He hit his 335. Wow. And he's got a really good angle here. But he's coming out of um, the first cut of rough. Hopefully he can stop it there. 153 yards. Is he going wood on that or hybrid? No, no he's, he's got like a, like a pitching wedge or yeah. something. At first it looked like it, and I'm like, oh, my. Yeah, there are, the wind is kind of it's going out to sea. I call it sea, but it's, a, you know, Lake Michigan. It looks like a sea, all right? I see, you see, we all see the seas. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Sergio hits a nice shot up there. Still the wind pushing it away. You know, that's a tough hole location right now. Tucked all the way over there. You don't really want to go right. Sergio's one of uh they're showing all the players that competed in the Ryder Cup in four in four different decades. Wow. Actually just competed in four different decades. Lee Westwood is another. He's one of four people. Sergio Garcia, nineties, two thousands, two thousand tens, twenty. Now was that in the Ryder Cup or was that I think it was the Ryder Cup. Because Lee what is Lee Westwood isn't playing, is he? Because it oh said twenty twenties for Lee Westwood as well. Yeah, flying a plane in this wind. 
My dad was a pilot. He could probably get it done. Here's Bryson from 130 feet putting it up to the fringe. Oh my gosh, this ball is gone. Oh, wow. He just putted it off the green. Yeah. Yeah, he just putted it off the green. Bryson. Dang, dude. About Sergio, you know what, Derek? I was actually very happy when he uh, won his um, Masters. You know, I know it's something that we kind of, as golf fans, hold against really good players. And it's, you know, it's a challenge because he is, he was so talented as a kid. Um, and he's still an extremely talented player. Um, you know, I, I guess I would lo have loved to see him win a British. I think a British would have been huge for Sergio. Um, you know, he is a fabulous player. I, I think uh, over the last few years, you know, they, they talk about that, uh, whatever, hot-headedness of a lot of, um, you know, him and John Rahm. They're, they're, they're passionate and they care about it, you know. I don't think that that's, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, I think if you're, like, throwing clubs and breaking clubs, then it's like, okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I admire what he's done for the sport. You know, him and his dad, I know his dad is very involved in the game as well. So I, I admire it, you know. Everyone's got their different way about how they came up and played the game, and I think he's certainly added to the sport, especially for the country of Spain. Um, I know he didn't uh, represent them in the Olympics, but I would have loved to see him. Uh, him and John Rahm would have been a team. I think, what was it, Rafa Cabrera Bello was from Spain. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I'm loving with the Olympics now how there's different people like um, Victor Hovland from Norway, you know, oh. as he makes his birdie putt. Beautiful, Big beautiful putt. putt. Nice job, dude. So I think that's great for the game of golf. You know, you got people all over the planet um, with Rory Sabatini, who just won silver, you know, for Slovakia. That's... Uh, you know, people there are now going to consider golf as something. How many kids do you think ask their parents to get them a, a set of golf clubs so that they could go and oh. play or just hit them around the yard? So, oh. I'm glad you like the birds. Yeah, we added those in. I want to make sure the, the volume's good. So, um, I can see it a little bit. Sometimes it kind of like fluctuates. So I'm, I'm working with it. But, yeah. A little tweet, tweet. Yeah, when Seve went, it was, uh, I mean, Seve was just a pioneer for uh, for the game of golf in general, regardless of, uh, you know, I think that was a, a global thing. You know, it's a, it's a new era. I'm excited to see where the game's going. And, you know, just to play our little part, I get romantic about that stuff, you know, just to try and pass the torch ahead, you know, share what we've learned through, all of our years of experience and, you know, share our, uh, I can't get over you with that microphone on your head. <laughs> Here I am to talk about furthering the game and CJ's got this little windsock coming out of her forehead. She looks like a Dalek. Yeah, God, is that, that's too much, man. It's... Yeah, I can't, can't help but be I, me. I know, I'm with the right one. You know, look at her. Oh, goodness. Look at you. Yeah, lucky me is right. So now we're here on the fifth hole. This is playing a little bit crosswind today. So I don't know that Bryson will get the same opportunity at the drive that um, that he did yesterday, but I'm sure there'll be other holes that are that are downwind. Even these short wedge shots. You know, Harris English just hit his third shot. He's about 25, 30 feet past the hole at least. So, yeah, it's a, yeah, this is definitely, so Bryson went all over the corner yesterday. Hmm. So they got to hit it about, you know, it's, it's an incredible golf hole. Yeah, Seve's, yeah. I like the Ryder Cup stingers with that logo. It's just whoosh, doing a bunch of different things. 
I know. The transition. I know. They got a professional production. So do we. So do we. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I, I, I think we'll go for it. All right, you guys, if you do subscribe, check out this little animation that we got here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to see something? Oh, gosh. I got to go to the... Oh, gosh. I'm unprepared for this. Oh, my bad. I put him on the spot. Yeah, she really did. We'll show you guys in a minute. And oh, we don't need to see that, though. <laughs> Avert your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the the dashboard. You know, not the not the behind the scenes, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> don't show them where the magic happens behind the screen. I know. Yeah, it's not coming up right now. For Eagle to win the hole for Deshambo on the fifth. Pops it in. Yeah, check it out. This is this is what it'll look like. That was for that was yesterday's highlight. Yeah. That was that was awesome. Oh, AC there we go. On there. Nice. I know. That's what happens. You if made you it more subscribe. prominent. Yeah, for anyone who's got a public profile, when you subscribe, that'll be the. And your name will be right in my box, right here, as the latest subscriber. Super gamer getting quite and quite a bit of screen time. Right, super gamer. Thank you, super gamer. Is the, is the oh, boss? Oh, and John Rom just made a bomb. Fifty footer or so to go two up against Kepka and Spieth. Wow. Yeah. Super Gamer is the new stream boss for right now. Stream boss. Hey, you want to put it as stream boss? <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's do that. I'm down. All right. So we'll go here. Can we go down for a second? There you go, new stream boss. Down where? No, I wanted to see something real quick. Go down. Oh, okay. Nice. There you go, new stream boss. That is good. All right, hopefully your uh, your YouTube name isn't longer than. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you know. Longer than the screen, or then we'll it's gonna get cut off. Constantly edit it. Friend didn't show up, huh? Yeah, that's what we were saying, Derek. If if Europe can get four points, I mean, nine seven is they've come back from more than that, and vice versa as well. So right. Tom Brady's done more than that, and it's it's anyone's uh, <laughs> it's anyone's game. I'm just joking. Yeah, that's the thing. These, you know, you let a little bit slip in one match, a little bit slip in another match, and then all of a sudden it's uh, it's anybody's game. Yeah, Brooks and Kepka, Brooks Kepka and uh, Jordan Spieth, they're they're two down right now. You got the Europe is up in three matches right now, and then DJ and Colin are one up through their first two holes. Ramon, welcome, Europe, yeah. Team Europe in the chat. I like that I, I can make y, YJ laugh too, my comments, probably about Tom Brady or something. Just you in general. It's, oh, she's yeah. probably laughing at that windsock on your Just forehead. Just me in general, I'm, I'm a good time. I'm a funny, yeah. funny person. You're one of a kind, I'll tell you. You guys get to see the live, you know. In a YouTube video, like that's cut and edited, it's totally different than the but than the live version of us. I definitely try and throw in some funny bloopers, and Matt's all about the golf game, and CJ's about like the let me get this funny bit. Yeah, I'm sitting there like, how can I more so serve our you know the person that is seeking something, and CJ's like, well, why don't we throw in all these bloopers? You know. <laughs> The entertainment industry. I know. It got CJ me. gets the entertainment. Here, I'm just trying to find different ways to add value. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, just, I am adding value I wanted through to, comedy. Uh, I know. It's yeah, we don't need to way. tell you guys anything about golf or anything. We'll just tell jokes. We'll, we'll do a little thumbnail, <laughs> how to break 90. And it'll just be 
Six minutes of St- of CJ doing stand up on the on the golf course. All right, all right, all right. we're not going there. <laughs> right, Matt, your skills are overrated. A little more humor, a little less, a little less improvement. <laughs> they came here for for me. <laughs> oh God! Meanwhile, behind the scenes, there is CJ's golf channel. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That that golf chick, <laughs> you know. Don't give me ideas. Oh uh, gosh. She's a peacock. You gotta let her fly. What's the difference between plastic tea and wooden? Which is better? I prefer plastic teas only because they don't break as much. What do you prefer, Matt? Same deal. Yeah. Yeah, I just I used to play with wooden ones, and I actually worked at this course where the tees would break like every golf shot. So I'd go through a, a dozen tees around. That part just drove me nuts. I mean, I, I literally like, just started with plastic tees, so it's easy for me to continue on with that. I like say. just having three, four, five tees in the bag and calling it. Yeah, that's it. You know, because they'll break, you might break one every couple of rounds. You know, you got to put 20, 30 swings into it to, to get it true. to break. Yeah. See, Colin Morikawa here on the third hole. He gets it. He gets a beautiful shot back there. Oh, my. Everyone struggled. Colin's a heck of a ball striker. Fantastic, dude. Left that maybe a 20-footer there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm telling you, the wind there is just incredible. The divot is getting torn across. So Rory hits a good shot in there. Yep, got two good looks. Tee hee. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Oh, the ball, the ball seems to to be happy with the way I hit it. Oh, it looks like John Rahm in the water on the edge of the water. Close there. Looks like on the fifth hole. YJ. Yeah, they're they're both worth trying for sure. We definitely saw you yesterday on that Instagram uh, reel, right? Or that Instagram story? That was you who was uh, swinging. I think we saw you. It was a pretty sweet swing if it was you. Right. Dare I say, a perfect swing. Oh my. See, this is why CJ does the jokes. <laughs> right. Right? Anything you don't anything, want me telling jokes on anything the course. Matt says, I feel like it's just like a dad joke. Listen, it gets you to laugh, so this is true. Yeah, it works. Bendy little rascals. Yeah, it was definitely. I played with someone who had a titanium tea once. What I was like, they make those, yeah. Oh my, absolutely, they make brush teas. Of course they do. Brush teas? What is that? Like bristles. Oh, I see. Ball sits on bristles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those, yeah. Yeah. I didn't but that's the thing that that's for, like, it's only one tea height. Yeah. You know, you kind of got to get committed to, it was you. Yes, nice. It would. Love it. Love to see more of that. Yeah, beautiful swing. Yeah, I'm glad you, I'm glad you, hopefully you enjoy it, you know? We're going to come to California to come play golf mm-hmm. and hang out. And eat California tacos. There you go. <laughs> Just tacos, tacos in general. From California. Big foodie. Big foodie. Yeah. Me, you show me the, um, yeah, it's just, it's made of metal. And the noise it makes, oh, it's the most disruptive. Oh, I thought you were going to say like the best noise ever. Oh, no. It is just, I don't know. It's, I, I feel like your driver is going to get, uh, it makes like, like a, you know, like a, um, King Cobra had a driver years ago. This is probably like early 2010s. Um, I can see it and it just made this noise that was like, you could hear it from a few hundred yards away. It was like, oh, like a cringe, like a screech, a yeah, screech. That's the, it's, oh man. Mm. Yeah. How much does something like that cost? Like a titanium, titanium tea? Tea? less than 10 bucks, you know? It's just a little piece of metal, really. 
Yeah, CJ will, will be the foodie. I'll be out playing the golf and. Um, oh, I'll be out there, there you swinging go. Them with you. Nice. Foodie too. I have a Californian friend. Well, actually, fun fact: I have a friend who works for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Mm -hmm. I know the chef. As a chef. Yeah, we worked. Uh, we worked together in college, and we actually went to college together. Well, obviously, if we worked together in college, but yeah, we're college buddies. Mm -hmm. She got she got one of like the the uh, World Series rings because she was like the chef. I'm like, that is so cool. I know that's incredible. Got a nice little pay raise too. That's not bad for winning a World Series. Yeah, right. Life's good. I said, how'd you win a win a, a World Series ring? I served the food. I cooked the food. Damn it. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. So what would she do? She would do like team meals and stuff like that. Any any of the food that's provided for the stadium, you know, she's got a team. Or no, she she cooked for the players. Yeah, that was my question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she. Yeah, she'd be good. Now we got Harris English on the sixth hole. Now this was drivable yesterday. Let's see where the wind is blowing today. Looks like they're just getting one in play today. Yeah, winds. Oh no, it's downwind. Harris English drives the green on the sixth hole, working its way towards oh, wow. the flag. Oh, come on, keep going. <gasps> what? Wow, Harris English has about 12, 15 feet or so. Insane. For his eagle. What a putt. Or, I mean, what a shot. Not a putt. What a shot. All your fans are in LA. Let's go. Let's meet up. You can bring us to all the best food places, golf areas. Ooh, yeah, we can help with the golf ramen. for sure. I'm a big ramen yeah. fan. Love ramen. Cat cafe? No, that's in Japan. Any cat cafes? I'll save that for our oh Japan gosh. trip. Yeah, what a drive by Harris English. That was pretty cool. They need a little bit of, uh, they need to get that back to square. And you got Sergio and John Rahm on the fifth hole, doing a number on Brooks and uh, Jordan so far. They're up two. What a great hole it is, the fifth hole. What a great golf hole. Nice, that works. There we got Sergio hitting his second shot. 296 to the hole. He's probably playing it out to the right. You know, with it uh, with it downwind here. Stay in the fairway. Yes. I know. Yeah, I'm perfect swing. If you guys are playing, keep it in the fairway. Yes. Sometimes you got to bounce it in the rough on your approach shot, but... For the love of God. Yeah, keep it in the stay fairway. Stay in the fairway. So Sergio rolls his down the fairway, speaking of that. Oh, he hit it right in the drainage ditch. Hmm. Harris English walking up to the sixth green. Yeah, there's my ball. Not a bad walk. Hey, there you go, a yeah. little, little pump, pump up the pump crowd. In. Yeah. Right. Imagine DJ going like that. Right. He would. Stone cold face. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like yes. Even Harris English, he beats. He'll smile out there. Yeah. yeah here's he's Tony Fee now. He's got a good poker face, you know. I feel like you'd never know what's in his hand with his. Uh, Facial expressions. Ooh. Ooh, Tony Finau. He'll have a good look at Birdie. Now, if you're Team USA and 
your way. It's your team's turn to go. And Tony Finau has maybe, let's say, an 18-footer for birdie. And Harris English has a 15, uh, you know, is has like a 20-footer for eagle. Um, you'll have Tony Finau go first to see if he can make his putt and free up Harris to really go after his. So that's just a little match play strategy. Mm-hmm. How long do I give her to mark the ball? So once the ball comes to rest, once she gets to the ball, you have 10 seconds. Yep. 10 seconds. 10 second rule. I feel like this is a trick, though. I should just give it to her, you know? Oh, right. No, I don't I want I mean, no, nah, she doesn't want it, though. Yeah, she doesn't. Uh, I mean, she's obviously going to make the next one, but you give it 10 seconds. Once she walks over to it. Once you approach, once you address the ball, you get 10 seconds. But I'm a true athlete. I don't need any gimmies. I need all the, honestly, all the shots that I can practice to get better at. So I'd rather practice more and miss than just get it given to me. Because I won't learn. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, I think it's, my dad was bringing that up this morning. I think it's, uh, can be hard sometimes as a, uh, a coach just to let your, you know, if my student or, or whoever I'm working with go through and struggle and, and go through their challenges, you know, it's a, definitely a thing. Um, the score right now, uh, you've got Europe up in three matches. Uh, USA is up in one match, and the score is 9-3 overall. And we've got Tommy Fleetwood for birdie to win the hole. Ooh, a couple feet by. No good for Tommy. We're uh, three quarters of the way there on level 19, you guys. Ooh. In perfect swing. Almost at level 20 here. We will be making that clan, you betcha. You betcha. Yeah, London's, I know. Uh, Europe's got a little bit of work to do. Yeah, but, I mean, they're up in three. If they win all four, it becomes 9-7 with all the singles matches tomorrow. I mean, come on. Yeah, I honestly hope Europe picks it up a little bit. That way we have, like, a really good match um, on Sunday coming into it. Now we've got Bryson on the fourth hole. This to get the match. Uh, I believe this is to tie the hole. Team USA. Gotcha, gotcha. Go in, go in, go in. Yes, yeah, sir. Bryson pours it in. Nice putt. Oh, I really like that quarter zip he's wearing. It's like got the rider cup on the right or the left hand. Chest. Left chest and like the USA like flag right in the middle. Yeah, they had like a little like a uh, white stripe stripe across. Fifty dollar bet this for today. I like yeah. it, London. Speaking of Ryder Cup gear, we got some up here. If you guys want some free Ryder Cup gear, um, you can enter to win on our Instagram post in the description below. So if you want to check that out, go uh, go go get some free gear. Now they're having a discussion now, I believe, about where the ball crossed. Jordan's getting into it with uh, with John Rahm's caddy a little bit. Ooh. A little confrontation here. Let's get a rules official, huh? Yeah, you just need a rules official to take care of that. Looks like he's looking for someone. Yeah, they're just trying to, you know, um, sometimes there's a doubt as to procedure and, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, for circumstances like this in the Ryder Cup, you give it to the, to the official. 
But it's also, you know, what the player saw. It is between what both players saw. Yeah, I don't know about the hoodies when it gets really windy. Right. Because now it's getting in his face, in his peripheral. peripheral. What a great shot, though. Oh, spun it back a little bit. Too much Yeah, sauce a lot of there. wind. A lot of wind. He's got 18, 20 feet or so for his birdie. We shall see. Now we got Harris English with his eagle putt. For eagle to win the hole. Oh, he pushed it just a little mm. bit. Mm -mm. Oh, and that snuck by. That snuck by a little bit. I'm surprised he didn't let Tony go. I don't know if Tony did go, but now they've got uh, two putts at birdie here. <laughs> he just looks so funny on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> just your your microphone. <laughs> yeah, I'm fo uh, focused on the game here. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, how are you, Jen? Here we got uh, Bryson. They were talking about yesterday's 417-yard uh, drive. I think he's stepping up to the tee on five, so I'll keep you posted on what he elects to do off the tee. I don't know unless it's uh, purely downwind if he'll go and do something like that again. I mean, it's got to be all help. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's looking out to the left today. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Oh, Brian. What's Welcome. Up? Welcome. New stream boss is Brian Salmon. Thank you for the stream. Thank you. Brian. I love the animation. I'm just, I'm so, uh, yeah, it's a lot of hurting wind today. He's going out to the left. Derek, the cats are great. By the way, thank you for asking. Mr. Tiger is doing well, and Miss Amelia is also doing well. Kitty. Ooh, there's Bryson off the tee. Just pulled it a little bit. He's in the fairway, though. This is a three, this is a three shot hole today with the wind. Definitely a three shot hole. Yeah, Derek, you certainly get brownie points with CJ asking how the cats are. I'll tell you guys right now. Sergio over the water for his third shot. Man, this wind is howling today, guys. Not going to be a ton of birdies out there. You can see how much that, that wedge shot gets away. Shane Lowry for birdie on the sixth hole against their match with Harris English and Tony Finau. <laughs> Pours it in. Happy about that one. Yeah, for sure, especially with Har where Harris hit his drive. You know, it's a big birdie to, to get in. And here's Tony Fee now for his birdie look. His legs look a little funky, don't they? They look like they're like leaned in, like his knees are pushed And Tony in. puts in the putt. Inverted knees and all. Yeah, so that'll be a, a push. With a have there. Oh. oh. Did I just get a birdie? Oh, I got a birdie. Nice. There you go. That was a long putt, too. There you go. Over a 10-yard putt I just hit. Oh, 30-some feet. There you go. Mm-hmm. Can't beat that. Let's see. All right. Let's get some wind in the dementia probably Derek don't be so hard on yourself I know you have a high standard of living but yeah, yeah maybe there'll be some golf holes on the back where the wind is really downwind you know Bryson might be able to drive the 18th hole with a you know 500 yard drive that would be something 
I like those whoop bracelets. They'd be interesting to take uh, out on the golf course and see what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Can we close that for a second? My dog is going nuts in the background. She loves, she loves her dad. We got a little Pomeranian dog. That's it. You just got to keep it in the fairway. Yeah, 400 yard drive is no good if it's in the water. I mean, it's still pretty good. <laughs> I would love to experience once hitting a 400 <laughs> yard drive. Yeah, you hit your three wood the other day. How far? Over 180. Yeah, that was a bomb. Easy, because we were reading it, and I don't know how much it was to the green, but we thought I hit it in front of the bunker, and it actually flew the green to the back. Mm-hmm. So that was like 180-ish. Yeah, it was give impressive. Or take. It was impressive. Yeah, I gotta gotta play again. It's been a little bit. Actually, what are we doing next week? Then I forget. We got stuff going on, but I'm definitely gonna play this week for sure. Get a I, couple videos in. I need to play. It's been a while. And you have your um, your tournament coming up at Centennial. I CJ's do. CJ's got an uh, LPGA Pre Amateurs League tournament coming up. I got a Presidents Cup. They do their own version of the Presidents Cup. So that'll be fun to play in. <laughs> Derek. What? Can't remember. He's like, I hit a bad hook and can't remember the number to shout. So watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, that'll work, though. You know, as long as you give a little, a little warning out there. Yeah, Jordan putting into the wind. Just ball stops immediately. It's amazing how much on these fasted greens how much the uh, the wind is, is playing a factor. No, stay in the fairway. Oh. Rough. Ah, she hit it in the rough. And that's a par to tie the hole there. Two up for John Rahm and Sergio Garcia against Brooks and Jordan. Here you go, Brooks. Here we go. Yeah, here's Bryson for his second shot on the fifth hole of the par five. Wind's still hurting a little bit on this golf shot, kind of quartering into him. He's got a wood here, going to hit a fade. A little bit of a fade. Yeah, he muscled it down there. He'll be way down there, so. Ooh, a little too far. A little too far there, Bryson. We'll see. He might still have a look there. Everyone's just kind of fighting for, for par on these holes. Not many not many birdies out there. And now we go to the seventh hole. It's a 227-yard par three. Let's see what they can come up with. Looks like pretty downwind, to be honest. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit downwind, so that'll be playing a whole lot shorter. It's gonna be a long putt. I like it. Yeah, what a golf hole. Look at this. A big, mm -hmm. a big ass. And Bryson carried the whole thing yesterday. Yeah. I'm sure the designers of the golf course were like, yeah, nah, well, it's 400 yards. No one will ever get it that far. <laughs> I 
And Tommy Fleetwood's hitting his second shot. He's got 271 yards. It looks like he's talking about going, going at the flag. You know, and if he misses, where's the spot to miss it from? That is the question. Yeah, he's got the beanie on today. The beanie's working overtime, keeping that hat and that hair in check. A lot of work. Yep, and oh, he goes right into the crowd, but it banks off of somebody who's got yeah. a good lie. Right in some lady's purse. Can we approach the golf course greenskeeper to make a video on his course management? What do you mean? Like how they take care of the course? I'm actually real good friends with Chris, who is the superintendent at the Lynx course by us. He is really good at what he does. I've had a couple conversations about kind of how they see the course and, you know, because it is a business as well. And, you know, they work the best with the resources that they have. Right. And it's, it's pretty impressive, to be honest. That would be a cool video to do, like a behind the scenes on the... Yeah, how they get a golf course ready each day. Of course. Yeah, how they take care of it. I mean, it's impeccable. Yeah, because we, um, Derek, I actually had a conversation about how they keep the blades sharp. He's got like, it's like a, a $50,000 uh, mower blade sharpener that uh, they sharpen the blades every other week, I think it is. So when you're, look, when you're looking at precision, like mowing, um, you know, to an eighth of an inch or whatever it is, there's, you know, you got to make sure that they're sharp. Yeah, definitely got to make sure they're sharp. Yeah, how many mowers they have and, and whatnot. There's Kepka on the tee with his hood on. Yeah, he's giving it a go for sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, that's peeling back. Beautiful. Nice. He's right at the top of the hill. All right, he's greenside. He'll have a nice little chip. Yeah, they definitely, you know, and this is a nicer course, so people will probably pay, um, eighty dollars or so to go play this course. I mean, it's a nice course in the area, a local Lynx course. Definitely worth uh, playing. But yeah, they they take really good care of it. I love playing at the Lynx. It's always windy over there. No trees. And then Jordan hits his a little bit left. Oh, hits it in the crowd. Right. Oh, it hit me in the head. I know. There's probably four or five people like, oh, my back. I wonder if that lady who got hit in the shin got the ball from yeah. Bryson the other day. Bryson's like, I need to finish out the hole, but here is my warmest, you know, sincerest sock. love. Here's a sock. You can have one of my replacement socks. Okay. And this is Victor Hovland for his third shot over the water. That's a tough one. Oh, my. Brings it back, though. Not bad. Not bad. That's about where everybody's hitting it. 25, 30 feet or so, even for the third shots. Tommy Fleetwood's in an okay position. And then we got Bryson over here as well. He didn't go in. There's a big bush next to him. He ended up staying out of the bush, so he'll be all right there. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. The 43rd Ryder Cup here at Whistling Straits. Mm -hmm. Scotty Scheffler with his shot. And a little bit past the flag, it looks like.
Two in the bus is the same as one in the heart. A bird in the hand, my friend, a bird in the hand. Mm. I like that. Two in the bush is just the same as one. <laughs> Bring in the Scottish humor. <laughs> right, give me your best Scottish impression, Matt. No, oh, don't put me on the... I am William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Braveheart, anybody? Braveheart for sure. No, I am William Wallace. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to test it out. But when I do it, Derek, I'll run it by you. <laughs> I gotta make sure and make sure it's. <laughs> oh, Fergus, don't <laughs> play with your haggis. Yeah. Shout out to Brave if anybody knows that yeah, movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. Don't play with it. <laughs> it's just a wee bit of sheep stomach. How do you know if you like it if you didn't try it? Oh my gosh, I do love the accent though. <laughs> uh, it's a good movie. Yeah, it is. Tony Fina with a real nice pot on the par three. On the par three seventh. Five percent make this putt thirty six feet six inches. All right. Birdie to win. The hole. Oh, it's looking good too. It's got a curl. Oh come on, baby. Not quite. Not quite. It kind of straightened out there. Great putt. Yeah. So they are one up. Europe is one up in that match against Tony Finau and Harris English. Not bad, not bad. There it goes. I know, right? There'll be a day where we can, um, you guys can probably type in the chat and put it in a Scottish accent. <laughs> oh, Bryson kind of is in the bush. Scotty Scheffler was um, right next to it. But yeah, two in the bush here, Derek. It's just as good as one in the hole, yeah. Not a bad shot for Bryce. He's on the green, 25 feet. You can only imagine where the wind is just watching these players right now. Yeah. See how he keeps it open? He keeps the club face open so it doesn't close down. Yep. When you hit it through a lot of this thick rough, you got to either keep it open or close the face ahead of time and knife it through and just adjust your stance a little bit. A little trick to hitting out of the, the thick rough. Jordan hitting his shot here, his approach shot. A weird little trick there, but he got it. Very nice shot from where he was. My goodness. Very, very nice. You want to take over for a moment? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I got guess. you there. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, Fergus. <laughs> and these two are switched. My name and your name, just so you know. Oh, right. Can I switch to that? I'm taking over the stream. <laughs> stream boss is now me. All right, I got to put this game down because I keep playing it too much. It's addictive. But I'm just trying to get to level 20 right now. So that way we can make that clan and everybody, we can all play together. That would be a lot of fun. Not many people... uh hanging around today on a Saturday, but that's okay. We got all good company here, you guys. It's a lovely Saturday afternoon, watching some golf, can't complain. You lovely people, thank you for joining us.
Derek. Thank you for sticking tuned with us. We really appreciate you uh, sticking in on the stream with us. It's always it's always fun. Thank you very much. We hope you have a good night over there. What is it? Ten o'clock in Scotland? Something like that. Oh, <laughs> sent that message in error. It's all good. No worries, YJ. Thank you for sticking tune as well, though. Love that you came to hang out with us. I hope you enjoy your Saturday with your friends. A racing show to watch. Very cool. Oh, WhatsApp Messenger. That's funny. All good. But yeah. YJ, I feel like you're always working. Definitely enjoy some time for yourself. Well, we got Bryce in here reading his putt for birdie on the fifth hole here. Interesting how he uses his putter um, as like a tool to line up where his ball is to the hole. It's very cool. I like how he plays. It's very interesting. And he puts it. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. Bryson for birdie. What a putt. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir, Bob. Again, the two double thumbs up from his playing partner there, Scotty. Scotty Scheffler. Very good. Mm-hmm. That'll do. How does he do that? I I think about that all the time. They're pros for a reason, right? They get paid to play and we pay to play. Tommy Fleetwood missing another putt there. All right. Scheffler and DeChambeau are tied through five against Fleetwood and Hovlin right now. All right, that is a good one. I heard that from someone on the course once, and I'm like, that is so true. We got Kepka here on the sixth for Birdie. Oh, come on. That was so close. It just misses the right side of the cup there. And he's just going to tap that one in. Or actually just pick it up, actually. Oof. That hurts. But we got Rom here now for his putt. For Bird. It's only 8.39 p.m. Ah, gotcha. John Rahm just misses that putt as well. Left it, left it long on the left side of the cup over there. Ah, I got a friend in Kenya. That's cool. I love how global we can all be with uh, the internet nowadays. 
it's so cool how we can be friends from all across the world and it seems like they're right down the street from us with technology we got Speeth here I believe he's going putt for birdie right now Oh gosh, just missed that one right to about a footer. Oof, dang. Dang it, Jordy. Bam. Got Maddie back in the chatty. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Garcia for par to tie the hole. Yeah, for par for a tie. What do you guys think about spider putters? Like ham, what are they called? Like hammer or spider or mallet? Mallet uh, putters. No, like mallet is where the the shaft goes straight into the head. Mm. So it's usually a hosel, oh, and yeah. a mallet is without a hosel. It's like a, it's a new kind of putter, but yeah, you can call it a spider putter. It's basically like a square on the back. Mm. Yeah. I really, uh, I like my blade, my simple blade putters. We got two NASA astronauts for Team USA I know, they're here. literally dressed as astronauts. That's, that's pretty funny. That's awesome. USA pride. <laughs> Probably staying warm today. Right. Yeah, I was never a fan of the, um, I think the only time I had one was actually like a chest putter. It was a big, mm -hmm. it was an apparatus, <laughs> but I putted really well with it. And then I went through a streak where I just really struggled with it, so I ended up switching back. I actually had a Ping Redwood, which is basically uh, the answer, but like a weighted version of mm -hmm. it. My, um... I was doing an internship in Virginia, and my boss, um, who was a good player, let me borrow that because uh, I just wanted to try it out. You know, we were talking about putting, and sometimes a new putter equates to just a new swing thought around the uh, over the ball. So you get out of your pattern, whatever it was, and sometimes you associate that with the putter. It's kind of funny how that works, but. I think we as golfers kind of overlook the emotional side of it and kind of like how we associate our thoughts, the psychology part, I'll call it, and um, really how much that affects your, your game. For me, it was everything. Once I solved the, not solved, but improved the mm -hmm. psychology, um, yeah, I was off to the races. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was probably about a 10-shot difference for me when I got the psychology right. And I was, I mean, I was playing really well at the time. But I was, just could never finish. Golf has become a big thing in Asia. Oh, my gosh. Derek, that's funny. So you play, <laughs> so you didn't have a putter for the whole round? <laughs> that's so funny. I feel, uh, like, Joe. I feel like for for Asian countries, especially Japan, with uh, with Matsuyama's win at the Masters, that really, really helped kickstart so much golf for so many fans over there. Like, it was already big, but now it's, I feel like, a lot more prevalent. It only verifies. That's awesome in Korea that everyone's playing. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a global game. You know, I know it's been prominent. You look at the LPGA Tour. They, you look at the leaderboard, I think, three, four years ago. You know, it's just, it's all of Korea. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and now it's starting to get, you see more in South America, which I'm loving. I think that that's great. And, you know, I hope it spans to, to Africa. I know you brought that up earlier, Derek, where it's kind of for the rich, you know. I think it will get a little bit more accessible to others <clears throat> and commoditized too or just more access available mm -hmm. it's a, a it's an education you know if you look at your 
country's education, uh, you know, you could really incorporate that into it. You don't necessarily, I don't think education necessarily has to be grouped into a school um, setting as it's traditionally known. I know many people that uh, could grow into fully fun functioning adults via the game of golf. And um, I'm all for teaching all sorts of skills on, on the golf course. You know, your course management stuff, how you, uh, you know, really how, um, like money management, is, I think, is the same thing. You know, you're working with a, a finite amount of resources and how to allocate that. And just the thought process, the principle of that, I think, teaches. It's a wonderful teacher. You know, being able to show up to the course and work with what you got versus what you, versus what you wish you had. Some days you don't have your A game, but just to bring your A game for the day, I think, is, is huge. Mm -hmm. J. Rom, nail on the tee. Oh, I know. sticks it on the green. Banks it off the side, right? heading towards the hole. Very nice. Like that. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I started with the plastic clubs in preschool. Yeah, I even started in, um, I mean, I played as a kid, but I just, you know, I didn't think it was interesting. I wanted to play baseball. That's the thing. I feel like a lot of <clears throat> kids growing up, like especially for me too, it's more of the action, compact sports, like con contact sports, the ones that are exciting that, you know, you're going to a football game, a lacrosse game, a hockey game, a oh, soccer yeah. game. Yeah, at least like, here in the States for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. especially like in, in like high school, in middle school, um, you're, you're not going to golf tournaments. It's not that big yet. But I feel like when you get older, like in college and whatnot, then it can get a little bit more exciting, especially D1, D2. Sure. That's where it's at. But and anything I, I under think... that, I feel like it's just not exciting enough for people to follow. Sure. Unless you're really, really talented and you're like that exception. You're like, okay, I want to watch this kid play. And that's it, too. You can't really watch many people play golf you know it's not the same atmosphere as watching baseball right it's not going to be broadcasted on tv for your families to see the way i experienced it too was you know in i played baseball as a kid because all my friends did but i finally got to high school where i kind of made that decision for myself and wanted to play but it wasn't a uh like you know all the the kids in on the football team were uh like the popular kids in high school and I played golf and it, it just wasn't like that not that it was about being popular for me but just social circles you were rewarded for playing baseball you were rewarded for playing basketball and, and football I mean even though I dominated on the golf course it didn't matter on the social scene of high school which is where you get a lot of your value as as someone that age so uh, but then now, all of those kids that did play baseball and did play football and all of that, what happens? They, they wish that they took up golf. Right. And that's where we're at now. And they're like, you know, asking me for advice on how to get better and all that. Because that's what you think about, though, like the longevity of the sport. Are you really going to play professionally? Are you really going to take this to the next level where it can make you money? Probably not. And that's the thing. That's the, just that you don't see that in high school. And, you know, you, you were rewarded. Your reward system was all, if I play football, then I'll, um, you know, I'll fit in with everybody from school. And, uh, you know, once high school is over, you realize how much that just doesn't matter. You know, but I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that I picked it in, in high school. I was definitely on track to play baseball. I know, Derek, you told us that before. That's so funny. Oh, my God. I, I would love to see the expression, or the, you know, how your wife experienced that. You what? <laughs> yeah, it's too funny. Hey, we made it to level 20. Oh, you did? Nice. All right, invite me. I'm in. Let's cut the stream. Actually, it's probably a good opportunity to show you what the competition looks like and, and all of that stuff. 
you know, quick we, little clip. We'd love to do a, um, you know, a little uh, a clan together, and, and we'll get it together for Perfect Swing. All right, take it away, Perfect Swing. That'll be us in a little bit, guys. You know, we got the team together. CJ's level 20 right Thank now. Thank you, YJ. I yes. know, right? She grinded it out. You know how that is. She made it. Now yeah. I just got to figure out how to do this. How to do what? How to make a clan. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, a clan this. called the Wedgies. The Wedgies. I like that. That's yeah. good. I actually got invited to a few clans. Mm -hmm. um, but... I opted not to join them because I want to make my own clan for you guys. Which we're about to do right now because thank goodness I have monies. Clan name that golf couple. What else? Expect anything? different yeah that's um they're so they're going over clips of the Ryder cup at medina in 2012 when ian poulter was he was just on fire that day you know i think he himself shot like 62 or something like that it's a heck of a day to show up and with rory too and who he's playing with today you know you can't forget that stuff that's incredible incredible all right, we got to um, do a little work here with uh, Brooks and Jordan. They're two down. Take it over to Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa, who are one up in their match on the fifth hole, the par five. Got Dustin for birdie. Ooh, Dustin just misses it at mm. the end. Oh, what a great putt. So Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy win that hole, bring it back to even. Great effort by DJ. A great effort. Shane Lowry pouring in a putt here on the par three. Yeah, they're going against, uh, so it's Shane Lowry, Tyrrell Hatton against Tony Finau and Harris English. And they are on the eighth hole. The par four. And Harris has about a five footer or so for par to tie the hole. So he's going to go first. Oh, and that just dove. Missed that one. And Tony's got to look at it as well. I'm going to try and figure out how to add you to our clan there, Matt. How to do that. Ooh, someone just lipped it out from distance. That's Brooksy there on the par three. Just had a little too much speed coming down the hill. Hits it in the back of the cup and it bounces out. Yeah, there. Oh, he hit it right in the back of the cup, too. Yeah, Europe, Europe's, uh, they're doing okay here. You know, they're up in two matches. They just got momentum in the final match. Now you got Tony Finau going for his par to tie the hole. And he puts that in, so... One up still for Shane Lowry, Tyrrell Hatton, heading into the ninth hole. 
And these matches are just about to start making the turn here. Europe is up in two matches and tied in the other two. Go. John Rom oh, pouring wow. in another big putt. Nice job. Nice big birdie. That's for them to go. Let's see, three up. Three up in that match. Yeah, big putt for them. So they're three up on the front. Two holes left on the front. Very good. And Jordan Spieth, oh, just misses the putt. Yeah, so they're, they're three up now. Yeah, a lot of momentum swinging uh, Europe's way right now. Scotty Scheffler for birdie. Come on. Yeah, he makes yes. it. Nice big putt. There you go, Scotty. Nice job. Beautiful. Beautiful golf shot. All right, now we're going to take it over to CJ here. CJ, notice that you've made it to level 20 on the Perfect Swing Golf app. What do you attribute your success to? Consistency. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Inspiration for many. Consistency, inspiration of never giving up, pure enjoyment of the game, and my true competitive side. And for you guys, so you can join our clan right. and have some fun. Yep. That's why we do it. For the people. We do it for the city. We do it for the fans. I'm not going to sing that song. <laughs> Stick with your day job. This is my day job. Streaming. This is what they pay me the medium-sized dollars for. If we actually got paid, <laughs> yeah, no. we're just hey, doing we'll have this for a whole, fun. Uh, you know, this is this is great. This, this is, is for uh, fun. We get to wash the Ryder Cup. Exactly. Have a brewski. Have a snack. You know. Yeah. Life's good. Have fun with you guys. It's such a great and and you know we're so involved in how the Ryder Cup is transpiring. I know there were many times, even when I was playing professionally, that I wanted to watch that. You know, I just didn't have a place to watch it. And you're involved in the game, but I mean, I remember listening to the Super Bowl on FM radio. You know, I remember that. Gosh, I'll never forget that. I think I went to like, I wanted it to be a party, so I got like a picture of me in the RV. I had a, like a six pack of beer. I had um, Klondike double chocolate bars in, in the freezer, and I had. Um, from Domino's, I got a pizza. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I had a party. It doesn't sound like you anymore. It was just that you know that's that's all that's what I had. You know, I yeah. nobody at um, I didn't there was no TV or anything like that. Matt's now all about the green juices. He's all about the <laughs> the nutritional side. It's like he did like a three sixty. More like a one eighty, but yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I just wanted to make it like fun. <laughs> I just wanted to have fun. I just wanted to have fun. Let me have this. Yeah, one eighty to three sixty to seven twenty kick flip. Kick flip, Ollie. <laughs> Tony Hawk in the chat. Yes, <laughs> CJ is a big, big skater over here. Ryan Sheckler. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no. Gosh. I had a skateboard be more of a Bob once. Bob Burnquist kind of guy or Tony Hawk. I had a skateboard once. Did you? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the flies again. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 
We're on the farm We've now. We've reached that part of this, you know, this ambient music where the flies come out. Well, you can't getting, make it up, guys. No, no, they're getting really aggressive over there at Whistling Streets. I know. Yeah, those are this is literally live footage of the fly attack, the fly swarm. So now we're on the sixth hole, and Colin Morikawa and Dustin are going after this drivable par four. I enjoyed the X Games. You know, when the X Games were going on, that was definitely, uh, I watched those before the Olympics. That was fun back in the day. Oh, for sure. Here's Colin. Very nice swing. Hey, man, he hits it so accurate. A little too much tilt. No, just no. the perfect amount. Get on the green. Yes, Great sir. Great golf shot. My goodness. Come on. Sit, sit. Oh, gosh. Colin Morikawa has about... Oh, my God. 18, no, 15 feet or so down the hill. Wow. For his eagle. Takes Fan the pressure off DJ. DJ will get it down there, make a birdie. Fantastic Let's get a shot. get get one back. They just lost the last hole at the fifth. There was some fire in the chat for Colin Morikawa, you guys. Yeah, he was... He Incredible. just definitely had a beautiful golf shot. Incredible drive. Yeah, DJ piping it too. Beautiful golf shot. Little outside of that. Uh, get on. Coming down. Yeah, he's right on the front edge, front fringe. Great spot to play from. Yeah, USA is just really uh, doing a great job capitalizing on these drives right now. They're fighting back. <clears throat> a lot of the matches are swaying towards Europe right now. we got Scotty Scheffler and Bryson DeChambeau over here at the 7th, hitting their tee shots on the par 3. Gets it back there. Yeah, carries the corner. Nice, job, nice shot Scott. for Scotty. Very nice. A useful shot. And a seven iron for Bryson after Scotty hit it pretty pretty close there. Oh, it's that going looks, right. Uh, that looks a little long there. I'm oh, Ooh, off the rocks and in the yeah. water. All right, this one's all you there, Senor Scheffler. I was like that, that new. Now I've got Tommy Fleetwood. Tommy going with the iron here, staying safe. But it looks like he's going straight for the flag on that one, though. Oh, Ooh, he pushed oh, it sit, right, sit, and he's sit. in the hazard. But it looks like his ball is going to stay up. Yeah, right past those cords. Mm. Yeah, now we got Victor Hovland. Probably aiming for the fat part of the green now. Right, he's like, all right, guys, you're not giving me much here to work with. You got a pick. Yeah, he's, he's got a nice low ball flight. Should be able to. Yep. There he goes. Yep. Looking like a nice golf shot there. Straight for the flag there. Yeah. Nice job. Very close to where Scotty hit his. Yeah, they're going right, right next to each other, actually. Very nice. Literally right next to each other. Mm-hmm. Within, like, maybe a putter and a half distance between each other. Right. Not bad. You see the rules official going over to address Fleetwood's ball. See where ball. Tommy's ball is. Yeah. That's going to be a uh, tough it's rescue a to get out. Hill. So now, so you see he's past the red out-of-bounds line. So mm -hmm. what is the rule on that, Matt? So he is it. in the hazard, technically, so you cannot ground your club. You can't move loose impediments or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's as if you're in the bunker. You know you got to, like, hover your club in the bunker. Right. So it's exactly it's like that. Those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, you know, it's, so if your ball is in the woods and there's a pine cone next to it, you can move the pine cone so long as it doesn't move your ball. Mm -hmm. But in there, you're not able to touch anything. Gotcha. That is a, That would be a penalty. Gotcha. So, but it got caught up. It's better than where Bryson's ended up. You know, at least that maybe has an opportunity to see the ball. So, we'll see. I mean, but it's mm -hmm. thick, thick, thick grass in there. We'll yeah. see. We'll see what happens. Nice though. Like oh it. yeah. I'm gonna take it to you there. I like it. 
Beautiful. Here we are. And we are live. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, how about just a, a drink when you come up? That would be perfect. That would be perfect. Mm hmm. Yeah, just getting into like the, the back nine of these. Um, you can probably plug it directly into the. So over here. Yeah, just the one thing. You see how it's a USB plugged into a USB? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I'm going to do it into this one. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. I like it, team. I like it. Commandeering the whole stream. Commandeer. Mm-hmm. Void. Yeah, gosh, you're making a push. I mean, I'd honestly, personally, and I'll be totally honest here, USA fan, through and through, obviously want to see him win. I would not mind seeing Europe uh, really sweep it here. And, you know, I just love having people in the chat. I'd love to have people come, uh, you know, for tomorrow and, and uh, get into the action for the singles matches. The batting home run record, this, yeah, what was it? Mar was it Mark McGuire or Barry Bonds that set that 72? I've got, uh, you know, 762 overall by Barry Bonds and 73 by Barry Bonds. Second place would be Mark McGuire, who hit 70. And then you got... Um, you know, the same year Mark McGuire hit 70, Sammy Sosa hit 66. Yeah, that's a, that's a streak. Yeah, Barry. Yeah, what a golf course. I love putting my game up against the, the challenge of a, a whistling streets. So we take it over to Rory and Ian Poulter. We've got Rory hitting his approach shot here to the green on the 6th. Yes, on the 6th. We've got Colin Morikawa, who's pretty close. And then Dustin, who's just off the green. So they've got a good look here. Rory's going to have a putt at birdie, so is Ian. They're a little a little further away, so um, it looks like USA should secure a birdie there in that match. Uh, they're going to need to make birdie for Europe. And so we take it over to Brooks Kepka on the eighth hole, hitting a beautiful approach shot. Beautiful, beautiful approach shot. They need to start getting something going here. As John Rahm is hitting his approach shot, a 497 yard par four. And there's John Rahm on the front of the green. He's got a little bit of work to do. Brooks had a good, he will have a good look at his birdie. And now we take it over to Jordan. Geez, it looks like when you're looking at these flag sticks that the flag is just hanging off a cliff there. He's got 205 yards for the approach shot. Wind pushing it left to right towards the water. He plays it way out left, fades it, and it's just going to work it with the wind. There he goes. Beautiful golf shot. So Brooks and Jordan looking good here on the eighth hole. They've got two looks from about 18, 20 feet or so for the birdies. So I'll see if they can't start creeping back into it. As we head over to Tommy Fleetwood, who's in the hazard, but found his ball and is able to get it on the green. 25 feet or so past the flag stick coming back down the hill. And they've got Scotty Scheffler as well as Victor Hovland, both with putts for their birdies. Yeah, this, this grass that he just hit it out of was about knee high. And 
And so it will be Victor Hovland to go first. And this match is tied right now. A little bit of back and forth. Europe's won a hole. USA has won a hole as well. Let's see if Victor Hovland can't make the most out of his approach shot. I'd love to have a boat there in the back watching some golf. Makes me want a house overlooking a par three. I'd probably want to go way over the par three. Not left or right where you're, you know, if anything, I'll be left of the par three so the, the amateur slice won't get it in my window or my grill. And Victor Hovland's putt here on the way. And just misses it. Take it over to the six for Ian Poulter. Now Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy trying to get their birdie putts to fall. Here's Ian's attempt. Just a little bit outside of the hole. So Ian will have a putt for his par. Doesn't look like a par will be able to do it on this hole. So Bouncing back over to the par three with Scotty Scheffler. About to take his look. Bryson's giving him a hand too. Bryson's ball ended up in the water. So... Now it's Scotty's turn after he just watched Victor Hovland from a very similar line. See if he can't make it happen. As we have a picture in picture right now with a Rory McElroy from about 25 feet going after his birdie attempt. Like I said, Colin Morikawa is in there about half the distance for Eagle. So definitely looking to get this one in the bottom of the cup. Here's Rory's putt on the way. And no good there, about four or five feet by. Take it over to Scotty Scheffler, putting up the hill. No good from Scotty. That should be good for his three. They're going to make a market, and Victor's got a putt with Tommy. So Tommy and Victor both have putts for par. Tommy's got about 20 feet or so. And then Victor will go for his. A tight match there on the seventh hole. Where's everybody coming from today? Anybody new in the chat? Checking out some of the Ryder Cup action? Anything you guys want to see out of today? I know the USA is a little bit running away with it, 9-3 to three at the moment. But Europe is doing well right now. They've got a little bit of momentum. They've got a little bit of say. I'd love to see a tight match tomorrow. Tons of points up for grabs for the single session. Tons of points up for grabs. And now we got Victor Hovland, who probably hit it about seven, eight feet by. So he's got this putt to get his par. And then Scotty Scheffler's got about half the distance for his par as well. And here's Victor Hovland's putt on the way. No good. Took it dead left. So they are both in for bogey. And Scotty Scheffler has a putt for par. 
to win this hole and get Bryson and himself up by one for the United States. As we take it over to Brooks and Jordan, who both have birdie looks, they are three down against John Rahm and Sergio Garcia. Here's Brooks with the putt. And he makes it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that gets them to just two down now. A little bit more of a manageable situation. They got the ninth hole coming up. That was a big win for the U.S. They need a little bit of... They need to at least stop the momentum there. So here's Scotty Scheffler to win the hole here for himself and Bryson. And he does get the job done. So that will go to one up for him and Bryson against Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland. A tight match so far. And they'll be heading over to the eighth tee box. As we take it over to Shane Lowry, who has a par to tie the hole on the ninth from just about two and a half feet or so. I know he hasn't really liked not getting given those putts there. He makes a little joke about holding the putter out from the distance. So it's good to see him teasing and all in good spirits. So here we are, nine points for the United States, three points for Europe. A little momentum coming back in that John Rahm, Sergio Garcia versus Kepka and Spieth match. And there's also Tony Finau and Harris English who are down one to Shane Lowry and Terrell Hatton. Beautiful, beautiful. I like it. Have you guys been playing any recently? Anybody play any golf recently? Love to know what, um, you know, where you guys are playing. Where are you guys coming from? If I were to go visit, where would I go play? Yeah, YJ, they're, they're, they're doing their job for sure. For sure. Now it's U.S. up in two matches and Europe up in two matches, but they're they're playing well. You know, Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland just had a bad hole. And uh, Dustin and Colin just had a really good hole there at the sixth. Colin drove it uh, plenty close as they head over to the seventh hole now. 227-yard par 3, Colin Morikawa hitting his iron shot on the way. A beautiful golf shot to about 10 feet or so. Gosh, he is such an incredible ball striker. I have to say, he, he's doing his job in the ball striking department. Anybody who's looking to improve their ball striking can take a good look at Colin Morikawa's swing. Great control of the club face. You can watch his hands through impact, how stable they are. Yeah, he's, he's doing a great job. So now we've got Ian Poulter to answer. Riding the wind. Is it riding too much? And he will be down in the bunkers down there. Shy of the green. Tough little spot down there. Just a little bit too much of the fade there. Yeah, you think um, you think Tiger's son will be playing on tour? Charlie there? He's got some game for sure. I'd like to see... Um, John Daly's son just accepted a scholarship to the University of Arkansas to go play golf. If anybody has seen him play before, he is a spitting image of his dad. I think that's uh, just, 
you know, continuing the legacy there. That is, it is too funny to watch. But that, um, what was the father-son challenge with Tiger and his son? That was just, uh, you know, that was great to watch. Ever since Tiger won the Masters in 2019 and just that uh, moment he had with Charlie, his son, gosh, you'd love to see it. Just beautiful for the game of golf, you know, brings it to me into perspective, all of this. As we've got Tyrrell Hatton here on the 10th hole. Here they are making the turn. All of these matches hitting his drive. And he will be in the fairway. No problems there. Future is his. I'd love to see uh, John Daly's kid there on tour. You know, he's got the same swing as his dad. He's got the whole vibe to it. And uh, I know they're big in the Arkansas community. If I'm not mistaken, John Daly is from that area. And we got Shane Lowry hitting his drive just a little bit in the rough there. I'll tell you, it's tricky out of the rough when you got wind this hard. It is definitely tricky out of the rough. I know. They've done a couple father-son tournaments. I've seen VJ and his son Cass playing. Oak Creek Golf Course. There you go. I like it. So many nice courses out uh out by you there. I love the, um, in California, the La Jolla and um, Torrey Pines area. It's beautiful there. You know, some of the scenes, I love the, uh, the view of the ocean. I remember being out there and just seeing a, uh, uh, a sunset. Because over here on the East Coast, it's more sunrise atmosphere. I used to live in Miami. And I would go out for the sunrise. Oh, it's just beautiful. But the sunset out in, in, uh, on the coast of California, I mean, it is, uh, it is impressive. I remember there just being like a purple sky backdrop over the crashing waves. Oh, my goodness. Hard not to take it in. As we'll take it over to Harris English. I like this 10th hole. You know, short little par 4. Lots of hills, lots of mounds, and a lot of the players are getting it out there, getting it in the fairway, as Harris is kind of hanging on to this shot a little bit. And he gets it close to greenside. It's looking almost drivable today. Can't wait for Bryson to get there. And they got this little uphill approach, so it's playing a little downwind today. I think that's kind of getting them a little closer to the green now, so... Not as much of a challenge as it was before. As we take it over to Ian Poulter, who is down in the bunker on the 7th. They are one down to Colin and Dustin. So he'll be hitting his second shot here. Here's Ian out of the bunker with a big old thump. Very long bunker shot. Not a problem for him, though. 8, 10 feet for his par coming up. B-E-A beautiful. Heck of a golf shot. And here we are on the ninth. One of the tighter looking golf holes here. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful, beautiful area. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, merci. Look at that service, guys. A 30 mile an hour wind going on right now. Guys, it is windy out there. Even on these par fives where they're laying up and hitting wedges, you're still seeing 20 yards, I mean 20, uh, 30 feet proximity to the hole. It is just blustery out there today. Oh, A1. A1. As, yeah. Now Rory is getting a hand from Ian Poulter on the seventh hole on the par three. This is about where John Rahm made his putt from. A long, long putt there. Yeah, 25, 30. Yeah, he's got yeah, more than that. He's got a long way for birdie. Just gives testament to how good of John Rahm's putt was. Derek, I see you. An interest in the, the Orville Dam and all the fires? Yeah. Yeah, what'd you learn about when you were um, learning about it? It's incredible, all the, the fires that go through. You know, a lot of people talk about, oh, Florida's so nice. I can't wait to retire in Florida. You know, coming from a perspective of someone living up here in New York, you don't have to deal with the winters until a hurricane comes by. And then it's like, oh, that was scary. Forest fires, too, I couldn't imagine. Couldn't imagine dealing with that. Would Europe settle for two points? I mean, I think they need to start making progress. You know, they got to win three of these. I think they got to start really going for it. Yeah, I think Brooks hit a shot. He hit it right into the bush. He was waiting on the wind to grab it. Wind never took it. There's a 30 mile an hour wind. And if you hit your ball up into the wind and it stops, it'll make you look foolish. But you'll have to deal with it. Because we've got John Rahm hitting his approach shot now. John Rahm is a unit, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at that waistline. You know, you take the physique of, of Brooks over John Rahm, but John Rahm's still out driving him. Uh -oh. And I guess someone in the crowd is chirping a little bit. He's just going to let them settle down. Carson City and the likes. My dad would, uh, would chat with you on that one for sure. About the gold rush? Yeah, how cool. Yeah, I actually almost went to a uh, school out in, um, I think it was Irvine Community College, and there was also Ventura Community College, which is about northwest up the coast there, uh, just a little bit. There was a coach there that I wanted to work with. He used to play on the PGA Tour and um, thought it was a unique opportunity. Went out and checked it out. Never ended up going out there, but the terrain is beautiful. I will say this, the, the rolling hills that are in the California area. Um, it's its own beautiful, beautiful area. Heading over to the 10th hole with Tyrrell Hatton. Short little approach shot, heading up the hill. Beautiful golf shot, hopefully it doesn't spin too much. Great golf shot, he'll have about six, seven feet for his birdie. Great golf shot with the wedge. As Rory's got quite a bit of work for his par. Ian Poulter's also got a look too. So they've got two looks at par here. Colin is, it looks like about an inch inside of Rory and will have an opportunity for his birdie. So this is a must make for one of these Team Europe members. Brought to you by Matt's Drink of the Stream. The Vanilla Stout by Omagong, a brewery here in New York. Oh. A rye barrel vanilla stout. Juju's still here. She's just eating. And she's got the Arnold Palmer Spikes. Cheers, everybody. What are you guys drinking over there? Any any drinks? 
as Rory pours in his putt. He's thinking about drinking champagne after winning this Ryder Cup, but they got a little bit of work to do. Yeah, Derek, I'm thinking if they win three matches, they're still, I mean, I just, I mean, you'd love to see them uh, make progress, as Bryson seems pretty stuck here on the, uh, oh, no. yeah, he just had nothing there. He was up against the lip. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what do you do there? Right. That's like, goodness. It almost got out, too. Almost Super did. close. Maybe just try and hit it as high as you can to bounce right off the lip. See how unkempt it is, but that's part of the golf course. It's beautiful. Take it over to Colin, who's got his birdie putt. And he pours it in. Beautiful birdie on a long par three. Great golf shot. Brings them to two up in their match against Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy. And here we got Bryson hitting his next shot here. Looks like he's going to land it in the fringe. Incredible how far these shots roll out when you're hitting downhill. Beautiful golf short shot out of Bryson here. Four or five feet or so left for his five. Yeah, you want to close the door in anticipation of that. My, uh, I see my mom rolling in the uh, driveway, and my dog goes, she gets super happy. We'll call it that when she when she comes in the door. We'll bring we'll bring the dog on the stream one of these days. I gave her a beer. And yeah, she she's she's a good out. dog. She's she's very uh, loving. She just needs a ton of attention. And my attention is on the chat and it is on the stream. I love you, Mochi, but it is not your day. John Rahm out of the bunker. 10, 12 feet by. He'll have a putt for par. I know Brooks is in trouble on that hole. As we take it over to Shane Lowry, who's putting for birdie. They are one up in this match. This is a match I predicted Tony Finau and Harris English to win. Mm. But it's not going to happen if he keeps pouring in putts like that. Shane Lowry likes it. He's a, he's a fiery character. You can tell it in his beard. Long putt that he makes. Yeah, it was a gray beard, but all the competitive fieriness has turned to red. Yeah, he's a passionate character. God loves to see it. As Harris English will have a putt for birdie to tie the hole. About 8, 10 feet or so. Harris English, cool, calm, and collected. Derek, when you say camera facilities, are they like live cameras around Lake Tahoe and Shasta County? I find that very cool that you can go to live feeds of you know, maybe a, a particular like Yellowstone, I'm sure probably has a bunch of them here in the States and a number of places like that. That's fascinating, I like that. So Harris English has his putt to tie after Shane Lowry put his putt in. And here he goes, he sure makes it. Beautiful putt, very nice putt to tie. Takes a little steam out of the uh, Team Europe there. Although Harris and English and Tony Finau don't really stick it back in anyone's face. They just kind of go about their business. I see you, Derek. That's interesting. Lake Tahoe and Shasta County. So 
John Rahm and Sergio Garcia heading to the back nine now. They remain two up on Brooks and Jordan. Scotty Scheffler hitting his oh. bunker shot approach here. They're one up on the eighth hole. Very nice shot out of the bunker. Helping Bryson out a little bit. And now he's got his look for par. See if he can't make something happen. He's got to make this to tie the hole. Victor Hovland and Tommy Fleetwood in for par already. And just waiting because the wind, the wind is wild out here. And when you have really fast greens, especially those exposed to Lake Michigan, your ball can be in, in uh, danger of moving a little bit. So you see players just make sure and take their time. And that used to be a rule that if you address it and then the ball moves, you were have deemed to have it move. But in the past years, they understood that on these fast greens that not every time is it the player that's making it move. So Scotty actually misses that putt and squares up the match. So they are tied through eight holes heading to the ninth. Not going to be very happy with that. I know Bryson got stuck in that bunker. There's a lot of break around that hole because Victor Hovland missed his putt as well. Just in the group before that, a lot, a lot of break by that hole. As we take it over to Shane Lowry on the 11th, 460-yard par 4. And he, whoa, what a shot right down the center of the fairway. Beautiful golf swing. CJ is very entertained by my antics. I just see him reaching for the stream deck. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Get your hand out of there. You're out of commission right now. CJ's on break. She gets her 15. She's turning it into a 30, though. Now nah, you get 30. You get 30. You're good. I know, <laughs> right? And Tony Finau's drive finds the bunker. 460-yard par four. I bet you Salt Lake uh, City and Lake Tahoe have uh, some beautiful courses out there. You know what? I, I call it big sky country with the, the backgrounds. I'd love to play a little golf out there. I've, I've never played anything that comes to mind in that uh, in that space. I've played desert golf. I've played in Florida, played quite a bit. Obviously up here in the Northeast, plenty of golf courses. Carolinas I've played. Played in Texas. Definitely a lot of... Uh, a lot of golf opportunities out there. And Harris English in the bunker as well. All right, so they, they, they got a little wind out of their sails right now, even though they just made that birdie. They're just not walking like they're, they won't, they, you know, they, they've got the momentum. What a beautiful, yeah, this is a lake. You can just see water. There's no end in sight. The curvature of the earth or something. Nah, I mean. Probably the earthbound. Yeah, right. <laughs> flat earth syndrome. Any flat earthers in the chat? <laughs> Any, you know? Yeah, I love it. Speaking of flat earth, there was a um, an astronaut who took a picture of Whistling Straits as they were flying over it. And it, they, it was like a tweet or on Instagram, and they were saying, hey, took this picture while traveling five miles a second over you guys and thought I'd share it with you. That's pretty fast. I've... Uh, you know, I hit the golf ball pretty fast, but not that fast. Probably vaporize the ball. Have to get a, you have to change the rules, get a whole different cover to it. 
five miles a second. Gosh, if I was a delivery driver, I could make tons of money. Golfing, there'd be some golfing facilities on the flatter areas. Mountain golfing doesn't appeal. What if you had a supercharged golf cart, though, Derek? Any interest there? Like an ATV? What about golfing on an ATV? You know, you probably have to go cart path only so you don't tear everything up. That takes the point away from it, though. Golf course is too nice to drive an ATV. Here's Bryson. Pulled his drive left here on the ninth hole. Oh, up in the gallery. Everybody swarming it like it's the last fish among seagulls. Mine, 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 mine. Yeah, what a golf facility. Looks like they've got like another little course over there or like a little practice facility. It's a heck of a golf complex. They're showing a little flyover sort of thing. So we go over to Ian Poulter, who's got 217 yards left. And we got some flies. Oh, all right, I'm good now. Get those flies out of here. It's so funny that in the ambient noise, I found the one that got a couple of flies in it. Dustin Johnson hitting his approach shot here. Doing pretty well. And Dustin almost holds it, but it's going over the green. Just stays up top. So he'll have a somewhat of a look. They're two up in that match against Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy. One bounce, two bounces, three, and almost in. Close, but no cigar, as they say. And Jordan, actually Colin Morikawa, look at this. So Colin Morikawa hit his drive way right, and oh boy, he's got some. Uh, he's got 200 yards to the hole. It looks like 260, but he's just getting it back in play. Looking at the front of the green, yeah. It's the front of the green. That's all he really had down there. You can't really go for the flag stick tuck all the way to the right. Got to make your bread two putt in here. And Rory's got a severe downhill lie. Ball below his feet. On the eighth hole. Yeah, same hole. 200 yards still left. Let's see if he can't make something happen here. He's got a heck of a stance here. It is leg day, after all. Look at those quads. I wish both of my quads like added up to one of his quads. That's more than a quad. That'd be like an octuplet sort of thing. Get what I mean? You guys get what I'm saying? Back. Oh, oh, forgive me. Guess who's back? I'm back. Back again. Welcome. CJ's back. Tell a friend. Right? Beautiful. You guys didn't want to have to hang out with me the whole day, would you? No. But we're going to do Come another. On, show a little love. Show a little love, chat. We had a good time. Oh, God. What do you mean? You, you're too funny. I'm, I'm just being me out here. I know. I like it. We're going to do another a little ASMR already. <laughs> that, you remember those commercials for those? It's a crispy crack. They used to have those little, um, they came in little packets. They were those little things where you brush your teeth, where they go, rip, slip, brush. Ah. They I do were like remember a, that, yeah. However they did it. I do remember that commercial. They were like a little thing to brush your teeth, like a little as if. You know, now they're telling me I got to brush for two minutes. Who's got two minutes to brush their teeth? I do. I certainly do. <laughs> got to take care of them. Yes. That, the floss, the mouthwash. Got a good routine. If you guys want, um, you know, an oral hygienics routine, just send me a DM. That golf couple. Mm. That dental couple. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're getting outside of that sport couple to, to hygiene and 
and all that jazz. Fun fact though, when I did a little bit of modeling when I was younger, I did a Crest White Strips commercial. Like Weird, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> no, go, go ahead. I'm just saying, I, I rehearsed like a Crest White Strips commercial for like oh, yeah? an audition or something like huh. that. Yeah, what do you remember about it? That I was terrible at acting. Really? You think so? I feel like my memory is just not that good at remembering lines. Even just things in general. I'm, I'm better at just acting natural. That's why I think golf is good for me because it's nothing I have to pretend uh, Pretend like I know what I'm doing. Because like, I'm not going to pretend I know everything, but I know how to play. And I enjoy golf enough to know what I'm talking about. But versus acting, it's kind of like you got to get all your emotions involved and just really, you know, get people to, to follow behind whatever emotion you're trying to convey. Thank you, Derek. If you told us we were a normal couple, I might be insulted. I know. I like, I like being that weird couple. Yeah, it's not, you know, like weird, right? I think anyone who, who is their own self will have a little bit of individuality. Mm -hmm. Not that cookie cutter type. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me with, uh, we are who know, we are, that's it. More so be myself doing stuff like this, you know, hanging out, just a brewski. Scotty Scheffler with a sore lower back at this point because he's carrying Bryson. Bryson hit it left in the thicket. Is it really buffering? All right, let's see what we got. Huh. All right, we'll keep an eye on it there. Got good good internet speeds at the moment. Oh, those flies, they're back. <laughs> I love that noise. It's one of those, uh, you know, imagine sounds to fall asleep to. Flies hissing in your... <laughs> right, that's... That's a big N-O. I was going to say, I hear real birds outside, no? Or is that like yeah. the YouTube? Yeah. No, that's the real outside. Those are the real birds. Yeah, we have an ecosystem outside. As we take it over to Victor Hovland on the ninth hole, hitting his approach shot. Bryson in trouble, and Scotty Scheffler has a little... Just over the green. Big opportunity for them to hit something. Wow, look at that ball fly. That wind is taking it. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful golf shot by Victor. This match is tied going into this hole. Oh, and he's frowning out there. Just kidding, guys. Victor Hovland doesn't know how to frown. No, you, you know every single emotion on that kid's face. Yeah, he's, he, lets you, he lets you feel it. What I miss while I was gone, everybody? Oh, uh, Bryson got a hole in one. Um, Brooks hold out from, from the bunker. John Rahm was in the water and actually uh, got it up and down. Wait, did um, he really get a hole in one or are you just joking? Of, with none me? of that happened. I was like, come yeah. on now. None of that happened. <sighs> just wanted to make you feel like you miss, yeah. missed out. We missed you. We, we were all basically like, yeah, when is CJ going to come back? We had a poll and everything, over unders, that sort of stuff. We cried together. Yeah. Yeah, Derek, keep me posted. The, the um, we, we did something here um, to make sure we had um, sincerely good <laughs> internet speed. You have to see the setup, I swear to you. We are literally a hundred and some feet away from our router hardwired to it, uh, getting better internet than we paid for. And... Um, it's been it's been looking good, but keep me posted because sometimes it fluctuates. Nothing's perfect, but progress, my friend, is the key. But thank you. Always a pleasure having you here, my friend. I just want you to know, always, always a pleasure having you. I love your input. Your um, how much you add to the stream. So thank you. Oh yeah, we played one out of a tree. 
Yeah. Nice. Tommy Fleetwood had a ball in a tree that he had to hit out of the tree. That didn't happen. I just lied. I lied again. <laughs> <laughs> but that has happened with Sergio in a tournament. Yeah, I saw he climbed in a, into a tree and had to hit it like backwards or something like that. Yeah, so sometimes, um, you know, because if it is in a tree, you do have to play it as it lies. There's no uh, relief when it comes to that. Um, so sometimes you take the toe of the club and you just try and hit it like a cue ball. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's always an, an option. Are there rules against using the back end of your putter like a, like a pool cue? Yes, I think so. Oh. I don't think you can hit the ball from the grip end of the club. That would have been funny. Yeah, you use the head of the club to hit it, but you can use the back end. The um, yeah, Inside. for sure. Yeah, you've seen it like a cue ball like that before. Or you like I've seen the um, when the ball's up against, you know, when there's like. Uh, green fringe and then rough mm -hmm. so maybe the greens here the fringe is like up here and then there's like a thick wall of rough and the ball is resting against the rough i've seen people take their blade putters like you have yep and take the toe end of it and just hit the back of the ball yep. and just the rough is not a factor at that point mm -hmm. it's just being able to hit it perfectly um just like a cue ball mm -hmm. you know so if you kind of get that visual involved um you can make it happen yeah. Why, Jay? I'm happy you're still here. I thought you had uh, I thought you had leave earlier for, for a friend's outing or something. Oh, no. She's she's pot committed. Oh, yeah, she is. Well, Big it was time. a friend's get-together. They were going to go to, like, a racing course or something like that. You mean they weren't going to come and watch the stream all together? <laughs> no. Right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we're just doing our thing over here, regardless if anyone would watch or not, and we're happy that you guys do like it, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just getting to watch the Ryder Cup and, and uh, you know, Shave bring on. it in any way we can. Sinks Pours it. in the butt. Oh, Tyrrell no, Hatton. that's Tyrrell Hatton. I thought that was John Rahm for a second. Excuse me. Yeah, John Rahm's... Uh... A little bit thicker. Yeah, I was like, how do I put this in a way that frames them... Um, both as elite athletes, <laughs> you know. Thicker. Thickness. Cake, right? <laughs> yeah, beautiful putt. And here we go over to Tyrrell Hatton. Oh, no, wait, that's John Ross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. And if here he is on the 10th hole for his birdie. Who is that? Is that Brooks right there on the ground? Yes. Yeah. He's got that knee issue. I know that. He like leans a little bit like that over putts. Uses his hand. Yeah. Oh, lips oh. it out for John Rahm. A beautiful Yikes. putt. Just misses. Golf's a game of inches, folks. Yes, sir. And that is an inch in the, in the wrong direction for John. Good attempt, though, brother. Man, I like these hoodies. We oh, win. we are winning. We London. are winning. USA's. Yeah, up. they're up. They're up uh, in one match and then tied in another, um, and then down in two matches. So the 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 morning session was three one again. Um, so Europe has three points and USA has nine. So overall on the day we're up. We've won three matches and lost one, and then we're on the afternoon session up in one match and down in two and the other one is tied this match against brooks and jordan versus john rom and sergio just got to one down right uh brooks just made a putt for birdie and so john rom and sergio garcia are just one up through ten definitely shifted here in the past couple holes they won two holes Definitely a big momentum shift. Hatton, nine iron. 
150 with the wind blowing a blustery day here in Cola, Wisconsin. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what a golf shot. Look at where this flag is today on the 12th hole. Oh my goodness, it's like a little peninsula. Wow. All right, all right. Look at this green. Oh my goodness. So much going on it's here. It's like a whole green and then someone's like, you know what? What are we going to do with this land back here? Eh, let's make another little miniature green. It narrows, it bottlenecks to about six yards wide and then goes into a little section in the back. It's almost like a two greens here. Incredible. Shane Lowry with his shot in the bottleneck there. Not bad, not bad at all. He'll have about a 35 footer or so. Great shots there. Look at that perception. My goodness, you gotta go for it or you gotta go for it. Nothing in between. Tony Finau on the tee. <laughs> oh, well struck, Tony. Oh. Right on the edge. And it's going to get held up. Exactly what I was talking about. On the fringe, but right mm -hmm. against the back collar of the thick rough. Coming up with a, uh, a shot for that is definitely something that... <laughs> Thank you, YJ, for the support. We appreciate it, as Very always. Nice. Look at that. She's grinded it out, even using her phone to watch right now, the stream. On your way. Thank you, thank you. Drive safely, my friend. Yes, thank you drive for all of your support. It means a lot. We'll catch you later, YJ. Mm hmm. Tomorrow, Sunday, be there or be square, everybody. It's going to be quite the event. Or live your life. You know, I understand things come up. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can be yeah. square. <laughs> no, nah, you're square. <laughs> I will always refer to you as a square. <laughs> right? Where's Diane today? Mom. Square. <laughs> right? Everyone in the chat's calling you a square. Of course. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're always working hard. Please do enjoy yourself. Paris. Not that you're having, you're not having the utmost enjoyment being here, but you know. Harris English with the nine. Yep. Oh, and the bug on oh. the screen interfering in a little miniature bunker down there. Goodness. That's what I love about this course. That's going to be a hard little shot there. You just got to get it on the green and try and get it trickling down to the hole. Mm-hmm. Who's that calling? Looks like Colin. Yeah, someone under 6'2". Looks like Colin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice job. Right? I love Austin. His brother's got the puffy jacket on today. <laughs> Austin and Dustin. You think their parents had a thing that they wanted to name them very similar names? Rhyming yes. names? Yeah, I was trying to think of a third name. Austin, Dustin, Johnson. <laughs> Catherine. You think that's their sister's name? Mm. Or Justin. Justina. Brother. Just. <laughs> Paulina Justina. Paulina Justina. Dina. Oh gosh, you can stop us now anytime. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. There's other channels that are probably. <laughs> right, we just lost viewership. I know, we're at negative three viewers right now. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> right. YouTube is actually taking viewers away from us. You have been revoked from this stream. Their, their humor is in the negative direction. Yeah, but good for us, you know? Thank you, guys. We hit 550 subscribers. Right now, that's huge. We started this stream, or before we started the stream. The Ryder Cup. Before the Ryder Cup, we were at 490. Yeah. And even once we put out that, um, you know, the perfect swing video, we were at 470 or something. 
So thank you for all the contribution from everybody. Yes. Much many, love. Many gratefuls. All of the gratefuls. Oh. Oh, just missed. That was a nice shot. And it's a lot of perception. I know we're looking at it from a little elevated, but from the tee box, I'm sure it looks like it drops off a cliff. So when you're, you see 152 on the, you know, you really got to trust your number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's 118, but it looks like it just, you get this, I don't want to go long feeling. I know. Like, isn't it insane? They, they tuck that cup all the way in the back. You see all the green in the front there. Oh gosh, what a whole location. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah, that's a they heck look of a like they're location. off the cliffs of like Moor in like England or something, mm -hmm. and wherever the cliffs of Moor. But anyone in the chat now? <laughs> the cliffs of Moor. I've never even heard of that it's, before. No, it's a thing. I feel like it's like a Game of Thrones. Like, oh, is it? Know. Oh, he has a little clover on his um, golf ball. That's nice. Yeah. A little ode to home. Yeah, Cliffs of Moher is from Ireland, and M O H E R. -H -E -R. I know what I'm talking about. I got this. I just had to Google it real quick. Typical millennial. <laughs> right. That's what I go to my mom. Typical Diane. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and she's like, "Shut up." So you'll see how Tony is playing this. He's rehearsing it in a very similar lie as well. So he's going along that. And he's just looking to just chop down on it. It's a very interesting golf shot because it always varies. There's about, you know, six or eight ways to play this shot.
don't you love it? A little troubleshooting on the go. Back to it. And the new stream boss. Yeah, that's no good. Testing. Oh yeah, we're back, we're back. Technology, gotta love it, you know. Cool. Yeah, Medina, Hazeltine, Whistling Straits. Oh, they're all within a few hundred miles of each other. The last three Ryder Cups in the U.S. 2012, 2016, 2020, and then uh, the next one will be in New York. In New York. About 100 miles away from us. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Yeah, they came for the singing. Is that, is that what y'all is here for? Maybe your Cesar Gonzalez new stream boss. Nice. Yeah, Julio's been it for a little bit. I love it. Julio, good stretch. What happened to you for a second? Passing it on down. Welcome, welcome. Rule number one of streaming, always have a backup plan. We have a backup plan. In this case, a backup mic. And MJ here, rocking the shades, my guy. He's looking like a superstar over there. Love to see it. Yeah, you can't see anything through those shades. <laughs> Alright, we got Team USA here reading their... Reading what the putt's going to be doing here. See if we can come up with the with the putt. Kepka approaching his birdie putt to win the hole. Oh. Misses it left. Like a four footer left. That's gotta hurt. All right, now taking it on to Scheffler here on the 10th. Second shot. Up the hill, lands it nice and softly. That'll be a nice putt for three. Look who's back. Back again. I am back. With a mic. Paris English from 107 yards on the 13th hole. I'm a 
way downhill. Not bad. Oh, it hits the front and just spins. I'll have a little chip uphill. It's makeable. It's doable. It could be done. noise the birds there we go what do you say here kid a little chirping in the background so this is a position where he is right next to the drainage ditch but I mean maybe he likes what he's got I'm sure you could argue getting a um relief but it's really not in his swing mm. Ooh, spun it off the front as well tough one for Shane And heading to Tyrrell Hatton, who's going to play it off the slope here. Going to get to spin. Ooh, just rolled out. Didn't get it to get that little bite that he was looking for. And that's going to go to the back of the green. Tried it. I'll give it to him. Just not the shot he was looking for. All right. All right. Here we are with Brooksy here on the 12th hole with this tucked little flag stick here. And they put the tees way up. Like the green is probably only 60 yards in front of them. But then you got another 60 yards or so all the way to this flag stick. Interesting. We got with Bryson for birdie on the tenth. Long look at birdie. Let's see if Bryson can get something. Come on, come on. Let's go, Bryson. Oh, Beautiful yes. putt. Yes, baby. Big Daddy B coming in clutch. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. Alrighty. Sarah, your signal died. You're still alive. Derek, are you there? <laughs> he said his signal died. Yeah. Speeds nine iron on the twelfth. Hopefully we get you back there, uh, Derek. Very high, high shot there. Ooh, even closer than Brooks. Nice approach. We'll have a good look at Birdie there. Now we have Team Europe going to be teeing it up. Sergio to go first. But before that, we'll send it over to Victor Hovland. Europe needs a Birdie to tie the hole here on the 10th. Victor's going to leave it just about six inches short. Uh, that's a tough one. This match is tied to after 10 holes. Big win there for Scotty Scheffler and Bryson DeChambeau. Big putt out of Bryson. Here we are with Sergio over on the 12th hole. The lead match out there today. Actually, good second match. And 
and Sergio steps off in just a little bit. Almost looks like John Travolta back there on the right. <laughs> Derek, welcome back. All right, Sergio here, 152 yard par three, hitting his iron shot. Ooh, hits it on the green and then bounces right down into the bunker. Very steep slope. Not much forgiveness there. Close. See anything worth getting there on the Ryder Cup store? No, I was just, I was just curious what those uh, quarter zips were going for. Mm hmm Price range? Two, two, 230-ish. But they're also made by Ralph Lauren, so. You know, How about for the um, sweatshirts? Uh, I didn't take a look at that. We're gonna see what those go for. I'm curious. Those quarter zips are nice. I'm with you. They are. Really yeah, for a Ryder Cup I one. Like the best. Ooh, the best. Yeah. Uh, output volume, of course you got it, Derek. Of course we can. That's a little bit, a little bit turned up. I see you. I'll hold the microphone a little closer too. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I'd spend two hundred dollars for a uh, a golf hoodie. <laughs> and that's the thing too. You probably got people that are calling themselves a golf hoodie and just tacking fifty bucks on the price. Whereas if you just found a hoodie that you just like, you could be, yeah, foot joy, here you go, lightweight hoodie, $110, of course, no way, there you go, here's 50 bucks with Adidas, men's novelty golf hoodie, not bad, not bad, what do you guys think of the hoodies? You can hear me? Yeah. Nice. T bone fee now. T T T Tony. Going for his putt for Birdie to win the hole on the thirteenth. Nice. Beautiful putt. Sinks it. Let's go. Alrighty. Harris there is pumped up now. against the Pumped up for that one right there. One up, five to play. For Europe. For Europe. The EU. EU. Harris likes it. <laughs> now we've got Sergio and John Rahm both in the bunker. Let's see if someone can't hold it. That'd be amazing, right? You know, it's that kind of event where if you put your mind to it, you know, you could, I mean, that could turn a match around. I do recall playing in what we called the Walker Cup uh, against Coastal and Clemson, um, where I went to school. I went to Coastal and we did this, the PGM programs, the golf program that I was in. We played a little Ryder Cup-ish thing against them. And I remember someone hitting it on the... Um, on the green and they had a putt for birdie and I hit it long of the green in the bunker. I ended up holding the bunker shot and then they missed their their birdie putt that they knocked to like six feet. So it's a, just a big momentum uh, shift. You know, stuff like that goes a long way mm -hmm. in, uh, in match play.
and yes, there is the Walker Cup um, that is for amateurs, for sure. This was a Walker Cup that we created between the two colleges there, um, Derek. But yes, I do know the Walker Cup, um, the, the one that is um, nationally renowned, for sure. And more globally renowned, if you're, if you're familiar with it. Yeah, it's a big team. But yeah, just momentum in, a, in match play, it's huge. Kepka for his birdie to win the hole. Let's go. Come on, get there, get there, Ooh. get there. Oh, that was a great, great attempt. Good speed. All right, now Jordan's got to look. And this would be a big opportunity to capitalize because John Rahm put his bunker shot and he made the par. So Jordan's got a big putt here after they have all this momentum here. This would be a huge putt to get the match back to square and keep him moving in the right direction. I think you'll see a big reaction out of Jordan if he is able to convert this putt. Yeah, what'd you what'd you find out? I just hear it hissing. Mm -hmm. I think it may just be from the computer in general. But I'm not sure, maybe it's the Oh Jordan had a three sixty wow. whip out. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow. That was incredible. He hit that with a lot of pace and it took the entire hole, went around the three sixty. Right. Watch it go in. <laughs> Yeah, watch it just bloop. <laughs> right with the wind. Come on, come on, come on. That's tough, too. Can we see that replay on that? I want to see that. A slow mo on the hole. Here it, here it comes. It went 360 and then back. Incredible. That was inc wow. Uh, John Rom's face. He's like. <laughs> that's tough. You know that's tough. Right. Imagine that to like win the Masters. Have that end up being out there. My goodness. Still a lot left to happen here. It's not over yet. It ain't over. Ooh, let's see what that does. I love seeing that animation. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. The stream boss is still, um. Julio Cesar. Julio. Gons. Gons.
yeah, the birds outside. Like, we have our real, real birds outside. They sound pretty nice. No, that's, that's this now. Oh, it's that now? You turned yeah. it up? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was outside. It started tricking me. <laughs> like, you know, you have your, uh, you know, like your checks for the stream. Like, is she talking about the chat? Is she talking about, no, she's talking to me, the person right next to her. Yeah, that's funny. Thank you for participating <laughs> in today's stream. Yeah, happy to participate. Happy to be here. Look at Ian Poulter out. He's walking. I know. He's like ready. Great golf shot he hit. Gosh. Oh, oh it almost went in. Hits the flag stick. Hits the flag stick and he's about a foot away. So that's a big shot for them. You know, it's, um, we'll see how Colin and, uh, and Dustin respond. That's such a good shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, Colin. Oh, man. Colin is just playing golf, ladies and gentlemen. Pick it up. Good, good. Let's go to the next hole. Oh, my goodness. Dustin's like, yeah, let me just hold the fist stab. Give him the, yeah. you know. Dab him up. Dab him up. Dab him. Give him a little bit. A little bit of that good stuff. Right. Brooksy, 379 on this par 4. He gets it down there to about 40 yards, a little Still less. Still running. Still going. Oh, it's going to go right to that drain, though. If it doesn't keep stopping, it's still going. Good, get in the drain. Perfect. Oh. oh. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, you so want to get, get it down there. from that just behind, yeah. If it's interfering in his swing... Yeah, um, you have the option. I always say that, too, because if my feet were on the cart path and I had a really good lie, I would take it. You know, if it was around a lot of rough or whatnot. So if it's sitting the way that he likes to play the shot, I wouldn't mind standing on a drain. You know, it's like, it's all in all, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, my. Oh, that? my, on the 14th hole must be Tony Finau or Harris English. Ooh, what a call. Harris. Harris, let's go. Sticks it. After they just won the last hole, a little bit of momentum going on there. Beautiful. This is crunch time when it comes to these matches, too. You know, they could swing in either direction, and U.S. could get in a position to clinch early tomorrow, or Europe could be in a position to really take over. Yeah, CJ, that was a tough putt for, for Jordan there. And they have so much momentum, too. They've won two holes in the last uh, four, four or five, so the, it's trending in their direction. Rough start, but they're, they're going in a good direction now. That was incredible. It did like a 360 lip out and then came back a little bit. Incredible. PXG. Anybody play PXG? PX Chi. Yeah. PXG clubs. I'm always uh, curious. I've never hit their drivers. Um, I've, I've hit their irons before, but curious what anyone has to, uh, what anyone's thoughts are on PXG clubs or wedges or anything. Oh, it's Ariana Big. Talking about what show is this? The sing the singer? The the El voice? Voice. Yeah. El Vos. In Spain. Or in, in Spanish as we would say. 
Heading over to Tyrrell Hatton over on the 14th hole. Hitting his approach shot after Harris English just stuck it. What's with these motorcycles? Are you serious? Like, listen. The, 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 the audio that you're hearing, the title of the video is Real Ambient Nature Sound. Let's just take it back from the beginning Let's again. just start it over and get the Harley out of the background. <laughs> Am I wrong? Like, I almost want to comment on this video and be like, what's up with the Harley at, uh, you know, an <laughs> hour and 39 minutes? minutes. <laughs> That's too funny. We're live, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. <laughs> that is too much. Hey, Tommy Fleetwood. Haven't seen you in an hour. Yeah, he's got a part putt to tie the hole. All right, Tommy, let's get this one. Tommy pours it in. Let's Good go. job, Tommy. Nice. He had a couple struggle putts early in the back nine yesterday. Makes that. They're tied going into the 12th hole now. Dang, that's a really big caddy, by the way. Tommy's caddy looks monstrous. He's a big dude. He's like a, like a six foot seven dude. He's built different. He, that he is. See, look at this shot. He's like, you know, how do you play this? With the wind whipping in your face. Gotta play it left. Let the wind take it. Try and get it to spin. Oh, see, everyone's kind of spinning it off the front there. Everybody's been spinning it off the front here at the 13th. Except Jordan Spieth. Let's see what he's got. Plays it well left. Big bounce, skip, and just running away. That's a tough right, hole location. Sit. Right on the green. Nice. And he's probably putting from a good spot there. Heading back up the hill. Still moving away from him. Yeah, maybe that'll be a tough... Uh, yeah, gosh. That's a tough hole to get to. It's a really tough pin, CJ. It's not. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. John Rahm in the in the uh, the sheep's pasture over here. Oh, I was reading an article about um, Whistling Straits how the the sheep are allowed to roam freely at the golf course, but for an event like this, they'll relocate them. No way. And then they'll put them back where That's they belong. No way. I was like, that's so. Local cool. sheep, wild sheep. They're just wild sheep. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's where they get their um, their logo from. Check it out, you guys. Yeah. Little whistling streets gear. Running. You can check it out on our Instagram. Yeah, definitely worth it. We're still doing that giveaway for anybody looking for any of that gear that's sitting above us. This is all being given away, so. Check out our Instagram for how you can get a get what, what you want, honestly. Yeah. We had a couple people reach out so far and um, a couple more items to give away. So before they're all out, you know, while you guys are here, we'd love to reward you with sticking around and uh, check yeah. out our Instagram, that golf couple. Yeah, the link is in the description for all the rules and details for that giveaway. So. Interesting. So Kepka is keeping the ball right where that drain hole was. It didn't go in it. It was like right on top of it. And I guess he liked the lie, which was a really, really great approach shot right there. Yeah, that's a good position to be in. He was rewarded not as much as he would have wanted, but I mean, you see where everybody else is putting from and chipping from. There's not a lot of space there to get it close. 
I mean, it's so slippery down that hill. Mm -hmm. I literally hear the mower in this. I get the mower out of there. Yeah, I was like, I don't think your neighbors are mowing anymore. I know, we've been listening to mowing all day. It's kind of like... DeChambeau here on the 12th. Don't know what club he's got, but I'm sure it's a long one here. Yeah, just 152 yards for, for this par 3. See what he's got. Oh. Is that too long, though? Oh, oh, gosh. I'm telling you, he is not playing well today. He's really getting eaten up by this wind. Way too much club. And he lost that one. Yeah, it's the third or fourth ball we've seen him just hitting the trash. I mean, where, where he's had no approach after that. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Doing. Yeah, off the bank and mm. into the water. Sayonara ball. A donation. To the golf gods of Whistling Streets. All right, Fleawood. Tell me. Show us what you got there. All right. I'll be safe. Yeah. Lowry and Hatton are really putting on a show here with the uh, the putting for sure. Yeah. Can't can't argue with that. Yeah, they really are. Hatton just made a bomb there. Victor, going for his shot here. What do you say, Vic? Let's get this one close, eh? What do you say here, kid? Yeah, this match is tied, so could could swing either way at this point. Nice little ball in there. Oh my gosh, right next to his playing partner. Yep. Not bad at all. And they're both safe. They both, they're going to be able to get a read out of each putt, which is nice. So they'll be able to stick that one close. John Rom chipping for birdie. And oh. Oh, he lips it out. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Gotta love when the pros are taking the flag stick out, looking to chip it in. So good. Just so much speed on that. It just did not drop. Yeah, Lowry and Hatton have made so many big putts today. What do you say here, Kepka? Brady to win the hole? He's got Jordan helping him read the putt. Yeah, Working I love as that. a team here. I love that team effort. Yep. He's got this. Can be done. Little left to right at the end, maybe. We'll see. Yes, sir. Very nice putt. Little fist pump. Mm -hmm. Tied with five to play. They lost four holes there on the front nine. And they are tied with five to play. In a beautiful position after that front nine. Yeah, it is nice to see Brooks uh, working hard with this team here. Yeah, I agree with you. I like when the players get in and read the putts together. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It's cool, a little variety to, uh, to it all. Yeah, I mean, like, when are you ever going to really see another player reading another player's putt to help them? Yeah. It never happens. 
Only in events like this, mm -hmm. President's Cup. The match. The match. The match. I was literally thinking that, The too. match by Capital One. Amazing, by the way. Yeah. Those are, if you guys see those again, definitely check them out. I don't know if there's any more scheduled. Brooks was going to play El Prez. I did see that on Barstool Sports. Did and, they um, do that? After the storm. Remember that big storm that we had here? Oh, yeah. Uh, Liberty National got uh, canceled. Yeah. No, I don't know if it got canceled or postponed. Probably postponed. I mean, they're he was going to play lefty and give him a bunch of shots. Yeah, like Brooks was like like a hundred shots, something yeah. crazy like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, that would have been quite the event. That would have been big for Barstool. But I don't doubt they're they're definitely going to reschedule that for sure. I think that'll be a fun match to watch. Surface is uh, twitching a little bit. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. As long as I can, it does that. That's how it was for that seminar. I couldn't even see it at the end of it. <laughs> Taking it all back to Maddie. Yeah, coming down to crunch time in these matches here. Coming on down to crunch time. Yeah, Brooks and Jordan making a move here. They've won three holes in the last six. Now we're taking it over to Bryson, whose ball actually stayed up. He's in the hay over there. Just right of the... This will be the 12th hole. Shorter par three, but treacherous over there to the right. Let's see what he's got. He hits it. You gotta hit it just a little too far. He goes over in the bunker in the back. So he's not gonna be happy with that. I know he's got a high standard for himself. But he's been struggling on some of these for sure. But Scotty Scheffler is doing all right. This match is tied. This match is tied with six to play. Actually, they're on the 12th green, so then they'll have six to play. And Dustin Johnson has a putt to win the hole. This would be big. This would get them to four up. Through 11 holes, putt is on the way. Oh. Just misses. They'll be in for par. Against Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy. Shady's back. Back in. Yeah, I thought that this match would be in favor of Ian Poulter and, um, and Rory. Yep. And it looks like Colin is going to have another putt at birdie to win the hole. From a very similar line that Dustin just putted from. So let's see what he's got. Big putt here. Big putt. This to go four up in their match. Steps off of it. Got to be 100% committed to these. For sure. And the putt is on the way. Oh, just misses it. Just, just missing it.
a good attempt by the both of them, but just missed it both of them to the right. Yeah, and we've got Tommy Fleetwood with a long putt here on the 12th to win the hole. Putt is on the way. Yeah. Left of the hole. Good speed, though. He's in for par. And Scotty Scheffler's got a look. Hey, he's got a par putt, a long par putt to tie the hole. So this one is up to Scotty Scheffler here. 25 feet down the hill, toward the water, left all day long. No break at all. So Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland win that hole and go to one up in their match. Through 12 holes, you got Europe is up in two matches. Tied in one, and then Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa doing a good job in their match. Three up in that one, the final match out there. How funny would it be to see Rory wearing a visor? Oh, man. <laughs> I, like, can't even picture it. Yeah, me either. I mean, there's some guys that just like him that pull them off like Bubba, Ian, um, who else on tour? Not many, but it'd be really funny to see. I've seen JT wear a visor once, and I was just like, ooh, ooh, what is that? Yeah, in the 90s, I think it was definitely much more prominent, for sure. There you are in the uh, top left. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> you know, he can rock it I mean, for it's a not day. Bad. It's not uh, <laughs> It's not his look though. <laughs> I feel like he goes for the classic look sometimes, you know. I'm so I'm not opposed. So. I'm not opposed to it at all. He's he goes with those shoes. I you know, I'm not a personal fan myself of the shoes. But Yeah, you, Derek, you think they'll just split everything? Just half points for everybody? I don't know. Dustin and Colin look like they're going to win theirs. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. Oh, is that going in? Oh. Did that just happen? No. Okay, I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's Paul Casey. We haven't seen him in I was gonna all say, day. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, but this, still, that was a great shot. I was going to let you go with it. No, don't yeah. make me look like a fool on the screen. <laughs> it happened this morning. You haven't seen Paul Casey all day long. I know, but at first I just saw the ball. I didn't see the player. Oh, sure. No, I gotta let you. He left me take hanging your, Take your dry. welts out there. Can you guys believe that? He left me. How else is she gonna learn? Am I supposed to coach you the whole way? You don't like when I coach you. Who said that? I did. This is me talking. All right, Brooksy a little deep on the 14th hole. Yeah, what are the Vegas odds on all of them tying right now? Whatever Vegas says, just go with it. <laughs> you get one and that's the one. Yeah, I've got the rest of my life to just let it fly. John Rahm out of the bunker. Did you hear that little bird? Yeah. Eee! Yep, a little short. Oh, that's outside. I was going to say that's outside. We have actual birds outside, and then we've got a little ambient noise for you as well. It's 
funny to try and distinguish what's what. <laughs> We're in the matrix over here. Haven't heard any of the brown doves in a while. Yeah. Maybe uh, their mating season is over. I was just thinking the bots are not a fan of the uh, the chat today. <laughs> I know we haven't gotten raided by any any uh, any, any of that. And Jordan's in the bunker as well. Seems like everybody's been in a little trouble on this hole. What hole is this? This is the 14th hole. Yeah, that um, that's the one where Harris English stuck it in the Tyrrell hat and made that long, long putt. Yeah, Jordan's a little plugged in this bunker, too. He's going to have to chunk and run it from 60 yards or so. See how hard he swung at that? Not bad at all. Not yeah. bad at all. Almost on the green there. I love his athleticism, especially during this whole event. He's been really showing us what he's got. We've seen some falls. We've seen some. We've seen a lot of people fall. Interesting. To be honest. Yeah. A lot of people have been hitting, you know. Hitting the deck. Hitting the deck. But not Jordy. Not yet. Shane Lowry with a little... Was that Shane Lowry? No, maybe not. I think not. that was Hatton. Tyrrell Hatton, yeah. Shane, we got a thicker boy there. The thickest boy. A little chunk and run down there. All right, now we got Harris English. They're one down in this match. This is for a birdie long range. I told you, they've been playing well today. They're going to be hard to beat. They're just playing in their element. I know Shane Lowry and Tyrrell Hatton are both playing really well. Like they made a lot of really long putts. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like they're going to be hard to close out, Tony Finau and Harris. They're both kind of what we call in golf ham and egg in it. Ham and egg in it? Yeah, one player plays well on one hole, then the other player on the next hole. And it's nice energy balance. Ham, egg, and cheese? No, no cheese. Mm. <laughs> okay. okay. Lactose, is he? Yeah, lactose intolerant for all those golfers. When Matt and I went to, uh, we were going to film, um, no, actually, we were going to go post our Ryder Cup merchandise for our Instagram, and I, I noticed someone's egg and cheese on on the hood of their car. Yeah. They're baking egg and cheese. I guess they didn't have time to eat it yet. Oh, gosh. And it just ran right to the course. Can you guys relate? You know. Five minutes before your tea time. I know. Have no time for breakfast. Just go, go, go. Just forgot the sandwich right on the top of the car. That thing got baked. I know. Oh. So close. Brother-in-law. I like that. I've never heard that before in the South. One is out and the other is in the hole. Yeah. Huh. That's an interesting uh, comparison. I like that. I 
I like how everyone's got their own turn of phrases. Yeah, that's a culture to golf. A little micro culture here in the South. Yeah, Joe and I, who we did the last video with, was I was talking to him about all the different grasses. There goes your your microphone guy with the four four oh, foot yeah. dead cat. My dude. Um, on how there's like different grasses and and whatnot. How they react different, how you play differently out of them. Pretty cool. He's not a fan. I just don't think it's becoming of me. Backwards hat, Maddie. Oh. Ooh, great putt here. Great putt by Sergio. That'll be good for their par. Him and John Rahm. J Bone Rom. Flip and a flop. Not a flip and a flop, a flip and flop. Flip flop? Yeah, it's ham and egg as, as I know it. We really ham and egged it today out there. Flip flop guy or slides guy? <laughs> flip flop. Never heard him called slides. No, no, no. I'm saying, are you a flip flop guy or would you wear slides? Oh, okay, so they're different, gotcha. Yeah, slides yeah. are the one with that band across it. I still call those flip-flops, um, but fl I need the toe thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just went like this. I need the toe thing to grab onto. The thong of the sandal. I need it. We'll get you some vacation, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a day. I'm investing in my, um, you know, the 100,000 viewers in this stream. Hey. I believe in it. 31 is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, seriously. I, every single person. I'm glad you guys are sticking up with our antics, you know. <laughs> I know, right? It's there, A lot of people probably here. have us on mute. They're like, would you just... I just want to see the scoreboard. Ah, they love it. Ian Poulter out of the bunker. When did it become popular to wear flip-flops at the golf course? Do people actually do that? I see it as something that we wear after yes. we play. But I certainly can see, like, all I picture is, here's exactly what I picture. I picture someone like Ian Poulter with the visor, the the, the, the visor that's, like, too big. You know, you got a brim. Not that his visor's too big. But, you know, you've got the brim and then the, the top part is, like, too big. Yep. And then you've got that person, like, leaning back with their belly out with their flip-flops and their golf tan. That's all I can see, wearing their shorts with a beer in hand. And that's, like, them just hanging out at the, the clubhouse afterwards. I, I like wearing my flip-flops after I golf, for sure. You know, let the toes breathe, but never, like, on the golf course. Yeah, it's a... Um, or just in a general Yeah, never statement. at. You know, I don't... Uh, I, I was even talking about getting some after. I wouldn't put them on until I leave the golf course, though. For sure. Yeah, I'm more of a... Um, wear the shoes at the golf course and then get the flip-flops after. Socks with flip-flops? You know what they call that? 
A shooby. Shout out to Rocket Power. But that's if you're at the beach. They call you a shooby. If you're wearing socks with flip flops. <laughs> socks, socks. Right? Socks. Socks and sandals, anybody? I know. Socks and flip flops. It's just. It's too much. Yeah, there's there was a like a day of school where they taught that where that person was just absent. <laughs> you know, it's just a no. It's just a no no. And here's Colin Morikawa here on the twelfth hole for Birdie to win the hole. This to go to four up. About 30 feet or so from Colin. The putt is on the way. Missing left. Close putt. They're still with that three up lead. Not much momentum out of Ian Poulter and Rory at the moment, but we'll see how that ends up going. Heading over to Bryson DeChambeau and Scotty Scheffler. This is Bryson to win the hole for birdie. 35 feet or so, just missing on the left hand side. These putts are hard. These, they're not easy. It looks like the wind has calmed down a little bit uh, from where it was before. They had 30 mile an hour winds before. That's mm. more of like a high noon wind. Now that's a reasonable visor length. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I'm talking about, though? You get the look that I'm talking about? I don't know what I would even... Sh Show Look. like a JT's visor. That, yeah, that's getting a little... It's a little high. See how it's like a little... It's just about as long as the brim? Yeah. You know, you need like one third top and then... Even even my visor. full brim. I love my visor because it's like... It's a, it's a thin... Thin visor by Titleist. Doesn't go up halfway to my head. Oh god, the flies here are outrageous. Flip flops in a cold climate. I can see you there, Derek. It's the foot relief after a round of golf. It feels great. You beast. Yeah. That's like the dog downstairs. She's out of hand. Oh my goodness. Dustin missing his putt here for par. Wow. Now Colin's got to look for par from about four feet or so. Yeah. Just got away from him there. I really do like those vests. They're, they are nice. You think they wear that Ryder Cup gear afterwards or no? They're Probably not. not. I can't imagine. I mean, think of how many shirts and how many things that they're giving. Mm -hmm. They're given. I think it just becomes a um, maybe a novelty thing that you put away. Right. Uh, certain players probably do, um, and then certain players probably just you know are okay with not doing that. All right, Colin. There you go, Colin. Have the hole. Three up through 12. Heading over to the lead match with Tony Finau and Harris English. The 16th hole, they are one down to Shane Lowry and Tyrrell Hatton. Going over the approach shot of Harris English. Hitting his second to the par five. The wind has died down to about seven miles an hour, so seven to 10 looks like. Hopefully see some birdies and eagles, a little action coming in. Auctioning it off. Yeah, I like that, CJ. Auctioning off the, the clothing for charity. Okay, good shot out of Harris over the green, but not a bad place to play <coughs> from. We'll see, we'll see. 
You think he's been chewing the same piece of gum since the beginning? Right. He's think... always chewing gum. Yeah. Right. You think it's like a, a nickel rat, <laughs> like a, you know, he just goes through a pack a day off the course. <laughs> ah, he looks like a, a healthy guy. Yeah, can't can't imagine a lot of that on tour. Or at least trying to keep up with that and playing on tour. Yeah. Shane Lowry with for his approach shot right next to Harris English. Let's see what he's got. That looks beautiful. That yeah, controls the trajectory. Get up there. Not gonna be not too bad. Not too bad. He's got about forty five feet or so for his eagle. Sliding on these par fives. Jane likes it. Ready, <laughs> like someone's doing construction on this ambient noise. I just got to keep going back, you know. It's too funny. There was a family guy joke where there was like sounds to fall asleep to. And um, it was like these guys bulldozing. It started off with sounds of the rainforest and then it got to these guys bulldozing the rainforest and the conversations that they were having as ambient music to fall asleep to. <laughs> Too much. That is pretty funny. Yeah, it was a good one. You know what we haven't done in a while is a chip for chat. Yeah, you want to? Go for it. I think we got to get a little bit of blood flow in here. Something. We got to get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Get up, stand up. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. I don't. I don't know. Is it? Is this it's not song? ringing a bell for me. It's a song. Okay. I believe you. Get up, stand up. Something, something for you. are right. You want to point it on the uh, cups, maybe? <laughs> the light. <laughs> Turns it on, and it's pointing nowhere near where we need it. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, let's see what it looks like. Not bad. I like it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, don't commentate from over here. Here we have CJ here. Five ping pong balls. Five ping pong balls. Let's see if she can get. What are the bets? Over under two. Over under two, chat. I believe in you. You got this. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Th I'm gonna say she's gonna get three, three out of five. Oh, that one lipped out. That was incredible. Oh, that really lipped out like Jordan's putt there. Here's the second approach shot. Oh, a little shy. The wind hit that one hard. A little D cell maybe. Whatever we can blame it on. But it was her stance. That's what we're going with. Oh, gosh. Prove me wrong. Oh, there's one. You had a bunch of people saying over. Over two. Right on two. This would be the... For the two. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Who we got? All right, what are we thinking for Matt here? Over or under, guys? Over or under what? I don't know. 
if he's gonna, over, under, if he's gonna get, is he gonna get over or under? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, <laughs> Derek goes over for me, and then he goes, "Oops, no wonder I can't get rich." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hilarious! All right, Matt, one up. One up, two to play. <laughs> nice. Sinks it. Number two. <laughs> Over under what? <laughs> Over under, guys. Over under what? Uh, nice on. job. Two. We got a two for... <laughs> All right, guys, back to the golf that you actually came here for. Rom, oh, 15, 143 yards out. Taking Matt's spot now. Just yeah. kidding. Here you go. <laughs> Lucky me. Ah. It's nice. I don't, wouldn't know what that's like. Because I'm the High Chancellor of the North. That's the nickname I've given myself. I dubbeth myself as Tyrrell Hatton's hitting his approach shot to the 16th. Where Shane Lowry is already on the green. Oh, a very nice shot there. Eight feet or so for Bird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, right? Here's Tony Fee now from the sheep's pasture. Little club twirl. Ooh. Oh, he likes it, and for good reason. It's going to go up the slope, come on back down. Yeah, or stay there. Life. Your life choices. It's going to sit. It's going to sat. It's going to sat. <laughs> There's my Scottish accent. It's going to sat there. <laughs> He goes exactly two. I got two, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice, Derek. Maybe you can get rich. Yeah, just don't bet on CJ. <laughs> That's what we learned today. I just need my time to mentally prepare. When I have time to prepare, I'm, I'm deadly. Tomorrow we'll get our friend in the uh, chip for chat, special guest there. See what he's got. Oh, oh Harris oh. English just missing his chip for Eagle. Dang. Very good look at Birdie, though. Quality look. <laughs> Dang. Oh, he liked it. He liked it. got Shane Lowry manicuring the green, getting the bump out of the way before his eagle putt. Yeah, this match is going to go 18 holes. So this is to go dormy. This is to secure a half point here for Euro. For eagle, the putt is on the way. Oh, drop. All right, that'll get them a birdie. Pretty solid putt there for Shane. Yeah, you hear the dog? That's the princess.
ready to tie the hole for Fino here. Let's get a good look at this, boys. Come on. Slightly has to go right to left, like just a little bit on that slope and like let it fall down on the last bit there. Yeah, it's a little slope they're contending with. He's coming like, I thought his was going to come off that hill. Yeah, me Ended too. up staying there. You know what was crazy? So when we were at, um, when we were at winged foot, when any, any time I tried putting my ball back on the mark, it like, it would not sit. For downhill. For downhill yeah it was absolutely like rolling everywhere it was, it was insane i was like you barely touched the ball and it went like 15 feet past the hole i was like geez those greens were running yeah it was a spectacle to watch here i am telling cj like cj put to the hole as if it's right here and I'm, like, pointing three feet away for a 28-foot putt. You know, it's like, just hit it here and just let it filter all the way down. I missed that. Did Dad tell me get it? That was my bad. Nope, heading over to John Rom here. They have a putt to win the hole here. Big putt here on the 15th. This to go one up for Europe in this match. To stop the bleeding after they've lost... Three holes in the last seven. And putt is on the way. Yes, Gets sir. it done. Nice big putt for John Rom. All right, so Europe is leading in three matches, and then Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa are, are three up in their match on the 13th hole. We'll see how that one goes. That one's still got a little bit of time left. You want to put that in? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the other two should be charging as well. Tommy Fleetwood from 108 yards. Beautiful golf shot. Got it in there to about 12 feet or so. It's nice that the wind has died down. They're able to hit it a whole lot closer. 30 mile an hour winds are no joke. What have you got there, my lord? What have you got there, my lord? Nice. How about for you? How do you sound? I sound just peachy. How about it? I sound just peachy. Nice. Ah. Road Mike's back. Roadie. As we go to Bryson, hitting his second shot. Oh, carries it down the slope. Gets away with it on the 14th there. Gonna have to make something happen for Scotty and Bryson. Definitely a little bit of time left. Definitely a little bit of time. On the 17th hole now for Harris English. And Tony Fanu, what do you do? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting for that one, folks. Yeah, a little bit. No, I haven't. <clears throat> Just when I read Tony Finau, sometimes it looks like, well, it looks looks like looks like Finau. Harris likes his shot down in the. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness! Oh gosh! Yeah, he is down there in the 
thick of it. I was going to say, can you actually like get down there and play that? For yeah. sure. Yeah, there's yeah a, you can. I think there's an elevator next to the green to get them all the way down there. Oh, my. An escalator? Oh, no, an elevator. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's like off a cliff. He's yeah. got a like a 20-foot face in front of him that's just a wall. It looked like I saw some like man-made stairs. Yeah, to the, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Terrell Hatton here. On the tee. Yeah, that one's looking solid. On the fat part of the green, moving towards the hole. Beautiful golf shot. And they're one up, so if they end up winning this hole, that would be a point. Bryson so for birdie. See. On 14, let's go, dude. Yes. Very nice, Bryson. Yes, yes, yes. He needed that. Beautiful. Well done. Now we go over to Shane Lowry. Heading just left of the flag stick. Ooh, a little deep and chasing away. Stay there. Oh, he go oh my goodness. I don't know that he's even going to be able to get to that. It's literally on the Look at it. Yeah, I see that. Oh gosh. He's Dang. literally on the wall caught in a Jeez, camera man. You can see each dimple of the ball. Really zooming it in there. Oh, Tommy Fleetwood missing his birdie putt. And that'll get that match to all square. Big win for the U.S. in that match. Scheffler and DeChambeau are tied with Fleetwood and Hovland with four to play. Yeah, I'm going to actually rather enjoy watching uh, Shane Lowry try to get to this. I really don't know that he will be able to. Incredible. Yeah, it was like going down the slope and just got caught in that uh, mm -hmm. little tuft of grass. Yeah, that's going to be a tricky one to get out of, but we'll see. Love golf. Love it. I'm sure they would have loved to play a uh, flat course today. Yeah, no after, water. Uh, after that. I thought it was hilarious how our caddy at um, Wingfoot was like, yeah, there's a little bit of water. It was a stream this big. Yeah, it was a not in play sort of uh, stream on the... It was on the back nine. 15th hole. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, at Wingfoot on the west course. Yeah, it was actually... Hole, 15, it was probably like, like this, this big, but... yeah. And then the 16th hole goes over it too, which is a couple yards off the tee box. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's no water to speak of. On the east course, there is though. Okay. Not much. So it's just a pond. Where you remember where that big water tower is? Mm -hmm. Right there is the fourth hole. There's a little pond right there that's uh, not necessarily in play. Yeah, it's where all those, remember where all those swans were and everything? Mm -hmm. Where we walked in, or drove in, yeah. on the right there? That little, yeah, that's where they get their water from to water the golf course. Yeah, a lot of lot to be said here the last couple holes. Tony Finau and Harris English in a little bit of trouble. But um Tony Finau's gotta look. I feel like he might just pick up his golf ball to be honest. 
Shane Lowry. <laughs> I know, that's literally he's going to be, yeah. He's going to go rolling down that hill. I don't think anyone could get a stance there. Never mind Shane. Sorry, Shane. I mean, yeah, let's just be <laughs> I mean, real. really, though, it's in a spot where that's really I just, it's against that wall. It's, you know, I don't think anyone could stand on there. You'd almost have to run up and hit it. And then Harris English, he's down here in the thicket. I mean, he can see his ball. It's just doing anything with it. It's going to be a, yeah, perfect. It's going to be a challenge. So he'll probably just keep his ball there. Just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's doing that right now. This is funny. Oh, yeah. This Going over Shane Lowry, slipping down the... When he takes the tumble. Whoa! Coming down. Yeah. And, of course, there was a camera right on him. I know. Can't get away with anything around here. All right, guys, let's just replay his embarrassing fall. I know. Yeah, I think he honestly picked his ball up, to be honest. You know, it's something that you almost, like with the loft, you'd hit with a six iron and it'd still go way up in the air. Mm -hmm. Tough situation, but... Now, in a situation like that, like you said, you'd use a six or something with like a lot of... Um, I mean, I'd probably use like a nine. You a just nine. think about it. If you use like a wedge, it's going to be like hitting it like this. Right. You want you a need little bit. Like a nine, you know, a nine iron turns into a 60 degree. Right. And then you, you know, you can choke down, but it's the loft of the face that you're working with. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, this would be a normal nine iron, but if you tilt this up, you know, all of a sudden, does that make sense? Yeah. It no, turns I get into it. a... Uh, I would have used a nine anyways as well, but when you said six, I was confused because I was like, sixes are going It's just back drastic. More. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the six is probably like a, you know, still a pitching wedge, mm -hmm. you know. It's just how long it is, you know. But you could, I mean, you could choke down on the steel and just chip it up. If you can see the back of the ball, by all means, but hitting a six through that, it's, you know. But you can get creative with those. So it looks like a three for Team uh, Europe. You know, he's going to go over there and look at it and just pick it up. I don't see any, he's going to... What, try and hole it? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, Caddy, please go get my golf ball. They're all laughing. Yeah, it's time to pick up the ball. Now he's got a rules official just to... Oh, yeah, he's just going to try and grab that ball, right? He's not actually going to use that. Or is he actually... Hmm. He's trying to see if he took a drop where it'd be from. I don't know why he's doing this. Oh, maybe he's in the hazard? <laughs> I'm weird. so lost right now. I thought they were just going to finish out the hole. Maybe he gets free of... relief from it. I guess so. Oh, I think he gets free relief from it. Oh my. Really? That's That's interesting. Yeah, you know what? That's um oh, fancy little So he's just up. trying to hold this out. And that's all you're trying to do is just make it two. I guess he gets free relief from it. Wait, was that a bird? Yeah, two. Yeah, they just swooped in right next to the window. I know, for sure. Yeah, just slowing down the match there, CJ. Yeah. It's interesting that he gets free relief from it, though. Oh, no, he doesn't. He took an unplayable? Oh, my I gosh. I don't understand this at all. I mean, that was a fantastic shot. I thought it was going to hold it out from there. But that that's confusing. I don't really know what just happened. He was going... For, so he took an unplayable... I just don't know how he got like relief where he did. Harris English is like, Tony, can you just make par up there? So they just got to make par. 
This is turning into a... You can lose 12 balls in a round. So wait, were they waiting for Lowry the whole time? It's Europe's turn that they're away, and it's like anybody can go on Europe's team if that's the case. I see. So they had Tyrrell Hat and putt. He missed his putt. Put it like in distance where it's like he might not make it. Hmm. And um, so Shane decided to go to try and make it. It's, it's the same as his four-foot putt was his chip. So Shane will probably pick his up and then um, he'll give it a go for his, uh, for his par there. Yeah, it's a lot going on, but, you know, it's between Tony and um, Tyrrell Hatton. John Rahm. But you're always going to fight for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're never going to leave anything out there. It was two clubs. I just didn't see him measure that first club there, CJ. It looked like he went closer to the hole and then away from the hole. It was just a weird angle there. Um, but, yeah, I feel you, for sure. It just looked like he literally put a tee down, like, and then he did one club length up top, but never did the second club length. So, but maybe they measured that. I, I'm not a thousand percent sure. I thought I, I thought I saw him do two. I watched. Now we got Harris. So this is for his three. So he's trying to make a three here. Do you remember um, when it started raining at that tournament when I was playing Ryan? Mm-hmm. And I, I drove my ball and I drove it over the green. My playing partner drove it on the green. I proceeded to skull my ball back over the green to 60 yards away from the hole. Yep. And, and then, then I made that. You chipped it in. From 60 yards away. And then he two-putted for birdie. And we all, like, we have the hole. You know it happens in match play. Yeah, so it was crazy. You're always going to give yourself a chance to, to hole it out and just to score a three. Or just... Wherever it's from, you know, you have to have that fighting mentality, at least that I call it. Um, there's always a chance, you know, even if it's a minuscule chance, there's always a chance. Because if I don't make that, then we don't go to the 18th hole, like he wins on 17 sort of thing. Mm-hmm. That was a great match. Yeah, female here on 17, Birdie to for, win the hole. for Birdie to win, yeah. Let's see it. Birdie to win the hole, to get it back to even. Big putt from Tony. Come on, Tony. One time. Yes, One yes, time, yes, Tony. yes, 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 yes. One yes. time. Oh, he just left it a foot short. Oh, Tony. All right. So Europe has at least a half point out of that match. Ian Poulter and Rory McIlroy. Ian Poulter is probably going to stick this because we haven't seen him in an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Three, four, five feet away. Impressive. Never would have seen that coming. Yeah, they're on the 14th hole. Now, Tyrrell Hatton here from four feet or so to tie the hole. Yeah, it's a little, little bone, a little meat left on that bone. Nice. They have the hole. Secure the half point. All right. Heading over to Colin Morikawa. There were three up in their match on the 14th. This is to answer Ian Poulter, which he's been doing all day long. And boy, does he do it. About 10 feet or so for his birdie. Collins in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. And Brooks Kepka is on the beach. Left of the 16th hole. In a little bit of trouble here. Has to go out of the bunker. Over the bush. Needs as much loft as he can get out of there. 62 yards. So, let's see if he can get something on the green and maybe make a putt. Beautiful. Lands it on the center of the green. A little spin back. But he will have a look for his birdie from about 40 feet or so. 
Look at that flag going, by the way. This mm -hmm. is insane, this wind. It's a whole different dimension. Yeah, it is. Like we played at Wingfoot where there's certain the rough is hard, the greens are fast, you know, with the wind too. I'm just surprised that their hats aren't falling off, to be honest. If the winds are running that fast, like you see the wind in their pants, their hair is blowing. Yeah, you almost wear your hat a little tighter, you yeah. know, right? That's funny. Well, for ladies, you have the, like, you. I mean, you've got the, you tie your hair back there. Maybe it doesn't move as much. I don't know no, how it is still, for ladies. It'll still fall back, like, underneath the visor part. It'll, it'll go back. Okay. I mean, maybe it's a little bit more secure with some hair, but uh, it still flies back for me. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, I know for windy days, I'm just... Do the hat a little tighter or just take it off, you know, mm -hmm. depending on how long my hair is at that point. Because <laughs> if I have short hair, I can just let it fly, but longer hair just gets annoying. Yeah, when you get your man bun in, you know. Yeah, you guys can't see it. I've been face on all day, but a whopping man bun behind me. Whoa, everybody run for the ball. Mine, 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 mine. Right? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it, you know. I saw Tony Finau's golf ball. Yeah, he almost missed it. Yeah, it was a big, big old slice. Yeah, I just wasn't able to close it out here for uh, Harris and Tony. It's been a pretty even match all day. Yeah. I mean, they've got a 20 mile an hour wind in their face right now. This this hole is playing tough. Harris on 18. Yeah. It's not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, we're going back to Spieth's uh, amazing shot over here. Oh, flies are getting out of hand here. Yeah, he's way down there, but he's got a decent lie. Let's see, Derek. Let me see if I can find something out for you. Forty-five yards for speed right now. Yeah, forty to forty-five thousand fans each day, Derek. Not bad. That's pretty solid for a. a it's a Ryder Cup. There's four tee times. You know. You know, last day there's 12 or so, but... Oh, oh Jordan, back. spin it. Not bad. Oh, he's going to make that putt. I'm feeling it. Jordan trekking up the hill. Flies flying all over us here. This is a, this is a true immersive right, let's get 4D, to the Harley, 4D experience. Let's get to the Harley Davidson part of the I train. know, right? We're getting there. Another 40 minutes or so to get to the Harley. Rum, blah, 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 blah. That's too funny. You know. Oops. Yeah, that's a lot of people. 40,000. At the Ryder Cup. They have huge tents, merchandise tents and whatnot. Nice to see big crowds here. Sergio's got a tough shot coming up. Merch. Merch. All right, hits it on the down slope, goes about 20 feet past the hole. We'll have a look for par. For par. And here's Shane Lowry on the tee. Oh, he smacks that one. Going left. Oh, in the bunkers. Gosh, there's a lot of wind today. I don't know if that's in the bunker or in the rough down there. Oh, no, I see it. It looks like it's in the rough right at the top. Hmm, Shane Lowry. All right. Take it over to Colin Morikawa. Needs to make birdie here because it looks like Ian Poulter is very close. Yes. And sure converts. Beautiful putt. 
Colin and Deej on, on 14. So they're the last group there. Yes? They are the final match. Yeah, the final match. And Ian makes his putt as well. John Rahm out of the bunker here. They are one up against Brooks and Jordan. John throws it back there. They're going to struggle to make par. So Brooks and Jordan in a good position here. Scheffler for birdie to win the hole on 15 here. Let's go. Come on, turn. Oh, yes. he makes it. Beautiful putt. Yeah. A little chest bump by Bryson. Yep. Big putt by, yes. by Scotty. That's what I'm talking about. Let the big dog eat. That's a big putt right there. A lot of energy right there. Bryson was just studying that ball. Right. Give me some. I know. Whoa. Golfers got to go over a school on how to celebrate, you know? They do. A little bit. Brooks with a good look here. They have to have something kind of like pre-planned out. If they're going to celebrate, they got to be like, all right, this is what we're going to do. I know. Instead yeah. of the good old fist bump to turkey, like... Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> if you've ever seen like Stevie Williams and Tiger Woods, it's like it's it's never been flush. You know, it's just never been flush. I think the best one is probably Jordan and Michael Greller after he holed out of the Travelers from the bunker. Yeah, I mean that that's just one that's infamous. Like he's going for the chest bump and then he goes like a little sideways. And just, yeah, just hits you know jumps yeah. up and hits them in the side. I like that. That's uh, that's how I would do it for sure. Because Miles has come at me with his chest before, and I'm like, bro, you, you are <laughs> twice the size of me. And that's not even a testament to how big Miles is. It's just I'm a tiny dude. <laughs> you that's know? really funny. You know? He hits me, and he doesn't move, and I go flying. And I get the wind knocked out of me. So it's one of those just, like, hit me in the side, hit me in my hip bone, you know? <laughs> Let me take the brunt of it out. Yeah, it would be very nice to get two points for sure. Um... You know, we'll see on the last hole, too, if Tony and Harris can figure something out to get a half point. That would be, I mean, that would be huge, too. Is that a bird or a mic on the edge of that? Uh, a microphone. Like a mic. Yeah. yeah. A mic. Look at that bird just chilling. Got John Rahm for par. They got to make one of these. He's done yes. it all day long. That's right. He's done it all day long making these putts. Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge putt. So then they've got two holes. That takes the wind out of their sail. They gotta make something happen, US. Gosh, that's from thirty five feet too. Drops it. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Sergio's like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's just holding it like this, like what? He's like, Are you gonna give me a chance Tony to play? Now gonna absolutely kill this cameraman here. He went right over him. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. Did you see that? No, oh I was actually goodness. looking at our monitor. He went right over that cameraman. I Dang. mean, the, the ball had to be like three and a half, four feet from him. Oh, Jordan. With a putt for birdie. Actually, is that to win the hole for them? They're two up with two to play. Excuse Ooh. me. Oh. Excuse me. I thought that was for par for John Rahm. Big putt. All right, so that's a half point out of that match, too. Wow. At least secures it. Wowie. That's a big putt. Now we got Harris. Jared, you can go to Fubo. TV, the golf channel is the one putting on the production. Or you can go over to ridercup.com. They should be showing some live coverage there. 
that would be the place to watch, my friend. And if not, we will call it for you. Welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. Heading over to the 18th hole. Harrisink, this is a tough hole location. Really tough hole location. The wind is right in their face. No doubt, Jared. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, this is a tough hole today. I mean, it's 470 playing directly into a 20 mile an hour wind. Yeah, let's see what Harris can do. Probably got to play out to the right. You know, if it's, it depends on the lie. Yeah, the lie looks all right. Yeah, a bit above his feet here. And that's the thing, if you just get it into the wind, and you kind of got to play a little hook in there. Play it out to the right. Going right at it. Oh, my. Harris. Beautiful golf shot. He puts it on the back fringe. What a golf shot. That poor piece of gum. <laughs> it's just been gnawing on that thing all day. Destroyed. Mm hmm. So, John Rahm with a huge putt there on the 16th hole to win that. Get them two up with two to play. They've secured a half point in that match. They've secured a half point in this match with Shane Lowry, Tyrrell Hatton. Tyrrell Hatton is hitting his approach shot from 200 yards from the fairway directly into the wind. See what he's got. Plays it out to the right a little bit, swooping back a little too much. Oh, he goes long and left in the bunker. That bunker is below the green as well, so hmm. we'll see what kind of look he's got out of there. Sergio on the tee on the 17th, leaning a little bit, gets a little caught up in the mound short of the green. This wind is starting to pick up again. Yeah, he got hammered by the little misjudgment of the wind there, it looks like. I thought it may be a miss hit. It looks like he was trying to fly that mound. He was about 15 yards short of flying it. John Rahm changing clubs on the tee. Making sure he's got the right club, <laughs> you know. That happened at the Tour Championship with Paul Casey and his caddy. They had a little moment together. I'm glad they could laugh it off, but he flushed a, a four iron, and he thought it was a five, ended up flying the green, and, you know, it was too funny. <laughs> John Rahm with his approach shot. Looking pretty good. Carries the mound. Stays out there to the right, trying to come back down. It's going to stay up there. So a little bit of an opening here for the U.S. They've got to win the next two holes. To have this match. That's a huge putt from Scotty Scheffler. No lie, to get that one up right yep. now for them, heading into the 16th hole, the par five. And you know Bryson's going to want to get home in two. Let's see what Brooks has on the 17th tee. They've watched Team Europe go at this point. He's got a six iron from 218. Looks like it's going right at it there. Come on. Keep going. All right. Yeah, about pin high. Not bad, not bad. It's safe. It's safe. Yeah. A little left of the flag, 25 feet or so. Shane Lowry out of the bunker. Yeah, he's just going to pitch it out in the fairway and then take his medicine, try and get close for the third shot. And go from there. So here he is from 165 for his third shot. Beautiful. Very nice.
takes it, what do you say, 18, 20 feet on that? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. I'll have that for par. Take it over to Jordan on the 17th hole. I like his um, his yardage book, Red, White, and Blue there. Mm -hmm. I saw Bryson had a different yardage book as well, a Ryder Cup version. Did he? Nice. Yeah, you didn't see the BAD on it. I remember first seeing that at, at the first tournament I've ever met him at. He has like the Eiffel Tower and then his initials BAD, and I thought that was pretty cool. Now, what's the significance of the Eiffel Tower? Do you know? He's French, I believe. Is it just a, uh, yeah? Like with that last name, I'm pretty sure he's French. So I think that's like an ode to like his, heritage his country and, and heritage, yeah. yeah. Playing for Team US. Hmm. Traitor. <laughs> You know. <laughs> but the Twitter. Oh, Bryson, how could you do this? <laughs> oh, God. We just. <laughs> we're very bad at accents. I apologize. I'm the best at accents. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you like my accent. <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, so he was. Time. So he was born in California. Maybe yep. his parents were from. Born in France. Let's see. John DeChambeau. I mean, with a name like that, ultimately it has to trace back to France. Yeah. But they're saying what national? Okay, not national. Like I American meant like last name. Yeah, citizen. Let's look at his mother. Is DeChambeau French? The surname DeChambeau is derived from the old French word champ. Hmm. Pretty cool. He's good going for Nor Norwegian, right? Which means right? field and literally Spanish, means yeah. of the fields. Champ of the fields. <laughs> Interesting. It's very poetic. A little background story about DeChambeau's cap, his hat, um, the driving caps that he wears while playing golf. He said it makes him feel like he's wearing a version of his own Superman cape. That's why he wears it when he c competes. Huh. So, it's nice. Cape hat. Right? You think it'd be, oh my gosh. Guys, this is actually a perfect time to tell you the new That Golf Couple merchandise release of our brand new capes. <laughs> our brand new golf capes. Oh my God. Could you imagine? Oh goodness. On a commercial break, so we will bring it back to you as soon as the next golf shot is hit. Do not worry. Yeah, use the Eiffel Tower as a tee. I can see that. There's actually a funny statistic that I learned, but I don't think the, the chat's ready to hear about it. Or I could just go for it. <sighs> you want to hear it? I'm about to spit some facts right now. Ready for this, Matt? Uh, hang on. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. What is a man-made... What is man-made that grows six inches in the summer and shrinks in the winter. It's man-made, so it's not a plant. Oh, it's gotta be. It's, I mean, is it the Eiffel Tower because we're talking about it? It is correct. Yeah. Isn't With that interesting? Heat? With the heat. With the heat, the, yeah. yeah. It, it, it swells just like wood like huh. the closets in my house in the winter time um i don't they don't get stuck but in the summertime they do because the wood expands huh. like Isn't my my closet door in the hallway it always gets stuck but in the winter time you'll notice it doesn't it's crazy i know that's why there's like cracks in the roads here mm-hmm you know, they get little cracks and then the water gets in, expands, it freezes, it expands. Mm -hmm. Interesting, what is man made? And how much does it grow? Six inches. Six inches? Yeah, wow. 
All right, now we're heading over to Harris English from just over the green. For birdie to tie the match, he's got a three wood that he's chipping with. He has got a three wood. Oh, look at me. Look at how <laughs> upside down I am. Don't get dizzy, guys. Uh, you know? <laughs> Jeez. Come and see you live. We just like <laughs> having know? you guys on your toes. Yeah, there you go. How's that? A little less uh, vertigo going on here. Uh, it's too funny. And his chip on the way. Just a couple of feet. Just misses that. Heading over to Jordan Spieth on the 17th, hitting his approach shot to the par three. Very nice golf shot. Very, very nice golf mm -hmm. shot. Two and a half feet or so. Right inside that ball marker. Nice. Mm -hmm. Loving it. I think that's got to be Sergio's ball marker. Yep. I'm a pure square. Like that. Uh-oh. They said that they could barely hear me. Maybe I'm a little soft-spoken. Try it. Uh, yeah, just see where it's at. They said that they could barely hear me. You can hear me, Red. All right, there we go. Thank you, Red. Thank you, thank you. Now we got John Rahm on the 17th. They're two up in their match. So a birdie here. Huh. Yeah, it's coming through pretty well over here, Red. I'm curious if it's... Um... Maybe I'll talk with this, like, right here. Yeah, up to you. Totally. Kind of feels weird, like, on my shirt anyways, so... Let me know if this is a little bit better for you guys. John Rahm's putt on the way. Trundling down the hill. Will it get there? It will not. Five or so feet short. Heading over to Harris English for his par. Par goes a long way. Now we've got Shane Lowry's got to have his par putt coming up. Yeah, they gave it all they had today. Tyrrell Hatton and Shane Lowry played absolutely are playing absolutely incredible. Now they have a putt here to win the match. This is, uh, they should have, yeah, I think, yeah, Shane Lowry's got a putt. A par putt to win the match from about 18, 20 feet or so. And he yes, gets sir. it done. What a putt. Oh, wow. Yeah, Fantastic. they gave it all they could today. Good for him. Shane Lowry and Tyrrell Hatton just putted today. They didn't miss that anything. That was awesome. And they won one up. Nice job. Well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah, he's a fiery guy. He's going to let it let it shine out there. Yeah. All smiles for Team Europe. Yeah. So they win that match against Tony Finau and Harris English. So that's one point for Europe. Big putt. Big, big putt. Yeah, pours it in. Yeah, you're right, CJ. I mean, I'm telling you, it's been all day with these guys. They're making a lot of really big putts. A lot of really big putts. And to only win one up, Tony and um, Harris played really, really well. So there you go. That's nine points for U.S. and four points for Europe. So they get a point back there. Colin Morikawa has a putt here on the 15th for birdie. They're three up in their match, him and Dustin Johnson. Come on, drop, drop, oh, drop. Oh, and he makes it. Yes, he sure sir. does. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. What a putt. Love it. Guys, Colin Morikawa. Can he have a better year? British? Honestly. Olympic sil uh, bronze. I mean, doing so he's, well in the Ryder Cup. He's had already like two or three wins on tour. Yeah, Plus Red. an Olympic, now 
now a Ryder Cup too. Mm-hmm. That's that's a big year. Yep, so that's um, Kepka and Spieth losing their match. Kepka just misses his putt on the 17th. So that's two matches for Europe. Here they are coming back. Yep, Europe is coming back. So that's 10 points USA and 5 points for um, for Europe. And the putt does not fall for Rory McIlroy oh, here. Man. Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa win their match. And the last match out on the course is Tommy Fleetwood and Victor Hovland versus Scotty Scheffler and Bryson DeChambeau on the par five. Yeah, like with the big hitters, with the finesse players. It's an interesting golf course, Red. I mean, with the wind, you really got to work some shots out there. Colin Morikawa, he, I mean... I would have had him play every match, to be honest. Yeah, Red, we've got Victor Hovland and Tommy Fleetwood for Europe. And we've got Scotty Scheffler and Bryson DeChambeau. They're on the 16th green right now. So weird. I thought um, I thought Colin and DJ were like the last to tee off. They were. And then they finished before? Because they're four up with three to play. So oh, I see. On the yeah, yeah, green. they finished. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I forgot they don't finish out. It's not like like that. Yeah, so Victor, this putt looks like for birdie. Match play. I destroyed one of my ladies in match play. Yeah, <laughs> see if they went. Yeah. I yeah. was, uh, what, eight up, six to play? Yeah, something like that. I was eight up, six to play. The front nine was just a disaster for the, Yeah, I shot, I shot a 44 on the front nine. I know, you really turned it up. It's um, really good. I have... I actually have that recorded on Instagram. It's one of our stories, CJ's Match Play, if you wanted to check that out. That was actually a lot of fun for the LPGA Amateur League. And Victor Hovland's putt is just a little bit left. Just misses that one. So it all comes down to this last match. We're at 10-5 to right now. USA has 10. Europe has 5. USA is one up in this match. Yeah, Red, how could you root against that smile, you know? Yeah. Scotty Scheffler now with a big four-footer to win this hole. This would secure a half point for the U.S. Yeah, Javi is good. Scotty Scheffler over the ball. Yes. And he drops it in there. Yep, yep, yep. Nice job. Two up, two to play. That secures a half point there for the U.S., heading over to the par three. Scotty Scheffler came to play today, ladies and gentlemen. Bryson yes, has did. not played his best golf, but definitely has his teammate out there. That was incredible, incredible by those two. Hats off to Team Europe right now with those two, honestly. Really capitalizing on those putts. Low Lowry oh with, like, the energy. Mm -hmm. It was insane. Yeah, they played. They, I mean, they made everything. CJ was talking about it too. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah, hard when they're making putts from them. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's this windy. Driving for show, but you got to putt for the dough. What do you think about putting it on a commercial break there? Quick little commercial break. Yeah, still waiting for them to get on the tee. We yep. have our proud sponsors for. This stream. Perfect swing. So check on out the game. Check them on out.
been loving playing that game. If you guys want to download mm -hmm. it, it's for iOS and Android. There's a link in the description. It is definitely worth it. Before we go to bed every night, we've been playing a couple holes together. The scenery is beautiful. A couple different golf courses. And the sounds, too. This is what it sounds like when you hit a driver. Oh, flush. Yeah, it's when a lot I hit of fun. a driver every time it sounded like that. I know, right? So if you guys want to download it, it is free to play. You can add us in the description. Our gamer tags are down below. All right, now we got Bryson on the tee here at the par three. Uh, let's see, Derek. Yeah, Derek, thank you for sharing that. I'll take a look at it tomorrow. There's, uh, you're saying there's one in the left, one in the right? There's a way we can do them all together for sure. So I'll, um, we'll definitely take a look into that. Mm -hmm. In the meanwhile, enjoy me over in this ear. And enjoy me over in this ear. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> in, in the birds, right down the middle. I know, and the birds. And the mower and all that stuff. So now we got Tommy Fleetwood here on the tee on the 17th. Looking for a club change here. It's a lot of wind blowing right now. A lot, a lot of wind blowing. So they've got to win these last two holes. Two get a half point. We're at 10 points for USA. Five points for Europe. Mm -hmm. Team Europe coming back. For sure. They've won two matches. Those were big matches. Oh, and Tommy Fleetwood. There's a lot of people that have been getting caught up in right this in mound. That, right in that mound, yeah. It's a good 15 yards shy of where they need to land it, too. Definitely fooling them on the tee box. And at least Tommy's a little bit lower on that mound than everybody else. They've actually been way behind that one. So he's, like, just on the bottom of that mound mm -hmm. there. Hovland with a six iron on the seventeenth. We got Smiley Hovman. Hovland. Yeah, smi Smiley Hobby. Hovland. Smiley Hovland. I like that. Yeah. I like the nickname Hobby too. Yeah. All right, time to go to work here, gentlemen. Scotty Scheffler having a day. Yeah, this will be. It's a big lead for U.S. right now. You know, at least a five-point lead going into tomorrow. The singles matches, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, tomorrow we got some we got some uh, exciting Ryder Cup stuff to watch. Let's see uh, if Team Europe can really come up with the W, or if uh, USA is going to take it away this year. Who knows? We got a, a guest in our stream tomorrow who will oh, be yes. joining us. So the match tomorrow, we will be here as well. Certainly pulling for USA, but pulling even more for a good match. Yes. Would love to see it out there. Yeah. 
And they're on a little commercial break. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. No golf shots yet. Yeah, we're going to have a blast. Checking out all the comments on our uh, Perfect Swing page here. Mm -hmm. If you put your gamer tags in the video description, you guys can get some free in-game credits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've been very generous about giving those, too. Yeah, it's definitely worth it if you guys are checking out the game. Heading over to Tommy Fleetwood on the mound over here, but hitting a beautiful shot. Very nice. <clears throat> Very close to the hole here. Yeah, for sure. I read I like when everybody gets together and you know, just rooting on that last match. It's nice to see everybody get together like that. You know, it's quite the scene over here. You know, they have this undulating. It's hard to believe there's a golf course carved into there. Massive greens, too. Mm hmm Heading over to Scotty Scheffler, who's sitting down in the rough just a little bit. About hole high or so. Here he goes for his shot. Oh, going a little far. Sit down there, Scotty. All right. 12 feet or so. Coming back. He'll have a look. He's been playing today, so we'll see if he can't get something to drop. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to say, too, thank you for everybody who has subscribed to our channel. It means a lot to Matt and I. Of course. Very much appreciated. So thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. And if you want to come along for the journey, we've got a lot of videos coming up on helping you improve your golf game. You know, both of us have been playing for a long time. And just trying to give our insights from the game to help you improve yours. So if you want to come along for the journey, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're just a USA fan, you know, there's that too. Yep, here we got Colin Morikawa here next to the green. Rooting them on red. You know how it is. Yeah, they really were. How old is this course, Red? Do you know? Do you know how long that this course has been there? And Victor Hovland's got his putt yet for birdie. You got it, Derek. Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Thank you, Derek. We'll catch you on the flip side. Appreciate you. Here's Victor Hovland's putt on the way. Yes, 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 dropping. Ooh, oh, just missed. Very good run. Very, very good run at it. All right, golf clap, golf clap. 1998. Okay. And that's a concession of the match, ladies and gentlemen. That's USA winning this one, bringing their tally to 11. 11 and, and 5. At 5 points. Very cool. Everybody, thank you for coming out today. We certainly have the stream tomorrow. The Ryder Cup is yet to be concluded. Big lead for US, but let's see if Europe mm -hmm. can come back tomorrow and give them a run for their money. You never know what's going to happen in the singles matches. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys all for participating in that Golf Couple stream today. We hope you enjoyed this content. And we will be ready tomorrow to bring you the final match of the Ryder Cup. CJ's like, where's the after party? <laughs> yeah, pip pip cheerio. You know, pip pip. <laughs> I like it. Right? Where do we hang out after? You know? Hmm. Well, you know what? You can hang out with me with Perfect Swing if you guys want to play against me. Seriously, though. Seriously, I'm going to be playing this game. So if you didn't download it and add me as a friend, 
You better do so. Hop too. I'm going to play against you guys. I created a clan league as well. Oh, it's nice. called That Golf Couple. Oh, nice. So you guys get on it. Check it out. All right, I'm in. Matt and I are going to play some golf on Perfect Swing. Available for Apple and Android users. Beautiful. All right, everybody. Have yourselves a fine evening. Thank you for hanging out. And Later, peeps. Time. Peace out.